Hello there, everyone. Are you fucking excited? so glad that that movie was so bad that we got to be friends. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so great. All of you are so great. Jay, you're all right. Back. Whoa. Nice. Oh. Part three of house three. Yes. Whoa. That makes Crazy. enough sense. Um hello everyone. Ooh. Yo. Hi. People hello. have already been asking Hi. like well, well, how how many hour left. So first part was eight thirty one thirty. The second one was nine twenty three thirty. Means Someone else figure that out? Nope. I was not listening. <laughs> so no. uh, <laughs> something like eight hours. Seven Two hours. Is it? I was I was good to round it, and I was like, I shouldn't round it. What is it accurately? Anyone? If you're rounding it down. Minutes? Well, someone's gonna figure it out, and then I'll tell uh, you. Explain what? Right. Six, six hours, ten minutes. Is it something really? like that. No, that's not it. Couldn't be. Go lower. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. But... <laughs> Try again. Do lower. <laughs> Hang on. I'll run the numbers one more time. Um, so 17, that's 17 hours. hours and 55 minutes. Oh, yeah, oh that's, that's what that good. comes to? Right? No, yeah. that's how much is left. Wait, is that, Jesus. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just add those two together, take them away from 24 hours, and then tell me what that is, all right? All right. We can do it. Whatever it, whatever horrors this presents to us as the result. I'm too tired to math. I legit am. My brain is like, do you really want me to do that? That's going to cost you seven battery. And I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'll need that. <laughs> is that six hours and five minutes? Don't you have to minus the intro song? Nuh uh. Because you guys got Batwomans as well, okay? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I go by the recorded amounts that get uploaded, which is gonna come to exactly 24 you know what the the legion it's of... six hours and five minutes yeah that's six it. hours and five minutes really yeah mm -hmm. we can do that that's doable no, i give up six hours and five minutes. i got it noted this is gonna be great got it all sorted out um yeah all, all the all the memers in the community which you're gonna be seeing a whole bunch of soon in a moment um they're, they're all you know part of this 
Nizhnaz. The, 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 and, and their work helps to entertain in a cycle. It's, it's wonderful, really. Um, oh. Symbiotic. Though I meant to mention, because I'm silly and just didn't, but uh, it's, been, it's been noted for, uh, in chat by, uh, by Thunder as well, uh, but we do have plushies, uh, if you remember. I, I totally sort of forgot to mention them per part, because I'm, like I said, I'm very smart, but yeah, uh, they're, they're still, they're still up and running, running around doing their, their cute little thing. You got, you got your, your me and your fringy. Um, they, they were once at 21 days, they are now at a, at a mere 18. It's been so long already, I just can't believe it's sunrise, sunset, you know? Yeah, and, uh, that's course, very impressive. The rags one is on the way. Yeah, I mean, the, the, they're funded, so what's, what's neat about that is you, you're guaranteed to get it if you pick them up. But, you know, just letting you know, it's a limited amount of time. And if you grab them both, the full 10% it comes right off. Um, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't want to grab one of these. Once again, you get your own oh, vial cool. of goo. Uh, That's right. Looking forward to getting mine, I'm just saying. And also some cookies. I don't recommend eating them. You shouldn't eat plush stuff in general. I think that's just like good advice. Um, yeah. Uh, links in description. And of course, I've been all over that little uh, this, this chat box as we've been going. Now, I think the, uh, the first thing we can take a look at is this little, uh, this little form that's been going around with, with it usually goes around each year. I try and get a look at the, the results copy on like the third uh, part, but my foolishness, I kind of forgot to promote it. It's in the description of the stream, so someone could have found it if they were looking, but it's had 507 responses, so we get to see a healthy amount of uh, different things people have seen. Um, mm. I'll grab you guys, I think this should take you to the results page of it, but basically, and uh, this will concern okay. several of you potentially, because this, this votes about different things, favorites and not favorite things, of, of what happened on EFAP this year. Oh. First up, we have which were your favorite EFAP episodes of year four? Now, I feel like the way to do this would be look at who's the, who's the outright winner? What episode is this? And it relates wow. to the Twitch React saga. Our relevant <laughs> Denims and Hassan. Not a surprise at all. I, I can see that. that was, <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. To be honest with you, I'm kind of happy that one won because the amount of fucking effort I put into those uh, compilations and the amount of horrible Twitch streams I had to watch. Mm -hmm. so that was yeah. That yeah. Made the suffering worth it. Yes. Very vindicating right here. Um, without checking, if anyone can, what do you think would have come second? Any guesses? I mean, I already have it on my face. So also, I'm anybody who doesn't screen. know what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, I have already checked. I must. I must disqualify myself. Bring have you checked yet? Um, I have. Oh, all right. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's a surprise, actually. Well, so it was the arcane breakdown, which I'm very happy yeah. to see. That's real no neat. Way. I'm happy with it, but yeah, I'm surprised great. with it. What, what What would you say is your surprise? I don't know. I I guess I I just wouldn't have expected it. I suppose. I I, I maybe I just would have expected something else. Maybe something was more memey or more fun in a different sort of way. Oh, it was memey. Huh? It was Mimi, you could say that, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if... Yeah, well, so, uh, it's, it's, it, I think it's wonderful that they chose it since it's just gushing over a show for like, three yeah, whole episodes. Yeah, not at all disappointed. Yeah. I'm very glad that turned out to be the by by far the number two. Yeah, it, it seems like pretty clean, but number three, the breaking down of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Back-to-back -back episode. Hey, I um, I think that one is relatively expected. Maybe I don't know. It was pretty popular. People, people liked us talking about how stupid that film was. Um, yeah. I mean, I even ended up making a whole video about it. If anyone didn't know, <laughs> it's uh, and it's and it was right. it's yeah. the the video itself is longer than the first stream we did. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're not allowed to make videos longer than streams. That's I know that's real. That's where I'm really breaking the rules. I'm scaring everybody. Yeah. yeah. Um, so well, we could call it some honorable mentions. We got the, the complete Halo breakdown, the Everything Every All at Once breakdown, Thor Love and Thunder breakdown, Kenobi versus EFAP versus RLM. Yeah, we just did the round two of that, and it was fucking horrendous. Um, uh, oh, the, the storytelling discussion got a pretty high up vote. That's nice. What was the worst one? 
the w just so we got worst. one percent or zero percent catch it uh, literally super chat catch up and updates <laughs> like <this. laughs> um yeah no one voted for it <laughs> not even we'll keep one going, damn it. And, yeah but uh for well, the none of you out there who think it's the best we're still doing it <laughs> that one's for you boys <laughs> then we got we will do it on. until you like it responding to the Shang Chi's Wen Wu is the Marvel's greatest villain and Spider Man No Way Home trailer discussion. Hey, we uh -huh. got third anniversary aftermath the title of that. I guess I know the title for the mm. fourth anniversary aftermath video. Mm. That'll be She Hulk as well, probably. You guys ready for Shulk. more She Hulk? Oh man, I'm Hulk already Hulk. not Hulk. excited. Shock. Yeah. Shock, shock, shock. We'll probably do uh, two, episode two and three together uh, next oh my. I was about to say next week, but I remember we're supposed to take a break. That's up to you guys if you can. Because <laughs> I think we've pushed the schedule forward now as well. Because remember, we took a gap week for, to make this line up. So um, we'll figure it out. It's all right. I've almost had to come to terms with the fact that I'm basically doing a big stream every day somewhere with somebody. Mm. Yeah. Um, all right. What else we got? Which was your favorite EFAP media reaction this year? My bet for this would have been Kenobi. That um, would be my. That would have been my bet. So Snyder Cut, I think, should have been a pretty high choice as well. Uh, but the results, yeah, they pretty much jammed up at Boba Fett, Obi-Wan, and Snyder Cut, but Obi-Wan is the winner. Yeah. People call that recency bias. What do you guys think? What is the best reaction? I think, no, I, I think Obi-Wan was, was, I mean, the Obi-Wan stuff was really good. We yeah. had a good crew for it. There was a lot, that show was awful. You were really bad. Um, um, I think I would have guessed the Boba Fett is second, but think, yeah, it oh is. man, Resident Evil is really good though. It's tough. Well, what uh, Home Alone got the lowest vote? Poor thing. Ah, meme. Didn't you edit Almost. that one as well? Home Alone. Uh, Home Alone. Yes, I did that. It was actually the uh, no very wonder first no one liked it. that movie. Oh, no. it was Home Alone oh, editing it. I see how it is. <laughs> but I was, uh, I was actually going to say as well the the Snyder cut. The editing of that is fucking incredible, like because it is a mm -hmm. very long video. Uh, yes, and of course, boy. since I edited uh, in conjunction with others the uh, Nobi and Boba Fett ones, I am inclined to be like, yeah, they are pretty good, huh? But I mean, I just I'm just not <laughs> as good as me. Okay, it's reality that must be faced. Um, but at the same time, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, here we go. Who's your favorite uh -oh. new guest? Ooh. So um. Before we say who, who the vote was, <laughs> I just want to point out that ego is a bad thing. <laughs> you shouldn't you shouldn't have one. You know, plenty of people got lots of votes. Actually, funnily enough, probably wouldn't have guessed that Nutsa came that close to you, but she made a really good impression of the EFAP audience. Yeah. Wait, I won? Yeah. You did, yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for some, for some you should reason, be really been struggling you against yeah. that. I was gonna what? say you, you should be really fucking like impressed with the EFAP audience for that one. They voted you as their favorite. That is shocking. Hey chat, you guys did this. Can you explain? What? <laughs> yeah, can so. someone please, again, can this someone is what you please let me know why? I bet you regret not taking this poll now, huh? Yeah. Oh, it was, dude. I, I regret not. Yeah. Not further promoting Doomer, you could have but... swung the, in favor. Wait, of I wasn't else. even. I haven't even been on EFAP for like six months. Was Was the last appearance you had the one we? <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> Maybe they all watch Sitch and Adam. They really like you on there. Sorry, Adam and Sitch. No, it's <laughs> yeah, Adam and Sitch. She left a very good impression. Apparently, I guess. Dude, you beat the cool girl that everyone liked. So man. yeah. Yeah. How about you that? Beat you beat Chad logic. Boobs. That's misogyny. To be fair, right Chud Logic. Beating, beating Chud Logic is, is excellent. I, I can, I'll take beating Chud I was Chud actually going to say, you should totally tell him that. <laughs> he <laughs> likes me more than you. Nee, 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 nee. Annihilate. And Destiny. I, I would have surprised. Annoy. Listen. I'm, how did Destiny not get higher? I don't think Destiny did a great job on you, to be honest with you. Fair enough. I'm not Dude, uh, there's all. a lot of crossover. I'm surprised he's that high. A lot of people have saw the Star Wars thing. <laughs> I think they like. Oh, a little true, bit of a, true, true. I was gonna call it a well poison, but does it count if you poison your own well? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, does it count as a well <laughs> poison or just reality? Of it? That's a well sabotage. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Um But you know, maybe maybe uh EFAP chat will want who got the lowest vote in all of this? It was 
Typo. Well, oh. it, uh, he yeah. was chill. Typo was very chill. Very um, short, though. I suppose so... somebody's got to come last. Yeah. Oh, wait, who's... Oh, Colin Sanders. Oh, shit. Decker, I remember him. Remember that, right? that was a while ago. It was like a whole year. Oh. oh I yeah. legit don't remember. Though I will say... No, I remember, but that must be about a year ago. Um, 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 artistic yeah. person. We gotta get some, uh, we gotta, uh, I don't know if that's a good ratio, but you only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new bloods for the whole year. We slacking? What's going on here? We gotta get some more new guests. New blood. All, we're, we're losing friends because we're a toxic brood. Bruh. So they're, they're all leaving. They don't want to be uh, associated with us and our long content. We got a whole list of all the guests and they voted for which they want to see return the most. And the clear winner was Internet Historian. Um, oh, based. Actually, wow, I, I spoke to him not not done. that long ago. He said he's uh, he's still not really looking to do live appearances on anything. Um, wow, pre pre prepared content is a possibility, ago. but yeah, it's uh, you know I I, I think it would be it? pretty hilarious if we get him for a Gothic phone episode. Oh, we'll see. love that. That would be great. Yeah. Then we got. Yeah, he should come back on. I don't want to talk to him. Next up, Vox. You wouldn't talk to a. He talks to John <laughs> Tron, but that's different. Well, that's not true. He talks to Fringy. <laughs> um, yeah, Voxus. Uh, I have no idea if Voxus is around or available. I know people are going to be upset if they don't get the creepy, weird thing. Listen, he, he makes he makes my Chuck oh. tingle. So oh. we we who knows what's going to happen there. I don't know if has anyone spoiled. It? He hasn't been in chat or anything, has he? Because like I've, I've been, I haven't seen him. Keeping an eye out, I but don't uh, think so. um, but maybe maybe we'll see him. Who knows? Aiden was the third most requested. Um, interesting. All right, and you got oh Sargon right behind. Well, not right, but well, kind of right behind. Yeah, I never know if, if chat here. likes Sargon or not, especially with all the appearances <laughs> on Out of the Sage. I cannot tell. You get this, they have like, some really weird split. arguments. Yeah, so. yeah. He'll he'll say a thing that like pisses them all off, right? And they'll be like, "Fuck this guy!" Blah, blah, blah. And then the next day, he'll be like, "Hey, chat," and they're like, "Yay, Sargon, come in!" Just like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I think <laughs> they, they like him in the abstract until they start having an argument, and they usually agree with Sitch and Adam. So, uh, I've always loved how much he just he's like angrily watches them all the time. <laughs> he's like, I, <laughs> I wish to disagree. <laughs> Got Madvocate. Uh, that was, was that the Black Widow episode one four four. Can't quite remember. I tried to uh, grab him for. I think it might have been Doctor Strange actually. Um, see him at some point. Yeah. Jungles. Yeah, and then it goes like crazy because we got. Look what happened to the colors here. It's like <laughs> there's <laughs> these <laughs> ones, and then there's the rest. Yeah. Well. All right. Um. You, you may or may not see page. any or yeah. all of these chat. We who who knows. Now this... thank you to the two people that voted for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Count your blessings, man. Hey, that's two more votes to zero. Okay, so that's pretty great. Yeah, how did, I appreciate how did you guys. Drinker was third from Whoever the you are. Interesting. Um, I think it's because we've been on things more recently, so no one's you... clamoring to see us again. There's a semi regular. I mean, how did Jay score? Presumably, like. Just like Jay turns up all the time, so who cares? And you're like, oh wow. You're yeah, even in the, the list. Really frequent people didn't even make the list because we're just like, oh, they're part of the show. They, they're not. <laughs> we don't need to vote for them to come back. No, Jay's was... not even an option. Damn. Yeah. The last was Anomaly Inc. Oh boy. Good times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then, then, then right above him, Logic. Last seen EFAP number seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Mm. What are your favorite highlights of year four of EFAP? And the outright right. winner, I was about to say outright as if it's clear, there you go, rags Joe Biden moments. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Madness. Congratulations. Right. There have been Madness. several. I'm surprised they've not made a compilation of all of them yet. <laughs> there's, only, there's only like two, so it, yeah. there's not that much. But can we them. really trust your memory of them? I don't know. Yes, you can. I was there. I was. <laughs> I mean, there, were, were you written. though? I, I was, Who mentally knows? and physically and spiritually. Mm. Oh, what does pride in your work mean? Coming right Ooh, up behind. One. Dude, fantastic was, meme. Uh, I ask myself that every day. Ah, oh, just a classic. I, I, uh, what, I was like, what I've got to find a way to put that into mean? my video as well. It's such a great quote. 
What does it's all so sincerely matter? by her as well. She's just like, what does that even mean? Like, what yeah. would I can't even understand the concept of wow. having pride in your work. Oh, look at that number three, smallest Sonic drawing. Not a huge surprise, honestly. It was quite, it was quite Miller a talented Sonic, little yeah. thing. I, I think that was fantastic. Yeah, I hope to see I think it. Some in, people call uh, that strong goes. Yeah. I think some people call that Mauler pulling a meme. It was definitely a blend of some kind, and I think that it should be the mascot for Trungos, actually. That would be pretty cool. They it should consider it. Oh, number four is Trungos, yeah. Yeah. Trungo. That was a pretty hilarious moment. Uh, <laughs> that was hilarious. It's just the kind of thing that felt like it was made for us. But the person who made it was probably just like, what you... and, and all that that flood of Try positive the reviews. Chicky Grumbo yeah, at Chick Chick Grumbo. <laughs> Come to Trungos for the chickpea Grumbo. Next up, I grew up surrounded by water. That is uh, a good one. A fantastic. It's a bit very, of dialogue. very <laughs> versatile meme. I grew oh, up yeah. surrounded by water. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Like, any well, comment about anything, really people cool. just say they grew up surrounded by it now. Ugh. Boba Fett's insight, yeah. Someone wrote this. Yeah. <laughs> Next up is Freeze Bathroom. <laughs> Freeze Bathroom. I remember that. Oh my god, that was 179. We had quite so... a discussion on really? bathrooms. That's... Yeah, you did. It's great. Is that five months ago that happened? I guess so. Time ago. Five, and a half ish. Something shit. like that. Yeah. Damn, dude. Time just flew by. Yeah. You poop um, with that butt? Next I try up. not to. Rags recapping the Resident Evil franchise? That was awesome. <laughs> uh, the editing from Das Bullshit the was phenomenal. The editing for it was... Hats off to it as well. I remember him, because uh, I, I needed help just editing the, the EFAP movies, and he was like, yeah, I did something extra, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I thought it was uh, something I could do. Do you know how difficult it is to have someone just ask, hey, can, can you recap the Resident Evil series? And you managed to do it. Oh my goodness! I, I, never, do I it was right exhausting. Now. I couldn't. I would. I would. I would <laughs> refuse. I will not. I like the. I will not do it ever again. One of the highest ones as well is Tuskens are dead celebrations. That was pretty fun. <laughs> We're so glad Yay! there's Tuskens in the water. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck yeah! Yes. And not just the women, but the children, too. And, of course, the trench coat scene. It's amazing. Like, you just remember, oh. like, oh, my God, yeah, there was so much fucking dumb shit, and it didn't even have to be in there, but it was in there. I will never forget the gun train. We got the dollar meat stores scoring pretty high. Not bad. Oh, yeah, uh, it's Dev's dollar meat store story. Man, I wonder if Dev will show up today. That'd be neat. <laughs> yeah, that would be. How about that? I mean, he's on, he was on, he's on Discord, I think, fucking around. Let's see. <laughs> what time is it? I, I hear it. Let me let me message him. <laughs> I said, "Come on the stream, you cuck." <laughs> <laughs> Another one of the high scores is the uh, redditor says Friggy is the moral backbone of Eve. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was really <laughs> the moral backbone of Eve. No, I I didn't hear about that. Yeah, oh one fifty six. That was a classic. It's <laughs> like, all righty. A stalwart in a sea of degeneracy, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, 68 votes. Duma thinks Silco kissed Jinx. <laughs> hey, oh, I was wow. right about that, okay? And yet oh, somehow no. they want him to come back. I don't, this is what I mean, I just don't understand. I think it's you, bizarre, uh, did you hack strange. this? Did you, did you hack it's it? Right. I didn't even know it was happening. Oh, you yeah, didn't even know it was yeah. that I didn't even story. know it was happening. Exactly. Yeah, what yeah, it was. Just what they all say. Russian bots. Oh man, maybe, maybe they, maybe they just. I forgot about they, that. They, one. they just put me up here to be a lol cow. That's what's going on. Uh, they like laughing at me. Very clever. Yeah. yeah. You and, sure uh, can pick them. You guys remember that? That was episode one seventy five. That was half a year ago, exactly. In six months, uh, Marcus was too Wait, racist one? to pull the trigger. Oh, <laughs> you remember that? He was, I do, yeah. He discriminates yeah. against Zord, like the he discriminates against Zorn so hard that he can't bring himself to kill someone who's not from Zorn or something. It's like <laughs> all my death, I, all my killing, I save <laughs> for the Zornites. Ben Shapiro's first sexual experience, good stuff. Uh. You know what this reminds me of? Fucking books. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That, oh, by the way, Duma, that's an irrelevant quote. It's classic. Just, oh, no. 
He's like, it's like he's, he just has this disdain toward the written word. <laughs> God damn it. That's a difference, okay? Came to the internet to escape it. Got the good old gun train. Yeah. And then we're entering into the lower level memes, which apparently you gnome fuck is a lower level down. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess it's not. I guess that's a meme that existed before it showed up on yeah. the Yeah. And I would go as far as saying it's, the competition is heavy here, okay? We got a lot of really yeah, good. Yeah. Meme. Fucking Trump goes is there, right? So. Right. Some of these I'm like struggling to remember as well. It's got Fringy's Nights Gone versus Rags My Internet Good. Oh, I love that one. What is that, that one? <laughs> Like I lose my train of thought, and that's it. Rags like, interrupted him to tell him that his internet was good, and Fringy. <laughs> <laughs> that was that? enough oh, for Fringy to lose. Oh, yeah. His, yeah. <laughs> I got the the beak debate. Does having a beak imply being a bird? That was that was scientific. I would Not say even a debate. that was very it's scientific. Not. I think There's a lot was learned and understood. We perfectly. thoroughly explained that Fringy does have a beak. Is the answer that no? was never in doubt, but as for whether or not that makes me a bird, we've got was... Chud Logic. <laughs> I think don't need to read the left. Toys. That was the case. Yeah. You guys remember the clip I played with Chud Logic was like <laughs> yeah. annihilating the lefties? It was great. <laughs> uh, right, listen. Right, listen, good. listen, listen. <laughs> Do you think he'd get upset if we all did impressions of him? Come on. No, he, it's, if it's good content, he wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> That's his religion. I think he was supposed to come on as well. Where are you, Chud? You bastard. Hey, you should ping yeah. him, Duma. You, you're friends with him, right? Dick splash. Yeah. Give, him a little, give him a little cuck message. Okay. I'll do the little same. Little clown boy. Little clown Gonna boy. Gonna join us? What, Rags, what's a, what's a better insult than cuck? Cuck I'll boy. Well, there isn't, but if Sorry. I was to devil's advocate, uh, I don't know. Um, Tom. I mean, he's Canadian, just call him that. All right. I, I don't think he's Canadian, but... Uh, tell him Tell him he's a, a, a weeaboo. Okay. Weeaboo. <laughs> I'm going to put a peepo sus after it. I, I pinged him. You pinged him too? All right, he's definitely coming on there. Yeah. There's three pings. Yeah, absolutely. He'd better. Cuck. Everyone bully him. Uh, all right, where are we going? Uh, not so, not so needed wine to listen to itself being covered by Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> like it's called nut so. <laughs> nut so. <laughs> Woman falls through ceiling into living room from Ethan movies. Malignant. I like <laughs> that's just that event in the film. <laughs> like. This is funny. This is pretty. Oh, uh, that was a really funny movie. Ah, oh, the Trinity of bitches. The Good Trinity memory. of bitches. Hell yeah. Had Bane cool. impressions. Leia's embarrassing chasing. Good time. Ah uh, yes, <laughs> bitches. The three genders. Oh my god, Super Chat's <laughs> asking for Long Kong is in here. You got twenty one votes. Oh my. I don't know what's gonna happen when we watch Long Kong and it releases. Hello. End of an era. You yeah. can retire. Pretty much, yeah. So. Right, what's, oh shit, he's already replied. <laughs> Has he replied to he you guys? He replied to you. Oh, that's that that speaks volumes. Well, I guess he had to pick someone to reply to first. Mm. I mean, he can't reply to two people at once, of course. You, you, yeah. So I assume sure. Mahler's would be at the top of the list over mine because it's the newest one. So it makes sense. It doesn't mean anything about our relationship. I'm reassure him. I don't. Until, he's like, oh no, you're going right now. It's like, oh, it's fine. Oh, he's such a... If you can make he's... it, great. If you can't, that's okay. All right. Is it, though? Is Miscellaneous it a... well, questions. Secretly judging you. How many years have been following EFAB, rounding to the nearest full number? Oh. 40% of the audience are full-timers. 30% Ooh. are... I guess you could call veterans. And then 16% are like, yeah, you know, half and half, mixed bags. They've been here for a while, you know? Then 10% uh, are newbies. And uh, two percent are like, "What's going on? I just arrived. Hello. <laughs> Where am oh. I?" That seems like a really, really even trended split thing. Yeah, I guess that's how it works out. I don't know. Um, roughly. Substantial audience loyalty. How much of EFAP content output, main episodes, minis, movies, gaming, super chat streams, have you consumed this year? Got the biggest slice of the pie is uh, between eighty and one hundred percent. Wow. Oh my. You guys are all EFAP consumers. 
The lowest voted is 100%. All right, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. You don't have any completists out there. Not many. There's, there's 6% of them. You know, how many is that? 30 people in the audience, okay? <laughs> in the past year, have you gone out of your way to consume a piece of primary media? EFAB recommended it for its quality. Oh, that's a big chunk of yes. Got nearly 500 responses on that one. In the past year, have you gone out of your way to consume a bad piece of primary media because EFAB was covering it and you wanted context? A 50-50. Oh. I suppose, because no matter how much context we provide, it's still probably going to be something, uh, you know, beneficial to have the full context from having watched it, but at the same time, it's That's like, interesting. you really yeah. want to spend it's... money on Doctor Like a 50-50 split. That's interesting. I would have imagined it'd be way lower. I think, I, I thought the nose would have been more dominant than that. Yeah. If I was to guess. Only the nose knows. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Easy. How much does your taste in media align with the EFAP crews? You know, 85% say we agree more often than not. Um, man, there's a strong 10% of I do, don't disagree with them about almost any media take. Holy shit. You know, Jeez. best be careful with stuff like that. You wouldn't want it to be that <laughs> you're just agreeing with us because you just agree. I'm not saying that's the case. It might just be that we made the best arguments for every single one of those subjects. Somewhat. It takes a hit or miss. That's 27 people. Wow. Get out. I can't <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> and no the only acceptable answer is mostly. Uh, how good is Arcane's intro theme enemy? We got... Uh, the highest vote is mid. Followed up not hmm. too far away with good. Then bad is, uh, is the smallest section. But All right. Yeah, that's, a, that's a selection of opinions. Ooh, we got a very satisfying shape. Which is Fringy. So the most popular vote is a plague a person in a plague doctor outfit. Mm-hmm. Yes. Second uh, most popular answer is a frog. I think people prefer the frog idea than the bird one. This, I think that's clear. The preference for frogs over birds. Hmm. Alright, so the None best of these rat. slices are green. Man, Arcane has got the full vote on the best rat to come out. Not I surprised at all. Relates to our coverage. Meanwhile, Prey has got the lowest approval rating. That isn't zero, I guess. Or close to it. What the fuck is multiverse? Oh, my video is on here. <laughs> like, <laughs> nobody, oh, one person <laughs> voted for it. Oh. Yeah, it's not going to really compare to Arcane. I can understand that. It's alright. Um... And Smiling Friends has got is uh, coming third. Elden Ring fourth. Spider-Man No Home fifth. The Batman sixth. Better Call wow. Saul season. Better Call Sonic Better Call there. Saul was higher than uh, Squid Game. Yeah, you'd think Squid Game would have yeah, scored a little bit higher, but right. Yeah. Arcane is just fucking loved, I think, which is cool with me. Um, I really like yeah. it too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a okay with that. No complaints here. It was fun on the bun. What's the worst Very rat to come out fun. since EFAP 150? And the top Ooh. vote is Doctor Strange. Mm. I mean, I, I, this, the top three is exactly what I would have guessed. Obi Wan, Thor: Love and Thunder, uh, and then Boba Fett and Halo. <laughs> they Ooh, the Halo top barely three. gets number four. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is this is as objective as it gets. It's true now. Halo is worse than the Boba Fett show. That's it. We have boom, Dominion, boom, boom, boom. but we didn't even cover that, which is interesting. Oh, yeah. Maybe we will one day, you yeah. know. Moon Knight, we didn't cover that, but that got 2%. Spider-Man No Way Home got... most. More people said Spider-Man No Way Home was worse than... It, it was very close, but only one vote, but No Way Home got more votes for it being worse than Moon Knight did. Guys, if we covered Moon Knight, that wouldn't happen. I was about to say, surely you guys... You know that Moon Knight's worse, right? Moon Knight is absolutely worse than No Way Home. We actually, uh, we did cover the first three episodes kind of briefly. Kind of went over that uh, yes, media yeah. episode. Multi themes. Oh, I watched all of it. I didn't think the first three episodes were bad. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Battlefield got thrice the votes of Halo Infinite. <laughs> um. Which upcoming rat are you most looking forward to? And 
That's, you got Arcane Season 2 just blasting ahead there. Guardians of the Galaxy yeah, 3. Down. We're all very worried about that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm worried about Arcane Season it? 2. I can't help but worry. Got the Into the Spider Verse sequel. But, uh. God of War Ragnarok, Mission Impossible 7, Dune 2, Joker 2. Yeah, I, I agree with all these. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope they're good. Sounds pretty reasonable. What's the best rat Probably to come out since... Oh, we got some Morbius meme. <gasps> it's Morbin Ooh. time. Most popular answer it's for Morbin the... time, yeah. It's Morbin time. Yeah, everyone's most looking forward to Morbius 2. This time, it's yes. Morbsonal. Kenobi. <laughs> oh. There we are. Another one for the books. She more. Morbius. <laughs> the only she thing that could save Halo Infinite at this point is the Halo Infinite Morbius crossover. Well, I, I mean, say it as though we wouldn't be obsessed with watching that, but we would jump right on it. First episode. Yeah. I need some Mjolnir arm Morbius. All right, we're gonna watch us some uh, some videos now. Okay. Oh Ooh, these, boy. These were made. Ooh. By some uh, very talented members, members you might even say. Meme oh, okay. oh, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right, so yeah. this one. you did there. And by the way, I don't even like. I, I'm not like, hey guys, go make these. They make them because they apparently like our show. I don't know. I'm str I'm struggling to believe it, but apparently that's the case. Uh, <clears throat> because we can we can sort of let it play. We also pause, talk about different things here and there. Now, if you've been watching, you'll have seen these in the intros already. But now we're going to check them out, okay? And yeah, I did a new watch together because I don't know what was happening with the previous one. But people were saying, like, I remember someone mentioning, should I kick people from it or something? Does it have, like, a cap on how many people? Oh, no. The, so the problem, I, I saw the problem. It was on my end. Oh, okay. Uh, I just got to leave the last one. <laughs> Is everyone in? I think we're missing one. I think I'm in. I'm in. Yes. Oh, let's watch Big Buck Bunny. No. Uh -huh. You know, maybe we should. The we, we see the llama one uh and the oh, no. bunny Mine's one. Flumping up. Oh no. Oh, no. We don't know. I mean, I'm it. Oh no. It does it's the weird extension thingy. I got to install an extension. In it's okay. age restricted. You insist. Do we have to do that? Yeah, if if uh yeah, it flashed for a second. Uh let me check. It's age restricted based on video guidelines. What the fuck? How did that get? Oh, why? How is it age or Well, oh, the bit with the dicks. <laughs> there's, there's a more obvious reason. They said faggot. That's the reason. That's the reason. Uh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what reason? The extension. I'm. I'm playing Dang. it. Just. Fine. Wait, you playing for you? That's not fair. Yeah. Well, if you if just download the extension. If um, we all download the extension. What's the extension? Well, Watch I was gonna say it. like I can I've got it locally so I can just play we could just play in sync basically. Okay. So yeah, yeah we just it's, it's not gonna be paused, but that doesn't mean we can't comment live and jive or whatever. Wait, what's the video right. then? How do I get to the video? <laughs> oh well, will this video get age restricted then if we just play it? Uh, probably. <laughs> I think so they put too much work into watch it. Big Buck Bunny. Uh, I mean, I hope that most people who watch EFAB have a profile on YouTube. And to be honest with you, I've never been, like, hyper against the idea that... Like, when, when it, age restriction, the more frustrating part is if it, like, you know, refuses to recommend it to people who are subscribed or something. If it did that, it was annoying, but... You know, it's just, like, I guess... I've already ticked the thing of we're not meant for kids. I don't that know if that's... true. What, what does age restricted take it up to? It's like 18, I guess, or whatever? I think it's 18, yeah. Uh, oh, it's the EFAP 200 Toxic Brood song. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'll give you the link in a second. I'm um, just trying to find it on. Oh, it's this flame. <laughs> yeah, it's good flame. Guess I'll watch it a third time. Let's go. <laughs> yes. yes. Theme. That's another song, you dimbus. What? Who's playing the thing? Not you know, it's not even a great idea because I... I could get hit with copyright for that shit. <laughs> like I don't know what it is. Big no. Buck Bunny. Oh my goodness! Here we go. 
Who um, would do that, guys? Big Buck Bunny, why? Big Buck. All right, has everyone got it up? I, I do indeed. I do. I do, I right. do. I... Let us I do begin declare. the sync. <gasps> Three, two, one, go. Um, I found EFAB way back oh. when I saw Mola's so much. Oh, great, it's buffering for me. Stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why? Oh, fuck. Stream. Okay, everyone pause. Jeez. Why is it All buffering? Right. It's a YouTube thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember the last time a YouTube video buffered for me. Pause. Okay, let's go. All right. Right. Everyone go back. back. So back to the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Tommy. Okay. Metal. Fuck okay. you. Three, two, How about three, two, one, go. Um, I found EFAB way okay, back. Okay, we don't Molas, so no, we would wolf through an impromptu stream. The way the story goes is uh, we were just hanging out and we were going to stream it. And then Rag yeah. Well, this guy's saying it's true, by the way. So I did it. We did a video from Lies. Thrust and Jared. And the I can't trust week, him. released that video and I was like, wouldn't it be fun? Can't trust that face, really? Sounds Welsh. It's a beautiful face. Do you think people will like that uh, Sonic drawing? Mm -hmm. All of them will. Oh my goodness gracious. Wait a minute, people can't- oh, fuck's sake. Mm? What? It's muted for some- why isn't that coming through? No wait, oh, everyone's strange. saying turn up the vo- I thought it was muted so I paused. Wait, Do I need just... to be doing anything for this? <laughs> go or... back to 30. I'll fix this. Okay, okay, okay go back to 30. Going back to 30. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to 30. This is a professional. Cat, <laughs> you hit my very feelings and gaslit me. I thought it was muted, and I was like, did I just ruin everything? Okay, it's just quiet. Chat, nice. that's abuse. <laughs> yeah. Chat. It's only like six hours left. Chat. Chat. I was going to say, we, we got plenty of time. It's all right. <laughs> so anyway. All right, it I'll takes do. us six hours to figure out how to play this video. And then, damn it, we'll do we it. We got this. Okay, three, two, one. I'm so sure that Sony is in the position to sell a huge more amount. Now I know it seems impossible to watch <laughs> movies wrong, but you're watching movies wrong. Oh, this tonalism. Classic. Oh. This isn't supposed to happen Classic. to Space Wizards. <laughs> the giant alien cow thing is one of my favorite editions. There's no reason not to find my favorite edition. I have to beat off pretty hard after this. Can I join you? Or, 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 my name is not Craig. What the fuck? <laughs> Where did you get this? this? You can only really look at The Last Jedi as a sequel if you interpret it as a sequel. What? The Ruby Tootie Cowboy Judy. Massive faggot. You get to look at women. Water makes things wet. Water is not wet. With, with me. You with the souls in one Face and wet build. The one in the middle of August. Spiders can fucking tell the future. 66 hours. The intellectual gaming community. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the, uh, the, 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 the star on like the grape is Avatar. Weird after. all. Slice and dice. Oh yeah. Bad people get more human rights than skinny people. Three True. You can take Mission Impossible to Jack and Jill if you're part of the toxic brood. With artificial barriers of blockage, with DMV Thanos, I would love my adopted child as well as my biological child. Cora is better than Aang. <laughs> Characters and it's meant for children. This is bad. <laughs> True. <laughs> this is bad. Objectively, this bad spaghetti. Yoda, lightning's the books. <laughs> me high cheek sent me high. Me high cheek sent me high. Everyone knows what a fucking Y wing is. You disingenuous. You're gay robot. Let's just go right ahead. We call virtual headsets. They are their privilege call calls. Not it's like congratulations. Two. That's year one. <laughs> year they, one. Are on they are on planet Mars. They are on planet Mars. Planet Mars. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> maybe this is what got age restricted. <laughs> no, maybe, yeah. This, it, I don't know why you would think that. Yeah, I wonder why. No, this is... Fun, fun for the whole family. I'm all over me. Instrumental break, nice. Yeah, yeah. Break. <laughs> yeah, after that, Thank you for the super chat. Don bless, praise, Tommy. Don bless. <laughs> <laughs> he screams with a, a, a webcam over him now. Is Lay, oh man. 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 Lay, oh Fucking dead. Fucking dead. There's a problem with black women. There's a king Say what? Jeb Bridges, Jeb Connor, Jeb Portstein, Jeb Goldblum, Jeb of the Hut, Jeb FK, Jeb Abrams, Jeb Snow, Jeb Shapiro, Jeb Trump, Jeb X, Jeb Sama Bin Laden. Jeb Sama. Whoa, I like that chick. Here's a McMuffin. You're <laughs> closeted <laughs> homosexual. Real cause of all of your problems? You don't want to fuck? Who <laughs> cares? According uh, to Wikipedia, a hat is a head covering. Well, what do you mean a cane is a clothing? We're debating garbage. <laughs> Wait, you fucking dead. Men walking in medieval warfare. Uh, what up, my Ewok? I make y'all sound like Jews. Jews. What the fuck? This force is into the gay. Is this guy supposed to be Alfred? It doesn't really have. Hey guys, no for here. Bullard rags have a base, they like anything. Where's Hitler's body? It's in my pocket. Doing intercourse on the job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know what you have in my pocket. I heard that you love minorities. I do. The one that will never be good. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Why? I said it's charming, but what? No, it's a question. Fucking dipshit. Bitches be jealous of this scrotum. No, never mind. It's my son. I don't move with the door open. Rugby commentator. Oh, here comes Alwyn George with the ball. Here we go. Here we go. No. Mark my words in August 2021. Pretend that it's what you want and clown boy. How do Jedi's procreate and they can't love? Can't love! Yum yum. It says Wilfred Brimley's 5 8. It also has brackets alive. It would be really awkward if he fucking dies. dies. It's oh time no! To let the children play. I am a dream. Yeah. I'm gonna keep time to let the children play. Oh, being kinky. Does it hurt? Like, oh. Oh, just before you go live, I'm just gonna go for a piss. Whoa, we're a quarter porch in there. Whoa, bring me that droid there. Literally every death that happens is Joel's fault. Joel is not a fucking beloved character. No, 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 no. Words cannot express the greatest of all time. She's Palpatine's granddaughter. It completely solves the Mary Jane problem. <laughs> Mary Jane problem? <laughs> Mary Jane, Mary Jane <laughs> problem. <laughs> You should review more movies, he's funny. Yeah, yeah Actually, he I is. was growing, growing. But, but I was so unhappy to the Aww. point where I would like not be able to sleep. This platform can help people. It can hurt them. And it can aid in the sickening technology addiction and social media at the end of the road for the right person. Even if it's just one person. You can, you can help someone. Fuck me! That's the juggling of toads, you know? Yeah. How it's done. Poetry. He was very excited. Big fenders think they're so incredibly fucking smart that they can find people with subtleties. Little subtleties. Little trucks all my summer, my Halloween, my ability to enjoy life itself. Uh, enjoy life itself. Don't itself. kill terrorists. When life gives you lemons, you tell life to fuck right off. Fuck uh, all of you. I have lost all respect for you, Mother. Your <laughs> critiques are poor. The laughter of squash. You would like Smurfs to give you a hand job. <laughs> dame, dame. Dame, oh, dame, no, no, yo. <laughs> 
Incredible. Is Hitler a bad villain because he lost the war? I'm not watching a 12 hour review of that's the death of creativity itself. <laughs> I'm a 33 year old yeah, straight crazy. white. You're 33? <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> fucking weird. Yes yeah, or no? You guys know, let me. Timing tests your time to yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's weird that this man called his mother by her first name. What did you want him to say? Save my mom. Cunting piece of horse radishing fuck. Absolute turd of a pill. I have in all my years never had a more unpleasant time watching a film than I have sitting through this fucking awesome Loneliness plus alienation plus fear plus despair plus self worth EFAP spreads their Snyder derangement syndrome propaganda. <laughs> the witch practices the bagel. The wizard yeah. practices wizard. I don't believe in bad. It didn't work for you. That's totally cool. <laughs> Miranda, that evil bitch stole my life from me. Full balls on the edge of a cliff. What's everyone's opinion on cock and ball torture? I don't really take much issue with any fetish anyone has. <laughs> I don't think it was It's amazing that Pringy felt that that was like a <laughs> war thing, like prisoners. <laughs> 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 Why things are smaller the further they get away. My mom is in there to cook the uh, chicken for me. Dude, what am I supposed <laughs> to do? <laughs> 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 One big futuristic science fiction allegory of the Vietnam War. We have enemies that are so unlike us that they're basically an alien race. Smash your mouth. Some have the ding, some have the ding. There is no Dick, don't double fuck my ass. Hot white cheese, silky payload. We reached our, our junction. They like remix it each time, but it's yeah. more complicated. Gay. Frank, do you have any commentary? Nope, the men. Stop it. I'm trying to take my tuna casserole. The virgin. Let's go play butt butt. This is the Chad. Father, I wish to engage in mini golf. <laughs> 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 Am I on acid? True. Train to Hassan. All aboard the Nuggets. Oh. <laughs> you don't need to always use the do 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 Guys, it's busy. Henry, did you survive that ladder? Somebody needs to find this fucking kid. Smack them in the mouth. Oh, but he's got families, kids, wives, husbands, wives. They chose the wrong side. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Oh, that guy. Gandalf, fuck Gandalf. Double tap. Double door. Double door. Double door. What if I was spotting, baby? In liquid form, <laughs> that's not farting. That's shit. We always need to hold some for but a brief moment or two. Anyway. I am such a fat face. This <laughs> plan is getting too long. Too long. Monkey Fred is great. Oh, no. 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 Trungo. Man of Trungo. Chicken Rumbo. Good. The fact that Caleb's like, able to meet by and the fact that they cooperate the way that they do seems a bit convenient. Sending both of them to hell is the right decision. Sending them both to hell is the right decision. Dun, 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 dun,
And I was like, okay. And I was like, uh, okay. all right. And I got to the end, I was like, eh. And then the more I thought, I'd be angrier. Yeah. 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 You can't just hate shit that doesn't put yours. Your YouTube content is there when I ain't got nothing else left to talk about. What does it take pride in your work mean? You can know fuck! Oh. Everything I've got to You can know fuck. Uh, is unless he is the... What you say to me, I don't suck for penis and no queer. I'm gonna throw my crawfish at you in the bucket too. Apologize to Wanda for all the evil that caused her. No, because Tony runs away from his problems. <laughs> Run away, she just can't. <laughs> the such a bad experience. Wanda entertained them with magic shows. They celebrated Halloween. Thought he was unemployed oh for all this, and Wanda gave him a job. <laughs> my cell right room. Oh, this guy would make a really good sleep with Jay Long. <laughs> yeah. The world's greatest multiverse's most horrific turbo guns. <laughs> oh jeez, oh god, we're pushing the bag home again. Your clothes never wear as well the next day. Your hair never falls in quite the same way. Our institutions don't uh, crumble. Yeah, yeah. Nobody trusts and nobody anymore. I don't even know the context this for that one. The oh, that that's the, the uh, Snyder stuff. The river and drowned the whole world. Oh my. Always, I love I rags that of it. Very accurate. That's how that's how I look right now. When she smiles. Little tongue's hanging out. Looks like I've got a number nine, two numbers, <laughs> yeah. the number seven for an extra dip. McGregor's a fine actor. Obi Wan was a terrible character. And the moment Obi Wan finally oh equips his lightsaber, oh, he falls no. in for a good time. Jelly, 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 jelly. What's the volume of like a standard bathtub, and how much hot cream do you have? I think the volume of the standard bathtub is silent. Shut up, rags. I want to fill you with hot cream. Got it flying everywhere. They went over the top to just have it literally in your face. It wasn't literally in her face. Oh, through the rags. No, that's the wins another argument. Ooh, mon ami. Watch this video, switch my body. Oh god. The rags. We're not all look the same. Rags. Why did I call you rags? <laughs> I'm rags. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a long day. I'm gonna assume it was a long day. All right. Uh, with that, thank you all very much for hanging out with us. The kind messages, the kind donations, and the kind insights here and there, back and forth. Thank you all so much for watching. You sleep well now. Good night, everyone. Okay. Bye bye. Good point. <laughs>
Because that 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 huge one, I was I think it was primarily made by Rainbow Soap. Am I correct in saying that? Or maybe yes. even exclusively made. Um, this oh one's my. Gaia Ray. Made, I think at this point, possibly every intro. Because I just ah oh, the graphics. Yeah, let's, I'll just pop it on. You know why not? Pop it. Oh, that's the one from all the way in the beginning. Yeah, that one was awesome. What a hype generator. This is. It makes me shleem all my gleams. Slowly but surely, all of the things here will be replaced by terrible versions that have destroyed our characters. And <laughs> Only a little bit. <clears throat> Not today. We could do this all day. Oh, I'm saving him in home. He resurrected my cringe. He was buried nice. and gone. Now it's back. Be gone, cringe. <laughs> That's <smart>. classic <laughs> moments in media. <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> oh, this is so good. So hype. <laughs> oh, I was on that one. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so intense. On point. An epic intro. Yeah. Nice. Look at I that. Faces too. Yes. Pretty beautiful. And uh, Dude, loads he, of work goes into his drawings, too. Some, some yeah, good based on Doomer being the least popular, so he didn't even draw Doomer, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> Doomer's like, terrible at you won't believe stokes. my crowd is false, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I still the one don't believe it. can't draw as a stoat. Surely the, the one guest that they want to come back the most won't use a stoat as his fursona. <laughs> Those are pretty cool. Stoats are neat. Um, so yeah, this one is, uh, this is the intro for part two. It's the Fab 200 song, Toxic Rouge. Um, I think this is a big collaborative effort. Ooh. Oh, that's the one way I kill myself. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> that's why I will never forget it. Yeah. of Gothic phone. <laughs> Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, welcome. I'm a knight of EFAP or objectivity. My wisdom echoes through the ages. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Before we begin this, I want to say thank you. I feel like I'm a family. This one wasn't like my lightning rod. No, it was green. Boom. That was true. Train to Hassan. All aboard the Nuggy Express. Mom isn't there to cook the chicken for me. What am I supposed to do? Die? Pay them? Pay the oh, I'm confused by what you're saying. Such a fucking dingus. Oh, it's gonna be a day I don't find this funny anymore, but it's way in the future. I'm literally gonna do exactly what I've been doing, which is whatever the fuck I wanna do, bitch. Bitch. I support the current thing. I am sad with God. I am sad with God. Here I am. You guess who looked at women? Chris. Wait, 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 wait,
<laughs> Kicking Jay in the background. <laughs> this platform can help people at the end of the road for the right person. You're <laughs> A hearty goodbye from every frame of pause. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hearty goodbye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> it was amazing. Bye bye. 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 Goodbye. Good night. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Amazing job, awesome lads. Awesome ending. It's good. It's outrageous. Seriously, excellent work. It's the uh, it's, uh, absolutely. There's so many very impressive favorite highlights. Um, I, I love the fact that me and my little bicycle got in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blue bombs. Those One point in the background, you see like chat. It was amazing. amazing. Multiple times. Yeah, chat's kicking Jay in that part as well. <laughs> Loved all the silent, like, music. the nose in the background. Yeah, there it is, QCV. That's Shepard <laughs> Pies. <The> beating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got so much shit going on all at once. Fantastic. So many Attention references. To detail. Yeah. It's, it's, it's funny, it's like a big old... Uh, just so many memes to, to keep track of. Like it's, it's unreal. I can't even remember which years a lot of these come from. It, it, it's, it's funny, when we were looking at that song where it did the huge more amount, it's like, Jesus, huge more, I remember that. <laughs> that, that sort of died out. It was, it was just way a, back, yeah. It was a way of saying a lot more. You say a huge more. <laughs> huge more. Huge <laughs> more. It's more more than less more. That's true. Um, it's the biggest more I can think of. What is this a uh, Half Life shit, right? Would yeah, been, that's the end. That's like G -mod. G -mod yeah, or yeah. something. Yeah, I'm gonna like see this one. in my nightmares. <laughs> I mean, fucking look at my face over there. Mel's Jesus. looking so handsome. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you mean, uh, you are quite great. pale. That's a face. Yeah. Yes. He was. Hey, great. man, I'm right here. It's like How if come Metal Doctor was Strange a didn't go to the G Mod universe? Ah, <laughs> uh, Quimpum. I, stand with I do quite like that image. Pretty great. I support <laughs> the current thing. <laughs> oh, Hassan. Is the, is the NPC a fan of his, or do you think it's just the average person? Just I don't know. <laughs> you imply there is thought there for an opinion to be formed. Mm. Look at those eyes. Oof. NPC. They've seen those... a lot. Yeah. Cold, <laughs> dead seen eyes. They've seen Hassan. <laughs> The NPC being annoyed, the son is getting criticized. Like I can't believe they criticized the king. <laughs> Reaction income, not for redistribution <laughs> to creators. Run <laughs> 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 of money. Uh, that was a whole thing that actually money. happened. He's out there. He's still doing yeah. it. Yeah, still going, going. On. Together with good old Ethan Cloyne. Ethan that's a combination I never thought that's gonna happen. That's... We got, we got this last supper. There's another last supper mine. someone's made as well with all this. No, oh. you all love it. Beautiful. Yeah, it's good schleem. Who's Judas? Go back. Oh no, I didn't. They check. Who's Judas? 
It's Jay. <gasps> I knew it. <laughs> I think there's a, a knife. I think there's another one with drinkers, Judas. At least that's the one I saw on Twitter, Maybe I think. Maybe Judas, the one with the knife there on the left. <laughs> little green peen. Yeah. I mean, it's not little. It's a pretty that's big... A, that's a big green That's peen. a big peen. Strongest peen. I like Michelangelo's rags. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent work. Hyper appreciate it. You guys are legends. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. And then there's the intro for this very episode. Fringy back? Oh, what? Oh, uh, Fringy left for coffee. Oh, went to went wow. Well, I'll, uh, I'll load her up. We'll wait for really sure. sure. It's true colors. Green? Oh, I, I, did, I think I haven't did seen you see that, that one yet, actually. Did you see that movie Bob called all the people up uh, calling him out for the for his recent tweets um not people <laughs> oh he didn't even check to see if they were republican yet though didn't even see if they were human that's his go-to insult you're not even a yeah. real person you're not even human <laughs> what would you know <laughs> uh, he says it you marinate hey, chicken uh, and stressing him out. you're not a real human let's be honest here let's um, see. You know, i'm gonna take the opportunity to pee quick i'll be back Oh, Sorry, right, worry. Quick, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. What? Pee quickly. Pee quickly. Pee quickly. Nice. Pee quickly. Pee that's, quickly. That's a good one. It's going to quickly pee. Going to. Peeing man. Quickly. Take me by the peeing. Take me by the no hand. <laughs> You're not this even real man. people. You're None of this real is real. People. I'm a brain in a jar. Oh, you too. Oh, sweet. Lord, and let the piss. Let the pee flow. In my eyes, let the pee Ugh. flow. Let it flow. In my <laughs> mouth, <laughs> let the pee flow. I'm pissing and oh my god, oh, so keep it going. Why'd you stop? I, I couldn't think of anything else right now. <laughs> let it flow. Let the pee flow in my bucket. <laughs> I remember what I know how to find it. Dump it in, in my right coolers. There. Have you ever pissed in the sink before? Yeah. No. Yeah. I, Let me guess, it's because you went to go piss import. and your toilet wasn't working, so you're like, well, I piss in the sink. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, Not pretty much. You haven't lived until you've pissed in the sink. Let me tell True. you. It's quite an experience. In my ass. Do you think pee people are out there and their, their toilet just sort of breaks and they just, they're just such lazy fucks that in they don't do anything ass. about it? And they're like, well, pissing in the sink works. I'll just keep doing that. Let the pee you, you just do it for the thrill. Out. That's in true, mind. yeah. The rush Knowing they could piss in the sink. Because you're not supposed to. They could piss to, in the toilet. But... Like, that, that's a totally viable option that's right there. But they're like, you know what? Fuck the toilet. I'm pissing in this perfectly good yeah. sink. Toilet's I for fuck squares. my toilet. I don't pee in it. Does it go to the same uh, place? Uh, Does the no. toilet water go to the same place the sink water goes? Or do they, like, or, mm. or is this specifically so. the toilet place? Uh, Does it go I to a it. different... What did you the find? Pee? Did you find the question? I found, I found, I found the, 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 the tweet about all the people who are <laughs> people. not happy with uh, people, who are not people. Imagine if any of Let's them see. were people. Wow, this one was like a bug light. Look at them all. So angry. Imagine if any of them were people. What is wrong with you? Like, are you, are you okay? <laughs> Imagine if any of them were people. It's like I feel like that just doesn't work, you know, like as an insult. I just fucking love people on on Twitter. It's like starting shit, and then they get graphics like <laughs> lol bots. Oh, look lol, how angry they are. Real lol. people. It is <laughs> ironically really strange because I thought all of us knew like the whole de dehumanization thing is just like a bad idea. But he yeah. just like that's his first go to when you say like hi Bob. He's like no, I'm not human. Shut up. Yeah, but a lot of us know that eugenics PC. is a bad idea too, but he didn't get that memo. It's um, it's just so weird to out. just he's say that little like, character thing. Kind of. I mean, he has a hissy fit as he often does when he doesn't get his way. He he's awfully immature for the Uber Minch, but I <laughs> think it it's just really weird that just, he that that's how he says it. Imagine it's interesting to me people. because I, I understand not wanting to deal with that shit because I w don't either. But here's the difference. I just don't write anything on Twitter that gets me in that kind of trouble, so I don't have to deal with that. Yeah, and, and you, and you don't neither. have any good takes either, because Movie Bob experiments, okay? He throws out some yeah. things that the world aren't ready for, I guess. I was also going to say, by the way, I, pro I, I meant to actually show this earlier, I've sidetracked with different things, but this is... Uh, 
Ibikins is still just dominating in terms of doing a good oh, yeah. job with the Eva doing the EFAP.me, big... the number one source for all things EFAP information, I suppose. The, that website screams big dick energy. Absolutely. It oh, does. yeah. The chaddest of chads, right? Large penis power. Got this mm -mm -mm. live coverage section. Look how gorgeous everything is already. That's the thing about Ibikins website designing is just strong. We got. We got what, what information we got here? You got the, the hosts and guests and times. Wait, wait didn't Duma just come on and fall asleep? That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> and he's the best new guest. I know, wait. right? Can you believe it? I think a hacking was afoot. Just saying. Got a. Wait, when did, when did I fall off asleep? His foot? Oh, One nothing. Hacking nobody. Coming right up. Got. Uh, in, wow, they got. They got. The video's covered and tangents named as well. Or our tangents: Pokemon naming, gaming memories break, discussion on game difficulties. Springy discovers the shoehorn. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> I remember that. it seems so long ago it when was we were so talking about ago. the shoehorn. Springy's beef. grown so much since the shoehorn incident. He's just yeah. really blossomed into this incredible. You know, I really hope my P Jingle becomes frog. a timestamp. I think that was pretty good. I'm very proud of that one. Wow, look at ER hogging up everything with his nine and a half hours game time. What is that? Oh, and he's on third part too. God. This guy. Wow. Never Imagine stop. being talking, on man. Imagine being on all three parts. That's cringe. That would be cringe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it feels pretty cringy. I promise. <laughs> you have to pay for no, this. I make myself my own. Oh my god, EOR that arm. fucking <laughs> Stephen Hawking meme that gets me every time. Just... Oh, wait, I haven't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in for a treat. <laughs> That's when I was a sleepy boy. Let me, let me. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I think Gary tweeted that without context as well. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh no. oh no. Hello. Hello. Back for more. I see. Hello again. And we'll say. <laughs> Bud said he wanted Didn't to join at some enough. point, so once he arrived... Oh shit, he just messaged me. <laughs> Who? Wow, the timing on that. Mr. Logic. Who did, Dev? Oh. oh. No, Dev, Dev abandoned us. Dev doesn't care. That's fucked up. If I look over and I see a green... I swear to God. Alright. Alright, who out of you lot is the closest to being like, man, I could actually use some sleep or do life things? Me. You, you, <laughs> so I'm afraid... Uh, <laughs> rags. Oh yeah, that's right. The contract I signed in blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> uh, should have read the fine print. Well, like all of you want to stay. Is that what I'm? Is that what I'm hearing? I can, that, is, I can you think sad. that's a good like pickup lines? Like, girl, you so hard to read. You fine. Okay. All right. So I'm not, I'm not saying it's good. I'm I'm not saying it's good. I, I was asking. I, was like, I specifically, I specifically frame that in it. the context of being a question. Oh. I make no claims. Wait, is, oh. is Duma sacrificing himself? Is that what's happening? He fell on his. He's own gonna sword. He, he's gonna go use that pickup line immediately. <laughs> Gotta go like, test great. it out. <laughs> Girl, you so fine. I didn't read you at the bottom. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's, the right he's got to use it now before it gets stale. <laughs> Girl, you so fine. I ignored it. you completely and assumed you'll be fine. Oh, is Duma man. dead? <laughs> I don't know. I don't Let's think so. so. I hey, baby, so. were your parents retarded? Because you sure are special. No. Oh. <laughs> mm. I, um... He's gone blank on Discord as well. Oh, no. Mm. Did he... The Duma has fallen. It. it was Doom? I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. If I had said, like, alright, chat, vote for who gets kicked in place for, for uh, uh, Chud Logic, I imagine that the most... They probably would have voted Doom, even though you won the, like, no. most popular person no. vote. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was rigged anyway. So. I'd be way no. out of here. You reckon they'd vote for you? You're really wholesome, though. Innocent. <laughs> no. And you're flying under the radar because you haven't spoken in like the oh, last Doom hour. Is gone. Well, that was me that did that. But I mean, oh. look, he's taken up space. Unacceptable. Yeah, get the fuck out the of here. Has get his corpse out of here. Yeah, just like, shoved it's it, in the, it away. In the wagon. Yankee. Well, so, look who it is. What's going on? We're celebrating oh, being alive for four years now. What are you racist nerds up to? What's, what's going on here? Oh, you know, oh, being racist. Racist yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, racist. Being racist. Okay. Nothing serious, just kind of, you know. 
Very casual yeah. racism. Like a, a little bit of like a pickup game sort of thing. Just the preseason. We're in the preseason. Okay. <laughs> the best kind of racism. Yeah, um, when the scoreboards come out, we want to be ready. All right. Well, since since Chud's here, let's see if we can find something that um suitable for him. This this looks like yeah. This is will be good. I I I I'll, I'll. This is something that was sent to me a while back, and I was just like, you know, what? I'm gonna save that. That's a, that's a beautiful piece of verbiage that deserves coverage. So um yeah, I'm, I'm I'll post it to you guys, but I'll I'll give it the read. It's okay. So this is from um the I Reddit confessions. No, no, this is this is reading. It's kind of, you're right. You don't have to do oh. any visual. That reminds me of books. No, you you prepared something <laughs> to watch, and now we abandoned that. Wait, wait, you can read. Wait, what do you mean I prepared something to watch? Didn't you do like the yeah, number two? Oh, shit, well, we need to, yeah, we're waiting for, okay, we'll get back on with, the thing is, Chud's gonna have no context for any of it, you know? Okay, I, okay, I, I was just all confused. Wondering. You'll have full context for this, though. That's he's, all. He's okay. familiar with this sort of thing. That's so, important. Like I said, here it is, and I'll just give it, I'll just give it a quick read. Yo, I'm so desperate Ooh. to have sex with a female <laughs> clown, I can't take it. <laughs> oh, I know this one! This one is funny as fuck. More than anything, I just want a beautiful Look at woman his username. with a clown costume. This is Femme Clown Lover, yeah, that's important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Just want a beautiful <laughs> woman with a clown costume, makeup, and a big red nose to have sweaty, passionate sex with. I want her to lay on my bed, <laughs> take her big shoes off, and let me <laughs> suck and lick her toes. I'm jerking myself off while she blows up condoms and makes them into balloon animals. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to take off her clown pants and clown underwear, then start pulling his clown underwear. <laughs> clown under <laughs> I'm curious what that is. Pull several the feet of colored scarves out of her pussy. Once the scarves are out, <laughs> I want to enter her, then fuck her as she honks her big red nose in time to my thrust. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do the clown laugh and spray me with a squirt gun flower as I come. I don't know why I have this fantasy, but I do, and it's killing me. I want clown pussy so bad. It <laughs> oh, man. He wants that pussy. So that, that was a thing on Twitter for a little bit, the whole classy thing, right? Classy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Start off as bussy, that was like... Well, I think it's yeah. boy's anus, but it means a man, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like it's femboy, boy. bussy, it you know. Anus. It's not a pedo thing, just to it's be clear. Asshole. It makes sense, yeah. uh-huh, yeah. Okay, well, wasn't that all based from, like, a character from Ace Attorney or something? What? <laughs> I think it's so. just, like, a clown character. Right that, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember, yeah. There's a part two to this copy pasta. Oh, There's no, There is? Really? I, didn't, I don't have it, I'm so yeah. sorry. The story continues, oh, let me no. see if I can find it. Oh, my god. Do it. What's this wish fulfilled? Wish fulfilled. Yes. <laughs> he oh. met a clown. Oh. <laughs> a twist. Yeah, his wish. I met a clown. That's wish that's pretty beautiful, true. I would say, actually. Hey, um, I've got it. Bud. I'll just send you the Reddit thread. Best day ever. Wait, so this is... How does this work? Is it like a follow-up Reddit thread, or do you post like a second image at some... Oh, I see. I he fulfilled says, my dream. <laughs> yeah, I had sex with a woman in a clown costume. It was everything I wanted and more. This is... Wow. <laughs> Good we did it, Reddit! <laughs> Proud of you, man. Oh. <laughs> the top comment, by the way, is part of me wants proof and part of me doesn't. <laughs> In my mind, it's real. So uh. It says, uh, I met a woman after my post went viral. She messaged me. We got to talking and hit it off. She's kind of got a clown thing, too, as it turns out, and she was only a three-hour drive from me. And after sharing pictures, we decided to meet in a neutral location between us. I booked a hotel room and we met Sunday evening. After I'd been waiting in a room for about an hour, I thought I might have been ghosted or catfished again. As my heart started to sink, again. there was a knock Clownfished at the door. Again. <laughs> clownfished by... <laughs> clownfished? <laughs> I've been clownfished. God damn it. Not damn. again. The beautiful, sexy clown woman of my dreams. Her outfit and makeup and big red nose. <laughs> so perfect it ached. She came in, and she started making balloon animals as we made small talk. Of course, that's Your how it Your circus yeah. or mine. And oh my God. put them all over the bed. Then we made love. The hottest and most passionate sex I could ever have imagined. She had plenty of clown antics to surprise me, including hitting me in the face clown with antics. a small pie. That's <laughs> <laughs> a surprise. Well, this is fucking bullshit, isn't it? This isn't a true story. He's supposed to be made up. You reckon the pie is one step too far? <laughs> that's, that's a, that's is a, that where you draw the Everything line? else is I can believe. She a cream pie. No, you know, no, no, thank you. I, th I don't know. But I'm when she comes, this. does she honk the horn? I love a cream pie in my face. Exactly. Oh, my God. And... Uh. 
Yeah, I want a, to believe. Gave her nose a honk. After hours of lovemaking, we sat there holding each other and kissing while I occasionally honked her nose and tried to hold back <laughs> tears of guilt. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I was so happy to have the connection I've been denying myself because it's weird. And what I've desired for so long, holding her in my arms and legs still quivered from the orgasms. I cried as she held me because I was so happy. She began to cry too, and we're definitely going to be together now. And uh, are both so happy with each other. I feel like a hole in my soul has been healed. And my life is finally on its way up. See, this is really wholesome, I think. I don't know why everyone's treating it so It's late. not true, because it's not true. This bullshit. It's not, of course it's didn't happen. The, so clowns uh, can't find love now. Yeah, little did, faith. Could you not kill dreams for one second? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so so clowns can't find love is what you're saying? Yeah. Well, it just, it's, it's too ridiculous, isn't it? There's no way. It's too ridiculous. Too ridiculous oh, for yes. a clown to get out there and make something of themselves. I guess. <laughs> no, obviously that was fine. It's Twitter it's post went story. viral. It got him attention. There was some girl out there who just had the same, the same feelings, the same need, and it was just sometimes opportunity knocks. Opportunity all it takes is one song, person. And you uh, just you you uh. Sometimes, sometimes you, have, you just have to smell opportunity's flower, and well, sometimes. I, uh, so get a face water water. Water. He does follow up as saying, I don't have words for what my life has become. I used to just be a loser who would snort ground up Adderall and jerk I off the clown be porn. A loser. You, <laughs> yeah, so you used to, nobody wants to be stuck with clown porn, but now he's a real clown girlfriend. Yeah. Wild yeah. shit. Yeah. And he's kicked his drug habit for good. He's joining a program to maintain sobriety. This is amazing news. This is really great. This really changed yeah. his life. I'm happy to guess. You don't believe it. Well, the, uh, I've actually I've seen a I've seen one, one piece of clown porn, and this woman's got a sheet over her. <laughs> right? Oh my god! This, how did you, how did you know it was a clown her. then? How did you know this guy's fucking her? In, this guy, well, no, wait, the guy that's fucking has got clown makeup on. Okay, oh, he's the and that um, he's the clown. She's, but she's then embarrassed some, to be in the video, so then, she put a blank then, over her. Then, Why have you seen clown well, porn? Why but do then, you know about then, the clown porn? But then they wait. No, there's more. There's more. They take the sheet off. Oh, the woman's right. also okay. in clown makeup, right? Oh, okay. And then right. they take the clown oh, makeup off. Okay. Right, they, and then the woman takes the clown makeup off, and the the man realizes he's just fucked his daughter because his daughter. Oh, he was clown. Wait, so the only clown you was clown really had was also you don't just believe to be this clear. Story. Okay. This is a really complex fetish. Yeah, this is yeah, there's a, a fuse of incest and, and clown <laughs> porn. Stop. Beautiful fusion. No. Clown incest, the anonymity of both yes. the blanket and the 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 makeup. That's real. Correct. This is yeah. This is complex. This is like the ritual they have to do in Cabin in the Woods. Oh yeah, it's like a it's like a less severe version of a Serbian film, basically. Oh god, oh, why would you let god. people know that exists? <laughs> you never thought of reviewing it, no? No, well, not really. Uh, <laughs> I think I think an eight hour an eight hour fucking EFAP an um, um, eight hour Mauler video on it would be good, no? Well, um, what, what's it down every single moment? Racism. Okay, no, fair enough. We got. I mean, uh, Serbia is known for something now. We got the you know the absurd clown one. I can see why you might not have believed that one. I feel like this one though is pretty airtight. Um, Rags, would you oh like my. to take over for the for the reading of this one? The title. I would love to read this. Is Breaking Bad ruined our sex life? All right. Oh, that's, that's okay. <laughs> I just right. finished my rewatch of Breaking Bad. There's this a part one and part two. If you uh, to be fair, Rags, maybe oh, wow. I was going to say because there's references in here, but you should be all right. The people who've seen Breaking right. Bad will understand. All right. Well. All right, Breaking Bad ruined our sex life. Throwaway account because my family knows my main, and I don't want them to know about this. That's fair. Does family ever know their main? I don't understand this. So, the main as the title states, Breaking Bad has ruined our sex life. It started with us getting frisky to the show and devolved to the point where we can't even have sex without it on. Yeah. Fair. I say. If I'm on top, I'll watch the show while I do my thing. We both turn our heads to the side and watch it on the TV. We love doggy style. Me too. Because we can both watch it at the same time. Originally, Missionary was our favorite due to the intimacy, but we stopped because we couldn't watch the show. <laughs> A bit innocent so far, but the memes are where it goes downhill. There is a meme of Mike Ehrmantraut going... Walter, put your dick away, Walter. I'm not having sex with you right now. <laughs> now, we found this absolutely hilarious, and it somehow devolved into it being incorporated. 
If one wants sex and the other doesn't, the immediate reply is doing a mic compression and going, put your dick away, Walter. <laughs> What's even worse is that we changed it to say, get your dick out, Walter, or let me see those eight balls, Walter, if we do want to have sex. I can't even remember the last time either of us asked for sex normally. Not only that, but during the act itself, we make jokes about it. I'm like Walter, and you're like Mike, because I'm about to shoot something into your stomach. <laughs> I'm oh going to make God. a mess uh, out of you. Boy. <laughs> Choke me like Walt did to Crazy Eight. Oh, no. In a jessing voice. Yo, I'm about to shoot all of your face, Gail. <laughs> all of these are actual oh, things that said. <laughs> this is an easy fix. Just start doing this during Better Call Saul. Yeah. <laughs> because of this weird obsession... Every time we see an RV, we get <laughs> every time we hear the intro, every time someone mentions meth or the name Walter, <laughs> even when we see memes of the show on Discord or YouTube. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Breaking Bad fucking ruined our sex life. There's no turning back now. Fuck sakes. Yeah, Better Call Soul is the way out. You got another six seasons. Seasons. Problem. No, yeah, I see this as an absolute win. <laughs> I was gonna say you have spiced up that sex life. That is what oh my, my favorite part. Spicy, is, um, all right. Can you picture a name less sexy than Walter? Walter, Keith, Walter, Keith. Put your yeah, dick Keith. away, Walter. Malcolm, Walter, what? Doug. Malcolm's Malcolm's sort of up there. Yeah, Doug. If you say it like Aram Trot. Yeah. It's just fine. Walter, Metal, Walter. Hey, oi, Walter, put your dick away. <laughs> that story was bullshit too. I don't know why you're taking it. Wow! Absolutely ridiculous Once stories. Again. So can you please just can you just Eve, like so little not... faith? I feel like the Shot clowns like would probably the join them on that. It like I think it's like the universe in a way. Like it, it, let me, it lends credence. Let me ask you which which do you find least credible of those two tales? Yeah, yeah. Be honest. Okay, so. I think that the way, uh, probably the second one, the Break a Bad one, because it was written in a way least that credible. made it clear to me, made it least credible, yeah. I think it was okay. least credible because it was written in a very oh, odd okay. way. The other one was written more credibly, but the details of what happened seem so absurd that I don't believe it happened. Okay. It's more it's absurd more credible. than the Okay. More well, absurd, but more credible. Absurd, but more credible. But you'd... Yes. Less absurd. You'd vote for the clown porn and clown... clown Clussy being being the real deal compared to the Breaking Bad one. You you can't say clown Clussy. That's just not. That's bad form. I, I think I think the I think the clown one is true but embellished. Okay, that's my take. Well, what does that mean? You, you mean like well, he, he well the fucking honking the honking the horn and shit. Yeah, of course he didn't get fucking pie in the face. That's ridiculous. Like it was probably a bit of clown based. To be honest with you, no, clown, the story didn't really come together for me until pie. there was the pie. Food. It sounded more triumphant, like he was happy to write it. it I bet it turned. Exactly. I bet he had a, just a big raging clown boner as he was writing. Cloner, if you will. Cloner. Like just writing about it made him excited. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> what? Same yeah, clown boner. Dude, the whole like the make you say like the horn is ridiculous. Like like all clowns come with horns. I don't even know why like the little. Sneaky... This clown really comes with horns. Exactly. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> I just, I question the veracity of your claims in other subjects if you're having trouble understanding the, the, the validity of this story. That's what I think. Beauty. I've watched you think... tackle some stories now, Chud, and I'm starting to wonder. I'm just saying. Oh, really? Okay, no. Your sure. fans know well... about your clown bias. Instead of calling him daddy, she calls him ringleader. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. So. Well, there's nothing else guys... to say except. Well, there's there's a lot of weird fetishes out there, and you know, I just want to throw one out there. Didn't everyone's heard of oh, this? That Does one's all... weird now. That's not normal. Is this going to be your r slash confession? This oh. fetish thing. No, it's have? not. It's not. A, it's not a confession. We take it mm -hmm. how you will, of course. Um, but has anyone ever heard of um, bug chasing? Yes. Oh, Unfortunately. Yes. Oh no. no. Yeah. What does everyone think of that? Someone plays oh, Animal Crossing. Ah, so let's move right along. Let's <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah I have yeah. I have funny wholesome things. All right, let's yeah. let's do that now. <laughs> Bug chase is funny, but okay, fair enough. That's that's fine. Okay. It's not really funny at all. It's tragic. Well, hey, I think I think I think Chad will find this interesting. Okay, like we'll get his. Maybe he'll have terrible movie opinions, and it'll be interesting. Oh to find yeah, out. well, knows? political people always so, do. He, he, well, you know, we can hope. Oh, you mean like She-Hulk was really good? Yeah, of oh, course. No. But anyway, no, 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 no. I loved it. Great. My, ki my kids loved it, so, you know, what's, what's the problem? Well, <laughs> you know. Uh, well, Listen, I'm just fucking around. I've not watched it, and that looked like, it looked like fucking shit, okay? I don't Continue, believe that sorry. you have children. Yeah. I don't believe it. I don't believe you really hate clowns. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's this, uh, what's the movie thing? Come on. All right, all right, all right. So it's, it all starts, once upon a time, with uh, uh, Patrick Willems saying, people getting all mad, uh, The Last Jedi, they need to understand this is a movie about space wizards intended for children. This didn't go down very well. We're talking all the way back in like late 2017, early 2018, I think. And um, the, the internet will like meme this a bit and they would throw it up in different places. Um, yes. Basically, he's like, stop being critical. It's meant for children. That's how it was interpreted fully. When I think if we're being as best faith as possible, this is more so don't get so emotionally invested when it's really not that important. Like, that's kind of the vibe. But the problem really was this position wasn't held very well because he, in 2019, tweeted out, fuck you, J.J. Abrams, because, <laughs> of, um, because wow. he, didn't, he didn't like the next Star Wars film. And everybody started posting this image to him. They were like, didn't you say he's not supposed to fucking get... Blah, blah, blah. And he was just, he, like, he, he blew a gas. He was like, fuck off. That's not what it made. Was just, blah, blah, blah. He was just, like, yes. lost by now. Blown. <laughs> that, was a whole, that was a whole wonderful fun event. That was a journey. Was a Recently, journey. a movie called Thor, Love, and Thunder came out. And it was abysmal. Oh, Absolute yeah. shit. Magical film. Though that's it is safe true. to assume from the events in Thor, Love, and Thunder... That it was meant to appeal at least somewhat to children. Like there's several scenes where children get to do fun and awesome things and be heroes and stuff. Like you, you could you could see that maybe that's a part of it. it doesn't change the fact that it's absolute shit. So isn't there like nudity and an orgy reference in it? There is, yeah. It's uh, you know. it's fine this to reference orgy. orgies. It's, that's, that's fine. Do you draw the line at referencing orgies? Hey, well, I mean, focus. if it's going to right. children, this is a yeah. whole thread of storylines we got to keep is track of here. It is an odd thing to bring up. The movie Bob. Posts. Oh, no. A fun thing in Thor Love and Thunder is counting how many different diegetic ways Taika Waititi finds to essentially keep flashing this image at critics preemptively. Now, I want to stress this is Movie Ball being like, I love you, Patrick, and you were so right when you pointed this out, and it's in this new movie. Yeah. You know, like, we're, we're bro, he's done this before. Movie Bob will be like, hey, pal, buddy, old pal, and they look at him like, no, <laughs> get away. What are you doing? friends oh, in real life. Oh, oh. Um, it, it, You're so, actually a person, Patrick. Yeah. But to, to add to the law, it was mentioned actually in this anniversary. Patrick recommended Movie Bob as a as a as a critic um, way back in I want to say 2018 again. So I this happens, right? Potholes video, yeah. And everyone starts quote tweeting Bob, being like, "You fucking kidding me? Like, oh my god, <laughs> Thor: Love and Thunder was awful. Why are you saying like, oh, don't talk about it being bad? Is is this meant for children? So like, uh... Patrick's message has now been. It's like a repeat wave of everyone thinking this is a dumbass thing to say. And, um, well, here's an example of one of the things that people started saying, you know? I love examples. Like, oh, right. God, I hate this image. It's somehow become even more annoying that the average Star Wars than the average Star Wars nerd, because it's never used to put things in perspective, but to declare criticism off-limits. Movies made for kids should still be good. This is, this is, oh, this was getting around a lot, right? True. Yeah, and I agree with him. Uh, this is just yeah. frustrating. It's annoying. Yeah, but Good then to have. Yeah. something golden happened. Oh my uh, god! Ooh. I'm, I'm hoping you guys don't even know about this because it's so. Funny. I don't. I don't. I, don't. I think I do. But there it is. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ, not... please, someone oh, fucking god. kill me. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this part. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> Seriously, this oh my one, god. It's one of the funniest series of events. Like you, <laughs> you couldn't write this. It's perfect. Oh, this is a rabbit hole. Oh, irony. Uh, that fantastic. image just bitten him in the ass over and over and over and over again. It just never stops. Why did I make that <laughs> sign? You put this in the world, Patrick. I really, yeah. This I really should have thought about Patrick. that sign more before I made it and recorded myself. If I just said it, then, then people couldn't just share a picture of me. He, uh, he is went on to so explain He went on to explain himself. Look, <laughs> I still stand by that video and the intent of the <laughs> sign gag and all that. 
But the extent to which it's been misinterpreted and some dumb straw man argument has been truly miserable for the past years. I also just realized I'm tweeting this while sitting in the exact same spot I pictured this is my parents. Uh, one of the dumbest things to come out of this is the people who, to this day, take my one tweet about how I thought Tross sucked as some kind of gotcha, proving that I'm a hypocrite. Anyway, it doesn't provide a counter to that. Just Anyway, no. talking about these movies blows. Anyway, I don't do yeah. it anymore. It, it, yeah, he's quite the character. Right. Seriously, it's great. Made a sign. Uh, he keeps doing that sign, thing, like people, people are misinterpreting it. Like, no, what you said was, I'm not saying don't take it seriously. I'm saying don't get too angry about it. And then he said, "Fuck." Then you, he got JJ. really angry about it. And he so. got it too angry about it. I'm really surprised because like it's know... such a blatant hypocrisy that you're just like, he must have remembered what he said about the thing with the yeah. children. And it, no, okay. It's like his response to people criticizing it. And you're like, don't fucking criticize it. It's a, it's a dumb, stupid movie for kids. Everything's on limits. <laughs> I assume on limits on is limits. the opposite of yeah. off limits. I think he was assume correctly. so. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's sure. on limits. Everything is the, unlimited. The, the problem with the concept of like, oh, it's for kids. It's like, well, then just put an absolute bunch of shit together, which to be honest, Disney do seem to be doing at the moment with a yeah, lot of a stuff. Bit. You're right. Mm, um, yeah. But just put a bunch of shit together and give it to a kid, and who matters if it's any good or not? Or, and, and fuck it, who cares? And it just seems silly. It's like, yeah, kids' movies should still be good. I think to give some credence to that other side, I guess, though, is like, I think some people do get over invested, right? Like, I understand being disappointed, even upset, stuff like that. But I think that sometimes there's a danger of getting too invested, and in some people's entire life and existence is consuming these properties it feels like and i just think that's you know probably I not think a good those thing. people generally fall Dude, oddly enough on that patrick willems side i was actually it's, they're it's usually the, positive about it rather than negative yeah they're usually you're those people are usually like the consumer because types. of course if you've dedicated a huge portion of your life to standing for a particular ip yeah. you are very much invested perhaps even financially if it's like you make youtube videos about it to defend it yeah uh, you have a channel that's entirely themed based on one intellectual yeah, IP property. Or a, yeah. yeah. So uh, one interesting thing, which may cause a bit of contention, we'll see. Do yeah. you, do any of you do any of you feel that you sometimes yeah. add? <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you feel sometimes you add to this culture of people perhaps being overinvested in like these consumer products? No, I think we do the exact opposite. We kind of we often advocate for the opposite. Yes, okay. we are very firmly in the opposite uh, camp. We're very critical of pretty much everything. We get criticized for how critical we are and why can't we just enjoy things and shut up and turn your brain off, that sort of stuff. And a lot of We're people We're very tell much us in the anti-camp of that. The whole, like... I'm very particular about beating one particular brown woman, but that's, uh, that's about <laughs> it. Wow. <laughs> I was going to say, a lot of people end up telling us like they don't Wait, hate why her. did you say she's brown? What's that? Because she what's is. That she's, color, she's colored brown. What which which one? Which one? She, she, she is from Cora. the Southern There's Water a... Tribe. I, I don't know who that is. That's a deep cut reference. <laughs> don't you worry about it. It's a good thing that you don't know. Yeah, you're better off okay. not knowing. Um, the Legend of Rambo. <laughs> Rambo. So, yeah, what was this, the thing about? Yeah, a lot of people end up telling us like they no longer are like at the investment level of going to see everyone as they come out. Instead, they'll consider watching our coverage of it, and at most, like, maybe on the set of a trailer if we recommend, like, seeing one. But, uh, we... These days... When was the last time we recommended a Marvel movie? I think it would have been No Way Home, and that's Ooh, it for Phase 4, right? Hell yeah. yeah. It's probably No Way yeah. Home. I and that was only it. on the I point of, do. like, if you... I think if you hated Homecoming and Far From Home, then probably should avoid it, I guess. That sort of thing. If you hated Homecoming Far From Home, <clears throat> oh, that's that's a shame. Those are, well, one of them's good. Wow. The other one well, is. What was well, what's your favorite Marvel movie, Chad? Um, prob probably uh, Avengers. Um, Endgame, I'd say. That's yeah, okay that you said game. that. Yeah, that's Fine. all right. That is totally oh, true. allowed. <laughs> I, was, I was worried for a second there. Oh, I was no, sweating. No, yeah, that's, that's one of the that's one totally of the reasonable. Really good ones. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, Wonderful. That's one of the well, better yeah. ones. Yeah. The, yeah. the thing is, is I watched from <laughs> Iron Man. I was in, I watched the Incredible Hulk. Even you know, I was I was invested in it from very oh, yeah, early yeah. on. So you know, it kind of built up to that moment, and it was like yeah, it was like a crescendo of 
you know, there was a kind of the right mix of some fan service and some really, you know, soy face moments, whatever we want to call them. So, yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, did I think Thanos like is it? a great villain. Yeah, my kids did, did like it. Thanos Although, was a great villain in, uh, in Endgame. Did you think that he was a great villain in that film or Infinity War? I thought he was better in Infinity War. Um, okay. But do you think that he is better than mediocre in Endgame? And, and yeah, just, sure. Uh, when you sure, try and hide right? your seething hatred a little better. <laughs> oh, well, okay, so you asked me because you've got a different perspective. Okay, Fair I know. I have, Fringy, Fringy does. does. We we love it. We think it's great. But I love that game. It's my favorite one. Yeah, he's got this bond to Fringy. Is the it. outlier it's, here? I think it's something about. I don't know. It's it's a. We we tolerate the rage, it. but honestly, we he's didn't green with envy. Yeah, it's That's fine. what the green <laughs> represents. We, yeah. Pull them aside. What's your favorite Avenger movie or MC movie in general? Well, okay. My favorite MC movie, aside from that, or is in Captain America: um, Winter Soldier. I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> that's yeah, a great that's choice. Great. That is a great a of, choice. Yeah. Common yeah, choice. A lot of people really like that's that. A one. Common we, we choice. We noticed uh -huh. that people are quite fond yeah. of Winter Soldier. Often yeah. uh, cited as the greatest uh, one, I would say. Yeah, uh, yeah. A lot of people Iron just Man say that. I think it's because of the, the, com the combat and the fighting in it is very well choreographed. And I think yeah. I really you know... like that time when Bucky had that third gun that he didn't know that he had. <laughs> you you <laughs> sounding all that bitter rage Why again. Why can't all you? That you have to forget like 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 jealousy. Things. He, these are high levels of autism that we're getting to like super see, critical Chud, Chud, points I, and nitpicking. An Me and Rags are trying, trying to tell you it's great that you enjoyed Winter Soldier. And this this man over here, he's, he's just Bring so angry. He's been up for a long I'm time. He gets oh, so so right. You're saying, there's bad, there, was bad, there was bad writing in it or whatever. Like yeah, it. sure. I okay, said that I but... like it. Why, why are we pretending that that's not what I said? I no, said I just... liked when he didn't have that weapon that he didn't use. Okay, so what what well, are your favorite like movies, you fucking like autists? It. Like, what did you like that was so great? Come on, <laughs> <Why are you laughs> that, that man and Robin, uh, um, Citizen Kane, uh, Blade Runner, uh, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> I like uh, Resident Evil, the final. No Marvel, chapter. Marvel movie, for fuck's sake. Marvel, yeah, okay. I, uh, I liked in X Men the Origins. Uh, I quite like Multiverse uh, of Madness. Alone Four, Taking Back the House. <laughs> I put out uh, a the borrowers. Hey, okay, Chud. In relation to the whole taking it way too serious and going a bit too fast stuff, like, don't you think it would be a bit ridiculous to make like a six-hour video on like one of these movies? Well, no one's that much of a. Oh, no hey, you, you put, you're gonna Video's lead him to the correct long. answer. I want to hear his. his no, answer. I mean, okay, it, it's fine. I well, no okay, claims. I make no claims. I, I mean, actually, I think I, I started watching your video on uh, on. Um, <laughs> oh, um, you made. Doctor Strange, and, and I'm enjoying it. It's like, yeah, the, yeah, ball this video, and and you know, because oh. I I left the cinema, and it's like my brain was somewhat switched off. So, oh yeah, Sam Raimi, fucking graphics, wow. But thinking <laughs> about the story and the and the, the the character arcs for some of these people, like um, Wanda Maximoff, it was just it didn't make any sense when I thought well, about it more. Because right? so, I don't even yeah. disagree with your assessment of the autism. I totally agree, and I'm I'm proud of us all here. So I'm actually yeah. curious for, <laughs> for, for, from a normie because I I do consider you quite the normie. Uh, do you do you not Ooh. like you're still you. you Throwing the video on in the background, no, you didn't think maybe like, oh man, yeah. this is boring. He keeps talking about like special powers and people running around different places. Like, or you find it uh, engaging. Oh, I, I, I think the thing is, is like, I'm able to, you know, benefit from the, the weaponized autism, right? Because mm -hmm. there's stuff that I didn't even really think about, but you're bringing it up. And I go, oh yeah, that's true, actually. Like the thing about the reflections. I'm around that point in the video at the moment, so that's quite fresh in my mind. Oh, like the puddles? And, um, the puddles and stuff, yeah. And it doesn't make any sense when you when you think about it, right? But watching it, it was just kind of like, oh, wow, soy, you know, fun moment to watch. But <laughs> in terms of being granular and looking at the detail and the story and the writing, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. All right, fair enough. Well, so my genuine answer, uh, we're looking at, I think, what, what are our, like, top picks for the MCU right now? I think it's, it would be Avengers, Civil War, and Guardians. Iron And usually yeah. Homecoming is in the mix. Homecoming's well. pretty high up usually. First Avengers. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I said uh, Civil War and Avengers, I think. Oh, I guess. Yeah, Infinity War? That, yeah. Yeah, Infinity uh, Well, that's when you start to like enter the middle to... to but yeah, but yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's unfortunate where it's at these days. A little bit uh, lame. But how about we switch over to a different universe, one that we've covered a decent amount. Chud, you happen to see Man of Steel at any point? Is that a film you ever... No. Yes. Yeah, I've seen Man of Steel. What do you think My of that? My favorite MCU film. Um, it's like some of like the combat scenes I enjoyed, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, it was okay. Mm -hmm. It was it was okay. It was kind of average, I'd say. Yeah, well, so, not mind blowing, but 
interesting. Yeah. You know, what? I, interesting. I think that this is fair. There's some action scenes in there. There's some some real fun. There's lots of very well done spectacle. We weren't a fan of when he um genocided the babies. That was like a, <laughs> was a awkward <laughs> part of the film. We were like, oh shit. Yeah. Um, so, annoying, but I'll, understandably, that's just one part of it. But then when he started destroying Metropolis with Zod, it was like, ah, that's not, that's not as, yeah. So, that's, mm. that's, yeah, that's not really his, it's not really his vibe, is it, normally? Not really. So, no. No. We, uh, we have, sometimes, every once in a while, people put out some tweets where they're talking about how he kind of destroys everything. And there's this, there's one part. Some of you may not remember, some of you may remember. I think I think Meme will remember. I feel like you know this film pretty well with <laughs> hatred. So there's a truck that gets like sort of thrownish, if you will, or moved towards uh, Clark, and he sort of casually and smugly jumps out of its way instead of stopping it, and so it slides past him and hits a car mm -hmm. park and fucking annihilates a building because of it. So if you you understand, it's like Clock is like, you trying to throw that at me? Dodged, bitch. Oh, shit. There it goes. That's a mm -hmm. building gone. Damn. When you'd expect that um, the way you want to write Clark in fight scenes is that he not only is trying to protect himself from being hurt, but he's also very aware of the environment being civilians everywhere. You want to try and help them. Zod's not going to give a fuck, sure, but Clark should. So a lot of people put out these sorts of tweets, and sometimes they go viral in a, in a way of everyone agreeing. Sometimes you get different results. And uh, uh, meme, I think if you remember, you you brought you nearly brought this up when we were talking about something at some point. I was like, don't worry, we're saving it. And here it is. Mm. Um, <clears throat> oh, I believe she's like finally. the storyboard artist or, or maybe a fight choreographer. I don't even know, but someone posted this about Man of Steel, and someone who the, the, I guess the lady who worked on this fight saw this and got very upset, as though. Well, to, so to give you context, right, you got. This jump alone proves why Snyder prioritizes cool shots instead of character portrayal. He doesn't understand his characters. Now the Snyder bots are going to say this was his first fight. He's still learning. And if you can see from the image, yeah, that's, that's Clark avoiding the truck. And then it just smashes into the background and burns and destroys everything. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's fucking really funny, funny, honestly. Because you're just like, oh, god damn it, not again. Superman, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. um, a truck wouldn't have hurt you, man. Yeah, it's not going to do fucking learning to Superman. So she comes in and she says... I had Superman fly over because I needed a way for the parking structure behind him to collapse so that in the next part of the fight, cars would fall down on both of them. One car would temporarily stun Superman, leading to Zod getting the upper hand. It's called Fight Story. This would you lead, don't understand <laughs> the problem. This would oh lead to Superman dude. getting knocked up the side of the building and leads to Zod eventually learning to fly. There's nothing pointless about it. If you've ever choreographed a fight, you'll know that you need to tell a story with the choreography and bridge the main points. I've done tell a good one! <laughs> I've done hundreds of superhero fights in my almost 30 year career from Marvel characters to DC ones and every one of my fights are memorable. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, I've done enough of these to know how to choreograph and shoot them well. That's not so, the point. Yeah, she didn't, she didn't address the issue at all. I do not it's, it's, understand what the issue is. It's almost as if she has decades of source material to pull from. <laughs> You think you have told a story the story is that superman will allow people to be placed in harm's way just because because yeah. he needs to have some cool shots on his head. it's cool it's so interesting because like i would like, i don't even want to try and be mean to this person but when she's like we need to have cars dropping down on him so this is the only thing i can think of it's like but that's the point of solving problems as a writer you're supposed to generate situations well, we can do this do without him being a person who hates civilians <laughs> Yeah. We need to do that as well? What do you mean we need to? These are all choices you get to make. Yeah. Look, you it's called Fight anything. Story, okay? Fight well, Story. Yeah, this is fight story. <laughs> Learn it's about it. It's being told is that Superman will let people be placed in harm's way just because he doesn't give a shit. You are telling me something about Superman when he doesn't stop this thing from crashing into this building that might have people in it. I mean, it's, it's probably a fair guarantee. It's a huge building. I guess, like, this is just an annihilation mm -hmm. of fire and all of it crumbles. Like, her whole point is to knock out cars from, I guess, as it goes up to fall on clock. I just... It's fascinating because, like, we all know why you did it. Because yeah. it, it, it looks cool and it provides you some extra bits and bobs with whatever story you're trying to tell and stuff. It's just you forgot what it means to the characters. That's all. It was really important. Um, and it's like this ongoing thing we keep spotting in EFAP that... Uh, Writers just don't seem to know. Like it seems like she's completely unaware that this provides a characterization to to Clark. She has no idea. Which is yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, this is a, a fair critique. Like, the, and and also she's kind of smug at the end, and it's like, yeah, so, like it's it's like I hate the smugness when you're clearly a bit upset that someone's criticised you. <laughs> the criticism wasn't even that severe. It was just like, you know, you don't seem to know your character when you're doing this. 
Yeah. Chat's like a smug bitch. Annoying. Which is funny because like, I still think for watching. annihilating yeah. the baby Kryptonians was way worse. <laughs> but like, yeah. it's fine. Uh, you know. Um, they so had their chance. On the notice of, of <laughs> talking about, uh, we, since Mother vs. Madness is kind of casually brought up there. So this is another fun one, alright? We got, we got a bit of an adventure here. So you got IMDB releases a clip. You got old Multiverse of Madness. It's when um, America's mm -hmm. run into the bus and Gargantos is doing his fleems and stuff. And then you got uh, me when I'm a $200 million movie. And they've highlighted, as some of you may know, there's an extra that appears four times in a row uh, in the same place, like with each shot. Oh, yeah. It's just it's just a standard movie-making mistake where you've, you've cut a bunch of takes together for the best shit, but you forgot that you've just made it so that this man is, is running that direction four times in a row. Oh, okay. Normal, <laughs> simple, and we, you know what, it whenever everyone, anyone sees this, they go, ah, whoops. And that's it. Yeah. It's well, like when the bullet holes are already in the wall in Pulp Fiction. It doesn't really ruin <laughs> much. Four separate universes, that's why. Oh. Well, we got a response. Oh, boy. Oh, if the choice oh, is between something you're only oh, noticing because you've watched it multiple times on a scaled-down two-inch screen or a movie with totally lifeless backdrops that looks and moves like a cheap commercial, I'll take the continuity error every time. My guy, a in a cinema Jesus. that's going to subconsciously play as four separate people because your attention is going to be on the 20-foot-tall Doctor Strange that's taking up your entire field of view. One of those movies finally has the balls to flood a street with extras, and y'all are fighting for your life to take that away from us again. Boo. 2010 to <laughs> okay. 2016 YouTube has done irreparable damage to so many of us. Pointing out uh. continuity errors remains the lowest form of criticism because it takes no understanding of form or language or theory to say you saw the same thing happen twice. Change my Time mind. Theory. A lot of truly great films have glaring continuity errors and that's because they've prioritized the rhythm and flow of that sequence over desperately trying to patchwork by cutting to places that add nothing to the scene. What do conversations like mean nothing and advance nothing, don't they? Yeah. Just... I, I hear this person, I'm like, oh, you're just not worth talking to at all. You you mm -hmm. have you have firmly secured yourself in this position and you will never change your mind. Oh, my just calm down. Jeez. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's just he's going <laughs> yeah. crazy over it. And it's like you <laughs> okay, say, it's like, you know, you know, nitpicking okay and stuff. It's, it's like up. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is a fuck up. And I don't think anyone's making it in a like a particularly harsh way. It's just, oh look at this, they kind of fucked up, didn't they? Like you say. But he's acting Ooh. like they're going crazy about it. How much you bet this guy threw a temper tantrum over the Game of Thrones Starbucks cup? Probably. When it was really yeah. fun hey, let's to point out. Video. Like the whole thing. And I don't understand. Like it's, 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 it is surprising when you realize how much money goes into these things that these mistakes can be made. But then you realize the money really isn't going to stop it because how much of these are rushed. When you look behind the scenes, you talk, figure out actors. Yeah. There was the, the, there was a, the, the thing, we, we've referenced it a couple times, where... Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, I think this was before the reshoots or during the reshoots, he said he doesn't know if he has an arc in the film. Which is like one of the most bizarre things to hear from someone who's like completed filming on, on this thing. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Everything is so Oof. fast yeah. and all over the place and out of order because they're just trying to pump out the movies. But yeah, these mistakes, we probably should expect them. A little bit embarrassing though when you're basically the most expensive yeah, it, it movies the hiring the best talent in the industry. It's like... Mm -hmm. Four way, times, like two is, you know, but four, oh, did, did the, I wonder if the guy ever was like, you know, I've been running past, like, a lot, now I've been running past. Like, <laughs> you haven't used me more than once, have you? <laughs> yeah, just want to make sure. This guy seems to think that if you point this out, that that's going to lead to people taking away extras in extras. scenes? No extras. What? Yeah, well, it's what weird he said they flooded it with extras, when the whole point here is that there's this one guy who keeps moving. <laughs> one guy, like, yeah. yeah. I think if it were a crowd of people, it probably would have played better in terms of spotting continuity errors, like, you know, you sort of treat, but I, I missed this on my first watch through, but when it was pointed out to me, I was like, oh, oh well, <laughs> you know, <it's> like, <laughs> whoops. And like, let's think about the multi, there's millions and millions of dollars going into this. Um, we know for a fact that you can digitally reposition extras and people and all kinds of stuff after the fact. So th this wouldn't stop extras from being used. It would just mean that they would just need to erase him in the, all the shots that he's repeating. Like that, that I assume for a multi-million dollar company, that's not a huge amount of effort to expend compared to a lot of the other stuff. I, no I think um, I think we would all probably agree that ideally, um, the goal of a film is to essentially trick people into believing that this is a story that's playing out rather than people on set with a bunch of camera guys and light it, lighting people, right. grips and stuff, 
in the background set up. Like, you yeah. don't want to think about the fact that these were actors who probably shot these scenes on different days, spread out over the course of like 12 hours. You want to believe that it's all seamless. And a lot of what it means to make it feel seamless is to cut together something that feels like one scene, when in reality, it's probably several takes stitched together. Mm -hmm. And continuity errors are the things that remind you, like, it's like if you ever saw a boom mic, if that was something you saw in the film, it's like, ah, damn, just reminds you, like, oh, this isn't real. This is like a film. You were on set. You had a script that you were reading. Like, they're, they're errors. Yes, the, it's they're not the, big deals. The magic errors. of movie making when, you know, something happens, you go, <gasps> And it's like, why would you do that? None of this is real. And then you're like, well, yeah, but for a moment there, I don't know. It, it, it <laughs> felt yeah. real. The it illusion. wanted to be a window into world. another world. Yeah. Which would but be to very, say, very like, neat. oh, no, you know, no, like, no. if you're pointing out continuity errors, you don't understand what formal language or the theory, by Which, the way. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Oh, I feel no. kind of bad for this person, Kate's Bush, <laughs> because they, they all did, <laughs> you just point out a fucking continuity, they didn't do anything to you. Kate's Bush. And it's crazy oh, look he, at her uh, handle, I am Kate's Bush. It's this, I am. this angle of like, Kate's your Bush. brain I has been Bush. rotted, and we'll get, you're gonna, because it's like, like my nobody's, brain. my brain is enormous. Nobody's shitting on Sam Raimi, okay? <laughs> it's great that he got the, the gig, and I think the film was made better for it in terms of a lot of the direction, a lot of those visuals, sure, sure, sure. But you know, the man's not perfect, and he makes some, some little errors here and there that we spot, and that's, that's totally fine. Um, well, I guess this would probably be an error, like, of multiple people, because there's well, probably, yeah. like, you know, editors and, and people on set that deal with this, I presume, somewhat. Well, um, I think, you, not only are you correct, I was, I was actually going to say, the, the, what I'm assuming is that they're getting very defensive, because that account adores Sam Raimi, so they take this as, like, ah, right. this is adding okay, to a you. sense of, like, should Sam Raimi really, he's not a very good director? It's like, can't, no, no one's saying that, it's all right. We'll see, because briefly there was a time when everybody was talking about how amazing the color grading was in Multiverse of Madness, but then the second anybody's like, hey, continuity error. It's like, Which, no, yeah. no, stop it. But and yeah, also, you see this all like, continuity shit has like rotted everyone's brains. As if, like, I'm sorry, I run a show all about this shit, everyone is still doing the Fifi's stuff. That's the main <laughs> shit you get on video essays. You're not getting continuity. Movies probably, like, still making me cry. Everyone's doing the. There was that. That I'm pretty sure that account is the one that made the essay. By the way, that like Tenet isn't supposed to make sense or something. Oh no, thoughts it's not just supposed vibes. to make sense. It definitely doesn't. Wait, what was it, Cap? Oh, it was. Uh, I'm not saying turn off your brain. I'm just saying no thoughts, just vibes. No thoughts, just vibes. Do you really no. think Christopher Nolan would be happy if you said, <laughs> "Yeah, I didn't think anything about your film. I just vibe." Don't try to understand through. it. Just yes. feel it. Oh fuck yeah! The the, the, the title of the video is "Why I Love Tenet." Make it make sense. The point being, it don't really make sense, oh. but make it make sense for you. Oh. Which is I like one that that was your job, man. Like the That's title of the series they were making. The world only no makes thoughts, sense if you make it. Just but like as you as you just highlighted though, just imagine the director hearing that. You'd be like, "What are you talking? It it does make sense." And you're like. Oh, mm. uh, well, I mean... <laughs> oh, wait, you think that makes sense? Oh. I mean, it's, it's fine what? that you think that. <laughs> but I think that the continuity error in Doctor Strange actually points to a larger problem. I feel like the continuity error is caused by the editor stretching the moment of him walking up to the giant monster. They're kind of stretching the moment so that they, when they cut to the other angle, they're actually cutting back to him a couple steps behind. You know, so they're stretching the moment, but it creates another problem because... You wonder why Doctor Strange isn't treating this with more urgency, right? Isn't that part of it? Yeah, that can come up. And and as was said, like it could have been that Sam Raimi shot it, and there was enough footage there to make a scene that doesn't have that error. But some editor was rushing a bit, or maybe shot it. It happens. But um, not to dwell too long on that. We got another uh, topic. Hey, Chud, did you see the Batman? I never got around to seeing it. No. Well, dun, is it good? Dun, it doesn't matter dun, too much because this is more so just. A funny thing that happened on Twitter again. Okay. I, I found lots sure. of funny events on Twitter, you know? What happened? But the, funnily enough, this actually doesn't start on Twitter. This starts on Reddit, another wonderful mm. site that everyone loves. You got. What's that? Well, just, um, a movie I've seen. Yeah, it's just the Batman. <laughs> and it's like, can we all agree this is the best live action Batman movie? On the Batman subreddit, I guess. It's like, all right, I mean, that's, I guess that's a normal it's enough post. Just like. Batman and Robin, but okay. Batman and Robin is obviously well. the best one, yeah. But, like, you know, obviously. I mean, obviously. people think so. I've seen yeah. that one. That's it is great. It is yes. uh, underrated. The surfing thing when they come down, the cowabunga, amazing. Oh man, 
I don't know how they like oh. Oscar snuffed the fuck out of the movie. <laughs> that is a bad thumbnail. <laughs> My top really five friends. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Number two will shock you. Uh, Number two will find you. Oh god. So anyway, uh, perfectly normal thing. Plenty of people think this is the best Batman movie. Totally fine. Okie dokie. So what what happens next? You got this. This is one of the posts. Uh, the the. Funnily enough, what I'm showing you isn't actually the the thread. This is a series of photos in a Twitter thread. But I'm showing you them first. You got this exceptionally good quality. I can't rank it above Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Begins, or The Dark Knight. Laugh my fucking ass off. I can't imagine thinking any pre Nolan Batman films come even close to topping this. And this one says no. So it's like okay. So we're highlighting that some people are saying that um, you got Nolan Batman and Burton Batman are better than the Batman. It's like all right, all right fine, fine. Yeah. We call it Burton Man. Then you got another one that's been highlighted saying I still prefer the Burton movies. Like, but for reference, we're talking about the '89 one and uh, and the good old Danny DeVito Penguin one. Some people think they're atrocious. I've heard people say that they're like horrible adaptations as well. But um, lots of mixed feelings on those ones. I like them a whole bunch, but uh, hey, you know, to each their own. Hey, well, I have... oh, welcome to your opinion, Freddy Freakazoid. And then you go, <laughs> absolutely not. No, as much as you or any of us may have enjoyed it, we cannot all agree that it was the best live-action Batman film. And for the record, it's not. Far from it. That award goes to Batman Returns, followed by a close tie between Batman 89 and The Dark Knight. It's like, alrighty, so he's... He seems okay. To, if you've noticed the theme, we're, the we're grabbing up a lot of comments here that seem to be talking about the Burton movies being better. I wonder why. Well... The next thing is this, and you got him saying, I fucking hate the Batman subreddit. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, because he's talking about how, like, just you got the, the original post basically being like, it's true that this one's the best, and then everyone else is just like, no, it's true that this one's the best, instead of everybody being more reasonable and just being like, oh, you like that one? I like this one. Instead of, you know, it's always or giving like, reasons, you know. So I, I interpreted this tweet that way. I thought the tweet was just like, I, I hate that everybody has to declare their pick is the best, as opposed to their, their pick is the preference, which is totally fine. And I was like, I, I guess so. I'm kind of on board. It would be nicer if the language was a little bit more open instead of, like, making it a fight. But hey, you know, whatever. It's the internet. It's mostly fine. And then, Doesn't um, Batman fucking murder a guy in Batman Returns? Sorry. Does he there's, not there's lots stick of a bomb in his belt? A crazy oh, yeah, Batman he, movie where he yeah, kills somebody. Well. That man's, uh, he kills a lot of people. So then you got this same account, adds then, the Burton movies are quite literally the worst Batman movies, I don't care. Ah, I was like, oh, no. uh, like, so you just, well. you just hate the Burton ones? <laughs> How are you any different? Like, you're the same as all of them, what the fuck? Yeah. Then, um, Why can't I everyone can't just like get along that. and agree with my opinion? This feels a little ass mad. Then like, a I response like to him, it, I'm right. the Batman actually is better than Nolan's and uh, BVS. And he's like, okay. But then, uh, you got someone else being like, well, hang on, mm -hmm. what's wrong with this? I love Batman, but 89 Returns is still at the top of my list. Like, so this is literally what was in the pictures now. Like, <laughs> you're just doing it in the tweets. Like, what, what is everything? It's like Uroboros shit. And then someone comes along and just says, why? Because they share different opinions? I thought I was about to see some toxic stuff when I read the images, but it's really just people asserting their Batman movie opinions. And then you yeah. have, like, that keeps coming up several times, and... I'm just at the point of reading this where I'm just like, man, we are like so far into the looking glass of just, can we just say <laughs> what we thought about a thing without like, it's just meta commentary, meta commentary, meta commentary everywhere. I thought, yeah, I thought it was funny as fuck. It's just this infinite mess of everybody in this thread except these last people were just looking at someone else say a thing and being like, well, you're wrong and cringe. <laughs> no, you. No, you, no, you, no, you. Hey, Angus Redditors. And what's funny is me saying this is going to have plenty of people in both Chud's and my chat right now talking about which is the actual best one. Well, I think that's why Batman and Robin is probably the best best one because he doesn't kill anyone in that one. Dude, Chud, I thought you were going to have bad media takes. This is fucking top notch. Yeah, <laughs> you really had us worried in the first half, but goddamn. <laughs> No, I, listen, I do have good movie takes, I, I think, on the whole. Well, can you we help out some of your yeah. friends on Twitch? Because Jesus Christ. Yeah. What, okay, what's your main issues? With, with, <laughs> with Twitch? Like in general? <laughs> with, uh, with the planet? Oh. No, no, with, with movie takes. Let's focus on movie takes. Oh, you got... <laughs> a lot of them are kind of, shit. Dude, Destiny was defending the, la the Last Jedi, okay? We can't have that. We gotta help him out. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <is he? laughs> yeah, I know. Please, straighten him. I've seen a lot of takes from Destiny, but that's probably... Mm. 
it's one of the most sus, lost. you know? It's like, what's going on there? Um, it's the very lot. sus. Apparently, he's said very disparaging things about Lord of the Rings. The Peter Jackson what? trilogy. Yeah, I oh, know. No. Oh, I, have okay. been, I have been told. I have been told. Wait, this. I can, sh I can, sh I can still man that. I know what that is. I think yeah, what he's saying is word. that there's people. There's people that are pointing to the original Lord of the Rings trilogy as a faithful adaptation of the books. When at the time when they were released, there was a lot of criticisms for the book uh, for the films because they weren't faithful adaptations of the books. I and know there was stuff that, yeah. that was changed and stuff that was cut. Right, I think that is more so the criticism. You didn't say they were so, shit then, because you know, it's just getting close no, no, to no, having you, to you, take him no, down. I don't think he said that. I don't think he said that. I don't think he said they were shit. What we call dangerous um, language. I know we got the the, the the hood elves conversation, um, which we don't have to really get into. But I think the problem is, is people are going, this new show is not faithful like the mo movies were. And it's not, well, the movies weren't faithful either. So there must be some other critique you're making there or some other issue you have. Well, that's the thing. I'm not even familiar with they're adapting the Silmarillion from what I gather for Rings of Power. So except for some no, characters. They can't touch the Silmarillion. They're oh. only getting to use the appendices. Oh, the appendices. Yeah. See, it shows how much I'm aware of this all i know is that elrond and galadriel are going to show up and i know them because <laughs> i watched the movies <laughs> oh yeah now um chad have you ever heard of a little show called wandavision yes uh, i watched yeah. wandavision yes. you watched it what did you think um oh I think that for me, I, I, okay, I think people need to understand something, right? I watch something and I'm not like thinking super critically. I just switch it on while I'm eating something. I'm like, okay, I watched it and that's it. I don't go into this detail that you people do. No okay? problem. Just make that <laughs> but I'm yeah, assuming sure. you at no least wrong like, answers. yeah, I'm assuming you at least absorb the story and the, like, just because you would have done that, I have yeah. a couple of questions for you. Like, what do you think sure, of her, on. like Wanda? What do you think of her by the end? I think by the end, um, like she didn't really atone for the crazy shit she'd done. She just fucked off. Yep. <laughs> like she just flew off. Yep. <laughs> like, what? That's it. like what? That's crazy. Like she she did this 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 she did like a fucking I don't know what you'd call it. It's like next to a genocide almost in terms of how bad it was. It's like a step down from a genocide almost. I don't know how you describe it. Do you know what I mean? It's like really bad. Yeah. Slavery adjacent. Yeah. yeah, slavery adjacent. Let's go with that. Yeah. Well, does everyone here think slavery is bad? Chattel slavery is bad, right? We are. I don't know. Anna's yeah. got some hot takes. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> let's just uh, let's not dwell on that then. I guess. Um, but yeah, sure. That's yeah. I, I thought it was it crazy that she just fucked off. Yeah. I think, yeah. Let's keep it casual. Yeah. I think it was crazy she fucked off and didn't really seem to have any consequences. Um, agreed, agreed, agreed. So then just went full schizo in in Multiverse of Madness, but yeah, sure. Oh yeah, that that's like taking it to the nth degree. But One Division, at least the, the, I mentioned this in the videos, like One Division seemed to try and re have some level of something in terms of trying to justify it, but it was still crazy. But you see, get this post on good old uh, Marvel memes. Yeah, someone someone's mm -hmm. like One Division finale. The people Wanda manipulated held hostage for a week. Like ah, oh, I'm a head out. Peace out. Pretty simple meme. I just she she gets away with it, and it's, it's it's hilarious, it's crazy. But part of this would have been because they'd already been planning for her to turn up as the villain and thingy, so she just can't deal with yeah. it. Yeah, she's got to go. Like, all right, well, simple meme. Like Black happens? Widow, she couldn't deal with the police either. What happens next? Well, you get you get a little, little count saying, well, why shouldn't she? No, oh, no, oh, <laughs> no, okay. oh, no. An interesting Stop. question. So glad I'm so oh. fucking glad that not everyone's like a judge. So, <laughs> oh my god, someone That's helps insane. her out. People can have that perspective. Like, so she could take Anyone responsibility for her actions. And then the, the follow up is, well, what does that look like exactly? Being jailed by the same people who turned Vision into a weapon. The people whose chief just tried to gun down her kids? That's responsibility to you? Sure sounds like you hate her and want her to suffer. <laughs> Holy uh, fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Guy. Like, okay. Imagine being this stupid. Jesus, calm down. Sounds like you got some issues. How about she just turns herself into the US or local government? Alright, there you go. There's your answer. She could just go yeah. to the standard sort of lawmakers to receive the proper justice for punishment for slavery and torture. She could at least make an apology video and put it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. she could have brought in a dog and been like, oh, look. Oh. I didn't want to make this video. No makeup. Got a sigh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As, turn on the camera and sit down in your chair. Yeah, and then walking in frame. What kind of prison is going to hold so, her? So next... 
what crime exactly? Show me in the U.S. code oh, where no. it's illegal to use psychic powers on your neighbors. Oh, oh wait. No. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, no. That's I, don't I gotta tell you about the Emancipation yeah, Proclamation. I fucking bet uh, you guys didn't expect that. Didn't <laughs> I don't listen to hip-hop. Psychic powers. <laughs> You're a parody of a human being. Kidnapping, torture, assault, attempted murder. I'm sure she violated a thousand things with the Accords. And then you got, Wanda should have given herself to the government to let them use her as a weapon because it would make me feel better. Yeah, I'm the parody. <laughs> Where in the Who US code does me? it mention psychic powers, bitch? <laughs> I got him. Um, flawless. Well, the, the one one, one, one point, though. I'm oh, sorry, go on. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm done. Oh, sorry, my bad. I was just saying, you know, because the thing is, is like, is it a, when that person said, why shouldn't she? If it's like a moral question, then yeah, of course, like, no, she shouldn't. But like, in terms of personally, like, yeah, of course, she just wants to fuck off, doesn't she? Like, she clearly doesn't want the consequences. So, you know. Oh, you, yeah, you mean like, would you say it's, in, are you saying like in character she would do that? She doesn't want to, I mean, to deal with it. Yeah, in, 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 in character, it might even. Makes sense, maybe? I mean, I, I don't know. Well, I, I don't necessarily uh, disagree, because at that point, she's already done so many crazy shit. And, and she's got the dark yeah, hole yeah, at that yeah. point, question marks. So yeah. I guess she's okay with being evil now. It's all very confusing to keep track of, to be honest. Um, that's not quite the end. Just one more. There you go. Oh, oh it goes boy. on? Oh, yeah. boy. Hey, look, they've From got two siders in, here. boys. It's literally every reply you get worse and worse. I'm guessing you think she should go free after kidnapping and torturing hundreds of people. I'm sad that people like you exist, because it means that someday, when Wanda gets an on-screen death, I'm gonna have to deal with hordes of assholes jerking off right in the theater. Blocked. <laughs> oh my god. Right in the theater. <laughs> right there. I'm not even gonna wait till I get home. I'm not even gonna wait till I get home. Uh, you know what? I like this right guy. Here. I changed my mind. Man, this is the kind of cool. overinvestment wow. I was Already talking about. Out. This person is too invested. This person is too invested in it, but it seems like they're like a, you know, soy Disney consumer. Right, so <laughs> Wait, maybe you were right all along. It, it really feels like Wanda's a real woman to them that needs protecting because she's precious. Yeah. I can fix her. her. She's their problematic <laughs> <name. laughs> I can fix her. Oh my. She just did a little genocide. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So bad. Wanda heard. Oh, <laughs> nice. All right, you know what? This one. This one. We we talked a bit about Kenobi. That was, that was a good one. You guys remember that and wonderful Whoopi. show? Um, do you want to... Fringy, you up for reading one of these? Oh, uh, sure. Oh, gosh. Don't forget to read out the title of this banger. Story okay. time! Um, so... Anybody... Anyone else got post-Kenobi <laughs> depression? Oh, my yes. Lord. <laughs> yes! And I yes! Had Mid oh my God. God. What's interesting is that I think that the reasons for this depression will differ from those of the uh, panel. Yeah, I can't watch. <laughs> I can't watch anything else. Nothing is satisfying. <laughs> it, oh, oh, no. No. Sorry, I just, I just read the sentence to head. Oh my! Oh, it, my honestly, God. it honestly so, feels like a friend has died. My <laughs> wife asked me what is wrong with me lately, and I just made question. something up because I don't know how pathetic. I know how pathetic it sounds. When the show was on, I felt something I haven't felt in years. I can't really explain it. I knew it had to end, but I wasn't expecting to feel like a jilted ex-lover. I had similar <laughs> feelings after I saw Revenge of the Sith, because I was under the impression that there, would, there wouldn't be any more Star Wars films. But I put those feelings down to being an idiot 19-year-old. Now I'm in my mid-30s, and it's got me again. Please tell me I'm not alone. <laughs> oh, so this would be God. an example of... You need to calm down, dude. Three point yeah. six thousand yes. upvotes. Babe, what's wrong? You've barely touched oh, your R2D2 no. Cheerios. Your <laughs> <laughs> R2D Cheerios. <laughs> I need so more clown Cheerios. So question, do you think all of this the surplus of fiction has been a net positive or a net negative? Wait, the surplus all of these what? People? Surplus of all this entertainment and fiction. Well, it's been horrible. <laughs> With all the execution. Oh my, there's multiple ones with this one. Oh god. No, shut up. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh my god. That's not a clown horn. I think so. Oh, no, what that... the fuck is this? Get, get away. That what, one, what's what's weird. Explain that. Explain, <laughs> imagine, explain yourself. Explain imagine yourself. Uh, imagine killing yourself because your favorite show you're consuming <laughs> ended. Like 
What would you? That would be embarrassing. What? You'd have to. You'd have to like to make it less embarrassing. You'd be like, oh, they they were found like you know they tried to jerk themselves off and accidentally hung themselves. You know, you wouldn't want to say it's because Kenobi ended. Right? You, you frame that because you don't want to know it was Kenobi. I think what what's different between this and because of course stories reach people and are meaningful to people and profoundly meaningful to people in some cases. Um, I think that what's more interesting though is like the comparing that the show is over to like a friend dying is indicative of what is meaningful is that the continued stream of new material rather than the yeah. material itself, because it's done like it's there. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like if I watch hot fuzz re-watch and it's it. over, it's like, Oh man, it's like a friend has just died. That like, doesn't make any sense. I could just rewatch the film. Yeah, Unless right. what you're really invested in is the new stream of material to talk about on Reddit or just because the anticipation and the hype leading up to each episode is really meaningful to you more so than the actual story. I'm just starting to feel like there are certain kinds of people that shouldn't be exposed to this kind of stuff. Just I'm glad I'm not this person's turn friend. out like this. I mean, but we'll <laughs> never be able to do people. Severely mentally ill people. Friend, when you die, you know what impact it's going to have on him, and that'll be depressing. Mm. I guess Disney has to keep pumping out Star Wars now. They're keeping people alive. This <laughs> <laughs> probably yeah. isn't Disney's fault. Like, there's probably some underlying factor that's fueling this person's post Kenobi depression. Yeah, like severe mental illness, schizophrenia, like actual I don't know. depression. Like the depression yeah, is probably there actual before depression. Yeah. When we've yeah. said before, yeah. that, uh, pre-Kenobi depression, if you would, <laughs> we've noticed very, very blatantly, like they've altered the the way they produce content to just be going out as quick as possible to be consumed, moved on to the next thing. Like I feel like they've fostered this to some degree. They want you to be reliant yeah. on it as like an IV, but they're also yeah, <laughs> It's almost like yeah. Disney. If you ever have a day where you're not releasing something new, you're hurting people. Hey, you gotta keep it coming out. Otherwise, they're gonna be hurt. And uh, we are getting to the point also, where they're gonna be releasing like five Star Wars and Marvel shows per year, plus five you know, Marvel movies and Star Wars movies. And you know that's that's, not, that's just a portion of Disney. It'll be yeah. And the worst out, part is I can't even fuck to it like Breaking Bad. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess the problem is is like therapy costs a hundred dollars a session, and Disney Plus is like what eight ninety nine or seven ninety nine a month. So you know. It's a much, much better option if you're depressed and you can get your depression solved by watching some fucking bullshit Disney show. Hey, Ben uh, Zuko, I don't know that if you're, if you're watching this. It's, it's, you know, I don't like think this Obi-Wan Kenobi that. person is a qualified therapist. I don't not know Not worth it, man. He's not worth you. He's not gonna fuck you. He's celibate. He's not a man. He's not a clown. But yeah, this is just indul- This is not fixing the issue, you're right. It's just like, you, think- you know... The upvotes are from people who find this hilarious, or people who agree? <laughs> agree or sympathize, I would assume. Because, like, I, yeah, I Christ. Well. This is the Star Wars subreddit. This is like ground zero for sad virgins, so I think they're totally in line with This is where they're born. This is where they're <laughs> turned into flesh from the charnel pits, from the mud and guts of the earth. Hey, I Ben Zuko, if you're, if you're, if you're watching this, you should tell your wife. I know it sounds pathetic. Just tell her. Just you know, tell her. You need to tell her. Yeah, you got to someone talk to someone cares. about it. Otherwise, you may not even get out of well, it. Well, if don't I, talk if to I, Reddit, that's not going to help. I, if I outvoted this, it would be because I wanted the person to commit some time to getting some help, personally. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm right. glad yeah, you yeah. get some time yeah. after commit. Okay, just to be clear. In a video game. So, um... <laughs> Why don't we oh switch God. gears again to one of I I was I was shown this and I had no fucking clue what was happening. Um and it regards oh. me, so I'm even less understanding of what's going on, alright? So you start out with this image, the memes, go Vsauce. This is me. Mm-hmm. It states the fact that Empire Strikes Back was received as poorly as The Last Jedi when it came out. Like No, well, it wasn't. That's, that's not true. <laughs> anyway, some dude that watched all of Mauler's three hour rant videos. Did the past <laughs> really happen? So, what? Uh, not yeah, like so, that so, it, so it's just like at first you're just like, what? I think I've seen this meme. Yeah, I mean, and it's, it's like it's the just... complete opposite. The Empire Strikes Back Empire was like a famously adored. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it was subversive. Like, people it was... were lining up around blocks to see it. 
Mm-hmm. Which is not what happened with TLJ. <laughs> like, no, so... absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. So part of it though is that like I don't think I've really ever talked about that in any of my videos. Like, ah, oh, Empire was received better. Like I don't use that as a reason for anything. So I'm just, I'm just like, okay, this is weird. And then it says, in a few years, it'll be much more appreciated. That's the post, referring of course to Last Jedi. It's like, okay, what does this have to do with me? And then uh, you see some of the comments here, and I was just like, hey. you're like huh? <laughs> Everyone I know saw ESP when it came out loved it. They got, also, Empire wasn't poorly received. No one can back this up. Any article, statistics, all you see are lies literally going around the cinema. Uh, lines, sorry. And was it really? I wasn't alive in the 80s, so I wouldn't know. But it's considered by fans and critics alike to be the best of the OT. And for the most part, all the Star Wars movies and set the bar for sequels to come. It's uh, obviously not impossible, but it's definitely a bit hard to believe. Is there a source? Like, genuinely asking a curiosity. I'm not trying to hate. And then the last one, which is just my favorite. What does Maul's videos have to do with ESP's reception? <laughs> I genuinely don't know. That. Like... That's great. <laughs> That's well, I'm, I'm glad to see some sensical comments here before the madness inevitably ensues. I was going to say, yeah, these ones actually are positively upvoted. So it's like, oh, break the conditioning a little bit. But even I was like, I'm all for like, you can hate my stuff. It's totally fine. But I was literally just like, what does this have to do with me? Like, hate I don't me. even talk about this. What do you mean? Well, well I've got I've got something here from the Wiki- Wikipedia page, which you know, take that as you will. But it says, upon its initial release, The Empire Strikes Back received mixed reviews compared to the positive reception of Star Wars. So, like, I don't know if there's a comparison I to Star Wars there. I think we'd all agree it would have been it. more controversial than Star Wars because the couple yeah, of choices yeah, exactly. they make that are a little bit. When 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 you we talking about this, uh, I guess I don't know something like six hours ago. But the choice to have the hero lose. And lose his arm, and another hero get frozen in carbonite, and a cliffhanger. These are all like not the wisest decisions for a, a broad appeal, but like the experiment paid off, if you will. Like it was, everybody was fascinated by this as an ending. Love talking about the controversy of the choices, and then everyone was lining up to see how this trilogy closed out. Like it's not. Yeah, generally when, it wouldn't be a good idea, but I, it was such a huge surprise. I, yeah. I do believe it was a it was a huge hit. So, um, yeah, it, it just feels weird, because, like, uh, you know if we fast-forwarded, like, fucking 50 years or whatever, and TLJ is considered a masterpiece, I would be kind of baffled. I'd be like, what happened? I, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's going to change. Possible. That's a good movie now. More people yeah. enjoy it. In exhaustive detail, like, the conversation's been had, and the consensus seems to be that it's not good. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, what else we got here? Yeah. Funny stories. Well, we got the recent videos. Uh, this is the guy who pissed off. This, this is the first of many threads. I don't know if you know this about me, Chud. I don't remember if I've talked to you about it, but people hate how long I am. It's a big thing. Yes, the long man. Yes, I'm familiar oh, with this. I actually saw a tweet about it. you on Twitter, yeah. and you know, saw. I was like, okay. Yeah, and they... actually, that, that's why I found out about your video, and I ended up watching it because of that. So, <laughs> it's um, it's kind of unreal because like. You, you you might start seeing these everywhere, and at first, the, I wouldn't even blame you if you thought this was just agreeable. Like seeing this in the, especially in the form of Twitter, just being like, "What the fuck? Someone made a video that long?" It's like, yeah, and you're like, "Oh yeah, that's an easy like." What a what a, what a strange person. Like none of these viral posts, they 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 all with pride announced that they would never watch it. It's just like I don't know. This is a bit weird. This is always that way. Don't talk about it. Don't say it's no. low effort content. I'm not actually subscribed to Mauler on YouTube, or I don't follow him How on do. Twitter. I, I just, like, follow Movie Bob, and then he'll tell me when <laughs> Mauler releases a video. <laughs> so, you, yeah, you, we start out with this, okay? So you go, I really uh, hate this style of review where the reviewer is longer than the film. So, I mean, we've talked about it so many times, but, like, who the fuck cares? If, if you don't want to watch a review... This guy seems to be quite bothered by it. Oh, yeah, well, my, I guess my point more so is just... If it have, if it have upsets you, you don't have to watch it. It's the greatest fucking thing. It's it's like it's, yeah. you need to do a whole click before you actually engage with that sort of I thing. I can so. get some likes on Twitter.com though with minimal effort. True. Well, you know what kind of blows my mind about this criticism of you? It's like don't you have entire like classes dedicated to understanding like one chapter of one book? Like, how many courses can you take on Shakespeare? Right, but you're not allowed to do a deep analysis of one movie. I mean, well, so that's mind. when the truth would come out, because then they would be like, well, it's not that you can't do it long, it's that Mullard makes shallow points. Like, aha! So, why didn't you make oh, that like, tweet? Ones? 
I hate how he makes shallow points instead of, I hate that it's but just But how would they long. know you make shallow points because they claim to not watch your content? That's the big thing. People would be like, yep. wait, what points do you think were shallow? And then they're like, all of them. I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Can I have examples, please? That would be because they just by, six hours worth of because they just, points. Just assume when it's X amount of time, it's like, oh, you have to ramble. Just going to be redundant all over the place. There's no way for it to work. It's like, okay, how did you, how do you know that? By the way, we, we had a big old, as, as you were aware of some of it, uh, Chud, we, we had this big old thing of like, we, we kind of hate Twitch for the culture of just playing YouTube videos and not doing anything with it. Only some of you, select people, all right, not all, hashtag, yeah, but, not all Twitch. Is, you know, there's, 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 that was pretty bad, but I will, I will happily say this is worse, where you just literally make threads to target and annoy people based on nothing other than the thumbnail <laughs> like this is not a particular it's it's him being all upset this is like a still from the movie with a bit of editing you know he's like this is, this is this is worse i'd say where you're saying the thing is actively terrible but you have no idea what's even in it i mean it's like a step below or is it what's what's ethically worse stealing and someone's work and making money off it or telling everybody a thing is terrible without having watched it because you hate them Ooh, Probably the latter uh, is both better. I'd say the former. Being wrong is about it, the reality mm -hmm. is that the reviews like this aren't long due to any creative choice. It's done to play. I don't think that's how the YouTube's algorithm works. Oh, we'll get to that. <laughs> I was just curious uh, how this all ranks. All we've learned is that YouTube is clearly ethically superior to Twitter and Twitch. You no, know? that's just true. 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 Um, yeah, if we go down and just say to those asking for further clarification, length isn't necessarily bad. So why the mm. fuck did you oh. say it is? <laughs> like, exactly. Yep. Oh my but at God. a certain point, you make redundant points that repeat themselves. Which is, is funny, know. by the way. I do definitely repeat myself in the video, but uh, there is a purpose behind it. I bring up points chronologically, and then I collect them all up at the end to categorize them. And there's usually about five hours between those two events, so I figured that it's good to remind people. But He remembered. That's how closely he paid attention. It's also, saying you make redundant points that repeat themselves is redundant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, that's the kind of shit man. you catch in editing. If you want an in-depth review, do it in 30 to 70 minutes. There you go, everyone. <laughs> Why? No more! Why? Why? No that's, more. that's how long it is. That, you can go 30 to 70 minutes, and then after that, you will just repeat yourself. Yeah, just trust 30 me. 30 to 70 minutes. I don't even. You can't like make it. a prescription for this. This is personal taste. This exactly. Personal <laughs> I don't even. What would they say? What would they say if you, if you just take your video and just chop it up into these amount of times, like parts, um, like thirty to seventy minutes? They would still screenshot would the playlist fine? and treat it the same way. Ah. Uh, yeah, you got shit for that as well, didn't you? So yeah, uh, you, yeah, can't, yeah. you can't win. They used to do it with the playlist, yeah, but. Releasing single oh, weird, videos. I... I think they prefer it when it's in a single video because they get. To I be met like, all your criteria though. Mm -hmm. I met all your criteria. Why, why is that a problem now? You, the only criteria is it's too long. Here, you have multiple parts. Because the criteria changes whenever he needs it to change. Like what? his first update tweet no, was to silly. change. Wait, Thunder said this is a polygon writer, by the way. <laughs> oh, I thought they totally for CBR. You. Oh, I, I absolutely believe he works for the CBR. CBR has got some of the dumbest fucking people working for it ever. Well, because I was blocked from this thread, and somebody told me that this is the person that's been fighting with, like, Eric July calling out his, like, Ripaverse and stuff. Oh, and yeah. Eric's been fighting with him. Uh, well, Ripaverse. Um, <clears throat> he goes on to say, the reality is that reviews like this aren't long due to any creative choice. It's done to play YouTube's algorithm. Now, I think it might be worth, because Todd doesn't spend as much time with that, that little Cassius, he might be considered less biased. What would you say, with your familiarity, is, is the best thing to do with YouTube's algorithm right now? Um, In terms of, like, algorithmically putting your videos in front of people, my understanding is that longer videos don't necessarily play to that. I think longer videos are better for ad revenue because... Um, the more ads you get people to see within a video, the better it is. That's my understanding anyway. My, I've got an editor that does all the YouTube stuff, but that's my guess. I would think regularity. You'd want... Yeah. Oh, yeah, regularity, yes, yeah. Regular 30-minute regular videos would probably be optimum, sure. Probably yeah. something like I that. I think that's the meta we're currently in, though a lot of people are suggesting it. It might be true. The shorts might be the new meta, for all I know. Oh, yeah, shorts very, go around. Yeah, yeah, for oh, sure. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hooray! I know, right? Um, it's, turn YouTube into TikTok, uh, yeah. fuck it, I guess. Um... 
if five yeah. hour videos like every three months or whatever that's not helping you in the algorithm in terms of presenting videos no, to people no that's probably the worst yeah. thing you could do nope when well, I, yeah, I said sure. it back when we did other streams of the, today or whatever uh, the uh, i've had several several youtubers come to me and be like why are you shooting yourself in the foot with this when uh it, it, it was recommended to me to release this in separate parts maybe even six across one per two weeks that sort of thing it would be much better for my channel but I don't want to. That's what you used to do. Um, oh, the amount thing. of the people, it's, clearly. Well, it's just, there's a lot of reasons why I don't want to, but uh, yeah, part yeah. of them, and this is the problem, because everyone's so fucking cynical and content brain that when I say it is a creative choice, most people will be like, yeah, sure. It's hmm. like, okay, I don't know how else I can prove it than other than yeah. doing it. <laughs> like, what else do you want from me? Um, but I, yeah, yeah. I just, I just think I, I, you know, based on our interactions, you don't strike me as someone who is very algorithm content brained. Like I don't know, I just, yeah, I, I will back you up on that. Okay, you have my seal of approval. Yay! Well, and yeah. my sword. Oh sweet, <laughs> sword as well. Nice. Yeah. Um, you can have my schleams. But uh, yeah, uh, the uh, the level of big brain that genuinely annoyed me here, just to be, just to establish, like you're not doing this for creative reasons. Like oh. Okay, I guess you saw that. You say so. Like this okay. guy is the arbiter of that, I suppose. Um, <laughs> fine. <laughs> like, there's the Shakespearean essays contain a shorter word count than this review. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? I was going to say, what yeah, the I'm fuck does that Yeah, so is that an essay that about Shakespeare or is the essay itself Shakespearean? Sounds like Shakespeare's a fucking bum who's lazy. <laughs> Shakespeare's hey. a cuck, that's all I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately, I, that I like just William Shakespeare. It He's needs a, a therefore. If you're longer than Shakespeare, it's just bad. Yes. I mean, don't you know? If you're longer essays? than Shakespeare, it's bad. Shakespeare's the late. He, that's why he's so famous. He knew exactly when to stop. Going mm. further than that is too far. And then you go, um, and they, like referring to those essays, often analyze multiple means through which you can interpret and perform the text, as though he knows I don't do that. But I do do that. You do do. Do do. Uh, do, do. A lot about how you can interpret what the. To be fair, like when I think, I think when I first finished Doctor Strange, I wasn't sure exactly of what theme they were going for in that film. But it's just you know, once you read through it a couple of times, then what I, I guess what I mean by that was trying to piece together certain events and what characters are up to. It's like, oh, I guess I can see what kind of point they they may be going for. But funnily enough, with how this works, and I'm sure this guy would agree, I don't even know if Michael Waldron intended for what uh, I dug out of it in terms of. What I thought the overall theme was. I have no idea. Good old death of the author, which is probably pref. You know, I'm not going to make that joke <laughs> anyway. All of this reminds <laughs> me of that scene from Dead Poet Society, where they mock the idea that you can objectively judge a poem's quality on a graph. I don't use the word objective in that review at all, or assessment, whatever you want to call it. The entire video. This person doesn't like you, and they know about these criticisms of you, right? Yeah, this is just like the. Yep. But you do oh, have a bunch cringe. of pie charts in your video and bar graphs. I did. So yeah, um, get fucked. I was just like, okay. And by the way, this came out. Um, I think it was a couple of hours after the premiere finished. This guy was waiting for me. God, what a fucking loser! Like they literally don't like you. And rather than honestly state it, they're like trying to act like, oh, I'm just doing a criticism, guys. Like, well, you fucked. see, I'm an Jesus artist, Christ. and I recognize that this is a faulty work, for it must. Relate to a thirty to seventy mm. minute runtime. If not, it is a failure. Years ago. Master oh, ish posh. Ish posh. Um, there was there was one <laughs> the other poet was tired, hey? post on this. This yep. <laughs> got ten likes, by the way. I, I was at, at the time. I don't know what it's up to at this point, but someone replied to his initial thing and said, "Muller is the worst. You could fully review it in ten minutes. People who watch these videos are scamming wow. themselves." Jeez. Oh. <laughs> How I felt oh. like I when I was about, Wait, I was about four hours in, I felt it. scammed, but you know, I just figure, you know, I've already invested my time. I yeah. might as well go all the way. <laughs> I legit have no fucking clue what he's. What are they being scammed out of? Time? 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 Yeah. All oh, that sorry. plushy money, man! At the very end, the plushies are a scam. <laughs> they were front. I, I think. Yeah. I feel like the culture. Are free of... to watch. I feel like the culture oh, no. of like consuming YouTube videos is such now that people will kind of put it on whilst they're playing a game or doing something else yeah, or something. Absolutely. So, yeah. you know, I don't think there's really a scam happening there. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know what I okay. promised to be in the video the that I lied about. You know, it's yeah. such a bizarre yeah. concept. Like, he's. I know. Some... Yeah, the time code was on the thumbnail. Like, <laughs> as you like, pointed it, out, like, there's no lie. They click, they click the video and they're like, wow, this is going on a long time. And it's like, it's still going. 
like an hour passed and like holy <laughs> fuck we're barely th- it, it, they, they can't leave they're just stuck there and like i just like i'm pissed fucking hell god damn i'm thirsty too. okay um i should have brought provisions I just, at random i picked one of this person's articles on cbr and oh, the no. one i happened to pick was would like who would win in a battle between superman and thor correct me if i'm wrong but such a thing has never occurred right superman and thor have never they are from no. different universes no um maybe it happened in jla avengers but i don't think right. we got like definitive answers on that Suffice one to say yeah. they wrote an 829 word article about this thing that never happened wow so they have broken the rules they have They've absolutely broken the, broken the rules yep can't have that oof gotta take his own medicine. if i may if i may paraphrase like a response to one of these tweets that i read i thought it was it's really succinct um so let's just say, say you have a bucket of milk, you know, you've just milked your cow as you do, and you mm. got it. It's just like, oh no, I tripped and spilt the milk. That is an action that took two seconds. Two seconds to spill a bucket of milk. Now, if you were to describe the action of spilling the bucket of milk in detail, you know, if you go with every step, like the all the physics involved, or the you know the the leg coming into contact with the bucket, and then all oh no, it flipped upside down in the liquid went out and it spilled seeping into the floor that would take you know a, a, you know maybe 20 30 seconds to fully describe maybe even going into the minutes depending on how absurdly details you want to get with that and then it would take many more minutes to mop up the mess that was the spilt milk so i think that kind of describes why these videos take so long because it takes much longer to describe the act of spilling the milk than it does to spill the milk and it takes a fuck ton more time to clean up the mess than it does to make the mess in the first place. I mean, no, I'll get a job. Yeah, to, to make it as okay. simple as possible, if Clark Kent <laughs> just pulls out a fucking pistol and shoots Lois Lane in the head, and it takes two seconds, <laughs> don't you think I'm going to talk about that for a little more than two seconds? <laughs> you have two seconds to talk about it. Like, go. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I think there is an even, yeah, that is a very simple way. I just want to say the milk thing, there's an even easier one. It takes um, two seconds to knock over a glass of wine and 20 minutes to clean it up. Okay, that's the yep. simplest way of putting it. Yeah, I like the milk one, though, because it's funny. Gravity no, it's funny, is, I like the milk one. Gravity's the soul of what? Sure. <laughs> yeah, William Shakespeare said that, and he's the gold <laughs> standard. Shake, shake a spear, that's what it was. He shook spears or whatever. He's all about that. Shake your spear as Shakespeare. Yep. It's generally frowned upon, but... I'd like to shake my spear around. Well, well anyway. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, listen. Sorry, this actually this this pause is a great. I've I've got to shoot. Um, so this is a great moment well, for no me to problem, step out. Dude. Thank okay. you for jumping in. I hope this was fun. You've got to shoot. <laughs> oh, I, did, I did have, have fun. Shoot. I was just about to say. L- you have to listen. Shoot. Who? I want to co- I want to come on and argue with you racists about why I don't know oh. the next black fucking whatever is good. So maybe we should do that sometime. I don't know. Oh, that'll okay. be Wakanda kind of forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm okay Who i'm probably won't that? like to be honest i probably won't like that i mean yeah let's Racist. not go into too much detail now, but... because they're black wow Just yes come, come exactly. to base on endgame that, people. come talk to fringy about why you like endgame <laughs> oh, god. oh my god but like, i'll have to be autistic and watch it and be like oh no what about this fucking shot and shit no thank you yeah <laughs> maybe maybe we'll talk about it anyway right. listen Pleasure, everyone. Nice to see you all. I'll catch you all later, okay? Yeah, yeah, catch you around, bye. 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 Right, bye. listen. Later, alligator. <laughs> it takes me two seconds to kill someone, but upwards of 30 minutes to dispose of the body. <laughs> <laughs> I found that too, yeah. It takes me 10 so minutes true. to describe the murder to the police. Mm. <laughs> so, I think that was a good little selection, but um, yeah. Yeah, I have I have a couple more. Alright. Oh my goodness gracious. For you guys. More. I, I, oh, I don't even endless. know where this is from. I just saw people posting on the Discord. I don't know what forum this is, is what I'm saying. I don't recognize it, but forum. they are words and they have been put together by someone. Oh. Alright. Exciting. So this is how it starts. Show me the words. Maul? Oh, you mean that <laughs> stupid nitpicking moron who makes hour long videos to tediously nitpick movies? Get in oh, the no, bin guy. with that nonsense. Not movies. He's not a critic. <laughs> he doesn't know how to criticize yeah. works. He's basically cinema sins, except he's not a gimmick, and he thinks oh, merely no. asking questions <laughs> about the movies he's talking about is criticism. It's not, by the way. And you're stupid watching these stupid YouTubers <laughs> who don't know what they're talking about. It's like, all right, <laughs> good start. I feel I'm feeling the vibes. All right, I like it. Also, Captain Marvel's personality is far more interesting than everyone else's. 
everyone what? else. Is. So, what? Wow, <laughs> holy fuck. What? To be honest with you. What? 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 Oh my god. This, this is such a like, dude. your stock is plummeting. I, <laughs> this is, this is, we're going through the... Sell, Whoa. sell, sell. I'll go great so far. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm buying the dip. I don't know about you guys. Um, Spider-Man is an idiot that learns to be more responsible, and that's it. Oh. All right. Don't make me stand up. <laughs> that's an arc. That's something. Uh, yeah, but that's it. Learning to be more that's responsible. it, man. Come on. That's, that's it. Shit. Uh, Star-Lord is an endearing goofball and not much else. All right. <laughs> what is Captain Marvel? I know what you did. That, though. Oh, we get the Iron Man is better than the other two you just mentioned, but even so, he's a narcissistic, snarky playboy who's only a scientific genius. Oh, sorry, he, who's only a scientific genius only? Okay, and even then, he's not. But you the just smartest. described two other three. <sighs> I don't even know what the, the, He's not the smartest man in the MCU. It's like, oh, uh, okay. what an idiot. He's not even the smartest, but, fucking dumbass. Meanwhile, he's only a Marvel. scientific genius only after describing three other fucking personality yeah. traits. Yeah, the smartest of Ender though. is Chair Devil. <laughs> I remember Chair Devil. <laughs> times. Um, oh, Chair Devil. So yeah, his assessment, good old Captain Marvel is, he's cocky, confident, measured, endearing, stoic, and militant. You'd know this if you actually watched the movie, but you clearly didn't. Clearly you're repeating it's what others are saying because you can't think for yourself. By the way, these YouTubers you're watching aren't actual critics. They're morons who talk about how they feel rather than people who can actually analyze and criticize movies and video games. Oh, that's like the opposite of what you usually get. I get, yeah, this is what I mean. It's like, oh, wow. They're criticism of people like us so that we talk too much about our feelings. Yeah, you're a touchy-feely kind of guy, Muller. Uh, <laughs> I'm almost like, why? Feel you touchy. Well, I feel like that person is lying to me. Well, they go on. I have more to say. Oh, nice. Oh, there's more. There is more. There's a whole other part. <gasps> if Spider-Man has learned from his actions, then explain No Way Home. What happened in any way home? <laughs> in, <laughs> any <laughs> in any. I agree. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. In absolutely. Any stand, yeah. In any way, like weeb word. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not wrong about Captain Marvel, you are wrong. Furthermore, you don't <laughs> form your own opinions when criticizing a movie. You see if the movie is clear, concise, and consistent with its objectives. Mola does no such thing. Are you clear? shitting me right you now? Consistent, don't consistent don't do with that. its objectives. I just want to know whose opinion you still. And are we certain this isn't a troll? I don't know what this is. It's such a bizarre oh, thing. You know, like when some trolls that you can t you can sort of track because of how they're crafted in a very particular way. But like this is such a mess that it feels a little bit more like a ramble and thus maybe real. Um, maybe I think is it is real because the idea that troll. like uh, the idea that you should judge a movie based on its own objectives, like not every movie has to like is trying to make sense. You know, it has different objectives. That's a real thing. That real yeah, people, people think. definitely say that. Like Tenant. Also, welcome back, CJ. <laughs> no thoughts, doing? just vibes. Hello oh. again. <laughs> we're uh, we're all. How long have we got? We got another four hours, I think. Oh um, my god. Something like that. No. Three and a half. Right? A no, the long must never cease. A little less, right? Oh, two and a half. Our long Not trek according to me. We will got, go on forever. We had to do six hours and five minutes to finish it off, and we are up to two hours and 46 oh, minutes. Oh, right. We had the breaks. We had the breaks in between. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry about that, but that's just uh, how I it gotcha. works. Remember no, when no, Sitch right. was calling us out? I love being here. How we end up doing less, and it's like, no, we end up doing more. Yeah, what a loser. <laughs> long more. <laughs> Anyway, we so got, uh, firstly, oh, God. oh wait, yeah, that's it. Firstly, he doesn't quantify the movies he criticizes. He assumes that merely asking questions is enough to criticize and analyze movie when he should point out what the movie's intentions are. I mean, Very true. isn't that basically Very true. in when I'm describing the events and what characters are trying to do and their goals? And then the theme. Surely that covers it. What else is there? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand the what, what is the, what is the problem here? Oh wait, they don't watch your videos. I'm sorry. Oh, God damn it. Um, <laughs> he repeatedly nitpicks most scenes in every movie without highlighting what went wrong. Really? I feel like I. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Fascinating. How did you reach uh, this conclusion? I just did. Uh, the guy just asks questions only, as though he doesn't know what he's talking about. I ask questions well, as though I don't of... know what I'm talking about. Right. Well, I'm seeing a person who doesn't know what they're talking about, and they're in text form. Hey, they're asking okay. a lot of... Well, oh yeah, they are asking some questions. I'm not in text form. 
Um, <laughs> this post really has do. so I started typing energy. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I started blasting. Anyway, I started typing. <laughs> <laughs> As though so he I doesn't know that the movie's intentions are, and with all that in his mind, how good at movie criticism when... Jesus Christ. How he is he good at movie <laughs> criticism when he's just asking questions, some of which are either unnecessary or stupid. You say a lot for a little. Like, you just, you know, you just wanted to say sometimes there's answers to my questions. Just fine. <laughs> what makes me better than him? Why would you even... <laughs> okay. Well, no, I don't want to know. What? It isn't already obvious. Dude, look at the brackets. Not that I care about comparing myself to him. <laughs> yes! Um, we we had another one. I care. Yeah. Like, we I had don't a care answer. about Star Wars, but We've if had I did... A, we had a theme true. today, and we have nailed the people who do, definitely do not care about the thing they chose to tell Very you about. thematically consistent. This Very is great. Nuh-uh. Um... Is that I know that movies are made for a reason. He doesn't know that. <laughs> oh my god. Sacred are you sure knowledge about that? has been withheld from you. <laughs> oh he also my. only cares about the popular opinion of the movies he talks about. Oh. Mm. Oh man. No! I wish. Mm. It would be much more mean... stressful. Um, Remember the Snyder I mean, Cut? I feel like the Snyder <laughs> Cut was an example. I'm haunted to this day. You said my... Justice League was better. Yeah, that's like one like of the you... most unpopular opinions possible. Like, <laughs> like, we got in trouble for that over at EFAP, but we're still alive we and kicking. the only people saying it. Yeah, well, I, I, there's probably like a couple here Chas and there. I think Sweden might have been saying it. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I've seen some like different people on Twitter and, and different these comments. I even I think somebody in Chud Logic's uh, chat was saying that the Snyder Cut video is really good, so I'm assuming they agree. But it's a very rare position. Mostly, like 99% of people like the Snyder Cut is easily better. So uh, saying that, I imagine EFAP chat is mostly on our side with that one. There's probably the amount of times I've so tell my friends point. why I think things are shit. <laughs> it's like. Hey, right. did you watch this? Yeah, it was bad. It's like, oh. oh. It, was just, it, was, it was pretty easy to sort of assess. It was just, it was, they, he, uh, Joss Whedon added a bunch of character scenes for Batman and Wonder Woman. Um, and I've seen people fight in Snyder circles over whether or not the line from Batman, just save one, is a good line or not. And to me, I'm just like, it's obviously good. Like, the encouraging the Flash, who's timid and scared to... Like, get him started to save one person, then he starts saving all of them. It's like, how is that not a good line? Yeah, as if he's just going to save one, and Flash is going to come back and he says, all right. Now what? <laughs> it, it is funny to kind of put out of context, though, considering how we went from saving zero in Man of Steel and BVS to saving one in Justice League. That is an improvement. We are getting to hero. There we go. Save one. you got to start small. You can improve. Yeah. Self-improvement. Um, he doesn't have any substance. Bam. He, like all the other stupid movie YouTubers, just talks about how he feels about the movie instead of highlighting the movie's objectives, criticizing the movies oh in regards God. to their objectives. He only asks questions and he oh comes God. off as someone who didn't watch the movie he's talking about. Oh my God. That's what I felt. I think it was weird when I got up to about the two hour mark and I was thinking, has he even seen this film? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I think I, I think if you were to this post pop was up the video about cinema sins and then they just changed the name to Mola. I mean, even cinema sins, is, like I don't know, <laughs> give him a little bit more credit. This person's very angry <laughs> at things. Uh, but yeah, I think if you cut up the video I made, you might be able to string together most of the movie in the form of audio clips. Um, most, a lot of it's in there, not all of it, but a lot of it. So I probably watched it while editing, at least, right? Maybe. No. no. Oh, this one's, uh... Using you don't sand. edit your videos, Mola. Everyone knows that. That's why they're so yeah. long. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't you know do how I managed to do it. Take. You can't fool us. We got, I, I don't even know where this is from again, but, uh... It was Reddit, at least, but Mola literally hates anything that's popular with casual audiences laugh my ass off. That's a really weird thing to, for me to read, but I've, like... I've, I, I've downright normie takes on a lot of, uh popular stuff, so I'm just like, uh, yeah, sure. So it says, you know, Infinity War, Civil War, Joker. It's like, hmm, he likes Joker and hates Black Widow. Yeah, I see him. Uh, Fuck uh, him. Uh, <laughs> like, so that is a lot. Abandoned uh, the original uh, point and have woman. moved on to a different one. I remember reading it and just be like, what does that mean? <laughs> it's like, you fit a profile. Uh, he likes, he also likes Aliens, a movie with a female protagonist, if that's what you're implying, and not everything's about gender. And they got, just say, I also like aliens. No one spends this time defending random YouTubers. 
Oh my god. What? Yeah, but you're the one who attacked no, in the first place. No, it's not random YouTubers, it, it, it's specifically uh, Mahler. Very specifically Mahler. Yeah. You criticized him for like a Joker YouTuber. over Black Widow, and I thought you were making him out to be a sexist. I said, that wasn't the criticism. I cared enough to comment originally, but we're a bit later now, and I don't care enough oh, anymore. They always do it. They always <laughs> do it. They always Again. run. Care. I concede victory. But like, this wasn't even a fatigue thing. This was literally just trying to find out what they think, and then they were like, "Enough! Mm -hmm. I'm leaving." <laughs> like, oh, I don't think I am the spew. I shouldn't have to put up with this. Ridiculous. <laughs> All right, this one was nuts. This was from a YouTube comment section, and I think the my, my. the context is it was soon. It was soon after some discussion where we talked about the Flash's big payoff in Snyder Cut, but it was also <laughs> just after, uh, I think it was multi the first half of the multiverse discussion. So someone, I think in the EFAB audience, I'm not actually sure if this is who they are exactly, but they were very upset with both those takes, to the point where I think this is one of them, your critiques are poor sort of moments where they're just like, I've had oh, enough. No. Last straw has been snapped. It is time to That's tell EFAB it. where they are incorrect. Um, Duke Nukem, oh, no. Do you, want, do you want to take this one, Rags? Why not? Yeah, sure. Why not? It's probably do it, better. Rag. You are all the same. <gasps> oh. Time and time again, you all agree. So there's no point in spending eight or nine hours discussing a movie you don't even like. For fuck's sake, you cowards wasted an hour <laughs> avoiding Shang-Chi. Probably wasted an hour avoiding so, Shang-Chi. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I really don't remember. Didn't we do a whole breakdown of Shang-Chi? We did. I remember it was a lot longer than an hour because Shad was there for it all, right? Yeah, for you watched talking it. about the hour in the stream before you actually start talking about it. Oh, is that what he's saying? Maybe we have long intros, but then we spent the the like five hours talking about it or whatever. I have to assume that's what he's talking about. Yeah. What does he mean avoiding? We just talk. <laughs> we talk about the other thing. <laughs> I don't understand. I was well, like, talking is cringe. I have. I, I I think we're all of the opinion like Shang Chi isn't as bad as like. Thor, Love and Thunder, and um, Black Widow, and um, Memo M, but it's, it's not good. It's still pretty pretty bad, from what I hear. Yeah. Um, anyway, we... Yeah, like, we, it's, it's inoffensive, subjectively, but it's got a huge amount of problems. All right, so, uh, uh, we cowards... You cowards wasted an hour avoiding Shang-Chi. Probably, because you didn't want to admit that you just didn't like the film that suspiciously is the third damn movie in a row with a minority lead you hated. What? Two films is coincidence, but one <laughs> after another is a fucking pattern. <laughs> you also do not understand things like cosmic horror or high concepts. Oh. You mm, obsessed over concepts. things like logic. And consistency. <laughs> How the dare whole, you? Yeah. The whole fucking point is that it isn't. <laughs> it isn't Jesus. what logic? It, 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 isn't it isn't consistency. It isn't logic. It isn't logic and consistency. All right. All right. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. If I locked you motherfuckers in a room and forced you to watch everything in the Nasu verse, are we you, weird? I don't, yeah, probably. You would. Oh, I could tell. Yeah, I could believe it. You would be sobbing wrecks by the time I let you out. Is it really that the bad? The multiverse, <laughs> or is it, or is it that emotional, oh, or like yeah, it would? Maybe. I don't even know. The multiverse is an infinite number of possibilities, not just timelines. That's a sentence. It is a very <laughs> complex subject that is difficult to fully understand because infinity is just that, endless. That's actually not true. You cannot count it. That is accurate. You cannot rationalize it. True, it's an irrational number. There are you cannot comprehend it. That's the ultimate reason why Kang made Loki kill him. We didn't make Loki kill him, right? I mean, we left it up to them to decide. Yeah, well, that's what he said. I don't. I don't fucking know. I have no idea. I get like because when when you're someone like Kang, surely he would just know immediately what Loki or Sylvie would decide. So by him. Choosing to let them do it as of their free will, he already knew what the result would be, right? Or, or am I missing? I don't know. Or did he did he say like he just has no idea what's happening anymore? Cause he, he he used to look ahead or something. He said up to this point, I knew everything, but yeah. now I've let I've 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 stopped everything from now on. It's just whatever happens. So, yeah, I get, yeah, and so the ultimate reason why Kang made Loki, yeah, he didn't make him kill him, from what I remember. Yeah, uh, I thought that was the whole point. 
Yeah. Uh, that's the ultimate reason why Kang made Loki kill him, because he knew that you cannot control something like this. No, you can. Like what? He was controlling something like it. like what? Yeah, he's so controlling he's literally the, everything the, in all of the cosmos. Yeah, the sacred time. It didn't isn't like the whole fucking reason he got bored. Well, wasn't that like basically it? He was like, I've been doing this for forever, and he just doesn't. He wants something else to happen. I'm pretty sure that the dichotomous choice that he presented was, we can just keep doing this where I'm in control of everything, or we can see what happens. Yeah, uh, he's like, he he's he's, he's so just like, let's just try something else. He basically, we can control something like this. Um, yeah, there's no reason- when- okay, so, like, when Sylvie and Loki do all of their crazy adventures to get to him, he orchestrated all of it. That wasn't them breaching the system. Exactly. Because yeah. it proceeds to say you have things fall through the cracks all the time, which they did. It's like, yeah, but then they fixed it every time, because there's only one timeline. So they fixed it all the time. Yeah. Hmm. You're angry at- And the time heist <laughs> didn't break what little control they had. The time heist was something they knew was going to happen. It was- it was allowed to happen. It was planned to happen. Yeah, it was all facilitated. Only an ignorant idiot who doesn't pay attention would not understand this. They explicitly say that the time it's heist point. was allowed. Everything so, up to the moment that they're sitting in those chairs was planned was by planned. Kang. Everything. Which You're really wrong. took away from the show, by the way, but the show took away from the entire MCU, so... Yeah. When you get it, like, so wrong, and then you... Well, I guess <laughs> if we assume that when it's in capital letters, that's meant to be yelling or whatnot. Meant to elicit a sense like, that he is shouting, yes. <laughs> and lots of exclamation marks, but then you just get these things completely wrong. Like, explicitly, you're contradicted. Yeah. There's something... It, it's just... You admire the audacity of it all, really. Well, just it's, calm it's, down, it's you know? Like, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, we, we didn't like Loki. Wrong. No, that's fine. <laughs> you'll right, be fine. You uh, also, is this like a troll thing? Is this like a meme? Then this, I, I would go as far as saying this looks like an angry young person who's just venting. Um, yeah, probably. And it's kind of uh, let's see. Even if you did control everything, like the TVA... You will have things fall through the cracks all the time, which they did. That's an odd yeah, sentence. Yeah, right we read ahead and, uh... Oh yeah, we've kind of addressed yeah. all that. <laughs> yeah. The time heist broke what little control they had. You just said they no, controlled to everything we, all the time. Well, that's what, but they that's maintained what one already. singular timeline. That is not little control, that is absolute control, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Kang, been... Kang explicitly says that, like, everything... We, we've already said it, but Kang yeah. explicitly said that everything that happened yeah, leading he's up gotta... to the point was planned, so... You're just wrong. I guess we want to skip to the next paragraph. Um... Okay. This is also... why I think this is a meme, by the way. <laughs> this paragraph. Oh, okay. Also, unless this channel starts reviewing anime... I will never respond to anything this channel or anything of the channels that associate with EFAP says or does because there is so much more out there that would make them beg for Disney. And unlike them, I'm smart enough to know that. Wait, are they saying and that? no. <laughs> Wait, are they saying that anime is so bad we'll think Disney's good? So it sounds or, like. Damn. ER, you're there's offended so much by more that. Out there that would make them beg for Disney. That's kind of what he's saying. I think but... so. Yeah. He sounds like he wants you to review anime. Oh, definitely. That's the impression I'm getting. We have plenty of fans who want us to review anime. Probably not going to happen. Yeah. Didn't he just complain <laughs> because you guys criticized uh, peep movies with minorities as leads, and now he wants you to? I, I, th this person Wait, is making. Wait, did you say you sense. hated Shang Chi? Isn't that? I, I feel like we that, don't hate no, Shang Chi. No, I don't yeah. hate Shang Chi. It's not really. It's inoffensive. It's I hate some of the choices different. they make, and I hate like you know, like uh, uh, Death Dealer dying, and that old dude that just gets casually soul sucked. Like both of those really annoy me. But like you know, it's nowhere near. We're not dealing yeah, with cause it, you know. Because he says at the beginning, like the third damn movie in a row with a minority lead, you hated. It's like I, I you. I did. I've not heard like like the anywhere near the amount of scathing criticism that for Shang Chi as a character as like Captain Marvel or what have you, She Hulk. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, weird. This whole thing is kind of odd. I mean, well, look at the next bit. Yeah. Mm. All right. And no, the Flash cannot fix everything and is not overpowered. <laughs> it is heavily implied that he has no idea what he can do and isn't sure he can't control it. And I am sick 
of people pretending that he didn't say that when he fucking did. I think this is referring to how we said there were there was nothing to really worry about because he just uses time travel and it just works, you know? Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any consequences negative whatsoever. Yep. Like it's not there's not much it, tension in the scene because it's just like it's just a clean win button. If you remember, yeah, it he seems says, like, like you're you really break the awesome. Rule, but, yeah. I mean, yeah. what's the point of that? It just saves the world. It's this the, the universe. by the way, it's the same problem we have with the stones. That's why I brought them up in the MOM review. It's just like, well, we got a problem here. Use the stones. And it's like, well, we don't have any. It's like time heist. Stones. Off you go. Yeah, easy. We I'll got solve all it every time. It's, it's the win button. You, you know, why not? So, to be like, fair, that scene, that scene was an Oscars fan favorite moment. So. Sure it was. <laughs> <laughs> sure that was very genuine. What did that Warner yeah. Brothers investigation say again? Um, fucking Warwick, Snyder Warwick cut Warwick that Flash, man. Yeah, that's... Um... Oh, funny stuff. Funny stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not a cut flash scene. It was like the worst execution of flash time travel in media, I think. <laughs> we need to do a flash flashpoint paradox at some point, meme. We do. We do. Oh, in a similar vein, but once again, I'm now lost on exactly where the format for this one was. It could be YouTube, but you got really sad that this hate speech, ripe talking, is viewed at all by anyone. It was a good action movie or film. Uh, the whole Marvel Universe is fiction. I don't think the YouTuber knows this fact. Not a documentary, <laughs> not supposed to be real life or factual. Anybody that watches the news right now knows what evil and disastrous things are going on. We watch okay. these films oh and read these comics to escape reality and hope for heroes. I know people that hate any fiction. They are incredibly dry conversationalist people. I don't know how they get up in the morning. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's just... that's great. Uh, yeah. Um, Sorry. <laughs> I hope you're okay. I, I shouldn't be surprised, but I really am surprised how many people think, oh, that's fiction, so just stop. Just like, do whatever you want. Good it's defense. fiction, so why do you care what we have to say about it? Yeah, it's whatever, yeah, man. Right? It's not real. I can't hurt Captain America's feelings, you know? Guys, did you know that it's fake? It's not real. We made it all oh, up. I'm going to... I'm gonna write a story where I hurt Captain America's feelings, and I'm gonna put it on the internet. Oh and no! Read it. Don't you dare! That's horrifying. But it's fine do because it. I don't even care. Well, oh, yeah. that's your opinion. I'm upset by the very idea. Um, Never happened. <laughs> this is one. This Never one happened. I was. This almost made it into the uh, the last um, multimedia we did, but it just slipped by because I think I'd left it somewhere else. But hey. Oh my. Kind of amusing. We got YMS released his Lion King review. And some subreddits were upset with him. They said, Adam's turning into Mola before our eyes. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> That's such a good video. Wait, wait, wait for it. We're right. Yeah, this is good shit. Okay. I disagree. Mola is shit because he spends a lot of time talking about SJWs and woke nonsense, repeating the same oh, shitty yeah. opinions for eight hours. Yeah, all the time, Mola. All totally the time. what I do. Yeah. Adam's video is edited, it. has a clear structure. Also, he doesn't just dissect <laughs> the movie. He talks about the train wreck that was a production. I don't do any of that, by the way. I only talk no. about it. SJW. You're a lazy bum. And then sarcastic jokey tone. Wow, seems like someone loves SJW and woke nonsense. Um, th so someone made a little thing of these were clearly the chapters in my my Star Wars review. You got introduction naturally. Then Leia has been ruined because she's a woman. <laughs> of course. <laughs> How can a girl beat a man in a fight? What the fuck? That's, that was a great like analysis, I think. Contrivance is when women succeed at things. That was... <laughs> I don't think I need to explain that. Based. That was my favorite uh, part of your video, by the way. Good job on that. When black people exist, it makes me angry. When they exist. Yeah, and then we got uh, Kylo Ren, apex homosexual. That was a <laughs> controversial one, but I think I convinced a lot of people. I can outdo it. <laughs> I hate Snoke because he's trans Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> is it mad that I really want to watch uh, this version of your video? Uh, you get to look at many women in this movie. Is that good or bad? Ah, yes. Bad. Very See, bad. I mm. answer that question on in the woman. just around two minutes Depends there. On the clothing. Not bad. Yeah. Kathleen Kennedy stole my Halloween. True. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you didn't edit that bit. That goes for 20 minutes. Bitch. Yeah. First Order destroys planets. Is this woke environmentalism messaging? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then we get to the outro. I personally thank Ronald Reagan for being an inspiration, as I do in every <laughs> video. <laughs> then check out EFAP. Doctor Strange, tear down this wall. Check out EFAP. We bully women for having opinions weekly. Yeah, we've been done it this week as well, you yeah. know. And the uh, outtakes from a cameo done by my best friend, no bullshit. We've worked together for years. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's favorite. Like no turtle. remarkable Republican? Damn. This is such a, like, when, when they go, like, he only talks about the woke nods that you have a moment of just like, do you even know, like, anything about him? This guy you're talking ever about. Watched like, a video. Just... Well, you breathed near Sargon once, so clearly oh, that means. Oh, yeah, that's a bad. I did. Ooh. Yeah. Mistake. Apparently, some people were saying he was very drunk in our chat earlier. I, I must have missed it. I already saw he said hello or something, but... Wait, does he hate watching us like Sister and Adam? Oh, maybe. Yeah, he, yeah, he did a, He did pop up. I, I didn't really pay that close attention to it. I'm currently getting drunk, though, so, you know, I will be joining him. What are some positive, or at least non-toxic YouTube videos about the sequel trilogy or the films individually? I can't type in anything with the movies into the search bar without being bombarded with the likes of Mauler and such. <laughs> oh, the likes of Mauler. Oh, so you, clearly you've watched the content to know that it's not, that it's completely toxic, right? That's how you know it's toxic. I, I feel bad for you sometimes. You just keep getting relentlessly shit on videos <laughs> that are just like entirely made up that aren't even oh, I don't in your feel videos. Bad, you deserve it. Um, <laughs> I'm a bad man. <laughs> I don't even. Um, there's a lot of results when you search for anything in YouTube. Am I really taking up all of it? <laughs> like you're scrolling, all just like, it. oh, don't you hide channel or whatever? Doesn't that just solve it? Bovine, we are live. This is not pre-recorded. There, I blew your mind. I exploded it with my pecs. There we go. What's happening? What? Uh, I, Bovine I don't know what's Joanne I I was asking stroke. if this was live or pre-recorded, and I have set the record straight that this is live! Oh, pre-recorded, well, we have you know, incredible predictive yeah. capabilities. Yeah. yeah. True. That's actually Aang told us chat. that he True. designed him to say that when he said that. <laughs> hey, woo! <laughs> never know. We're not well. real people. We disagree <laughs> with Movie Bob, so... You just made Bovine Joanne's day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I hope yeah, so. Hope. Hopefully she won't have a cow. Uh, <laughs> now, we were actually Whoa. about to watch um, the the EFAP 200 remix song, so if everyone wants to pile Ooh, oh, back yeah, into were. that and watch Ooh. together, if you left. I'll click the watch together. I'll post right it there. again, Fizz. I don't want to click you. it again, though. Six-hour breakdown of Big Buck Bunny. Hell yeah. Big Buck Bunny. <laughs> More like God, but we're, we got three hours left, everybody. Woo! Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Oh, nice. We're oh, almost James. there. Good thing. One, Good thing this one is very short and we're all left to go. <laughs> Coming in my hair. Well, that'll be one of the things. Is, it could, what if we don't thoughts. finish the video? Is that okay? We're probably going to watch one, you know? I don't know. Let's, you know what? I'll just play this. You know song. what? After At that point, I'll just be happy to I think say, you're you know right. what? We'll just. We'll brute force it. Hello. Oh, Jay, you're flat. Are you fucking excited? What you bring Yoda, Yoda, Luke Skywalker, Yoda, Yoda. They constructed a me. Three, 
way back into that bitch. Bum to the 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 <laughs> Jay, you're a little pitchy there. I'm so glad that that movie was so bad that we got to be friends. Thank you so much. You're so great. All of you are so great. Jay, you're all right. <laughs> Type praise. Uh, Another excellent still. remix. People at this point are like, so album at this point, or because <laughs> oh, there <laughs> could be, there totally could be. Oh yeah. Are you going on tour? I have to assume they are. Yeah. All kinds of Stephen Stephen Pub. Um, Stephen Pub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a couple little, little meme videos here. Really it's appreciated. Hard. Yeah. From the spatial not. mixing on that is clever. Oh yeah, the the work is always amazing because it's like a. I think you can for a moment forget you're listening to um, a whole bunch of weird sounds from people randomly and it blends yeah. into this like beat song. These people know what they're doing. They do. And then all of a sudden you're like, I'm so hard! <laughs> Which reminds you of the genius. Yeah, bum, stabs bum, you bum, back bum, to reality. Got a good beat to it, I like it. Is there an EFAP playlist on Spotify? Dude, what of our actors, that they're just, they're so unpalatable now. And it's like, I know, we've already dealt with it. We've removed <laughs> yeah. it from the fucking movie. No, sir. <laughs> oh my goodness. For fuck's sake! It was a rough day at WBHQ. Uh, yeah, they, they're they not doing well. Ryan, but I'm working out. Oh, hey. Be a hey. worrisome oh, copyright yeah? here, but I hope not. All right, well. If not, we get to oh. go home, so. Charlie. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, oh hello. <laughs> Welcome to IG Double Hockey oh, no. Sticks! I mean, this is definitely copyright worry, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, actually have, I actually have a forge where I got copy, uh, have like a copyright thingy uh, as well, and it didn't show that much. That one if we get a copyright uh, strike, can I go to bed? No, not no. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, no, okay. because I will play it in three second blumps. And this is Bring you no, we only... the stream will continue on another channel. I've got our copyright cover up for protection too. Form of hellish entertainment. <laughs> 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 what the hell? Yoda fall. Dude, if you do that again, I'm gonna punch you. I'm not kidding. I'm not what? kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm almost. Where is Smiling Friends season two? Am I right? Oh, I need it. Uh, it's probably coming soon, like next year, right? Maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Should tomorrow. tomorrow. It, it, now. <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest surprises are behind me. Oh no, bring it. He just wants to Didn't. hurt you. <laughs> this became an That's abusive someone's video. fantasy. Yeah, it's very abusive. Art. Bring I'm glad you made it, because you're here and you know. Yes. Oh, he's not saying yeah, it's a, it's a, well, it's, it's, it's just, it's a meme and it's, it's, some effort went into it for sure. You didn't like that they beat you? You didn't like it. Well, at the end it got a little bit excessive, yeah. yeah. I mean, when Metal tries to kill himself it's <laughs> funny, like but when Fringy gets punched it just seems <laughs> yeah. a little excessive, you know? Yeah. Like, That's my gimmick, you know, okay. Yeah. I remember this. Stay in your lane. Meat was beaten. Dang. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's hmm? a fun that, noise. Well, so I'm jumping <laughs> the gun because someone said our ancestors were amphibious, but they weren't amphibians like modern amphibians. Yeah, I figured. I guess when I say that they're a frog, they're not like exactly the same as a frog right now, but that they're a frog like, you know? Inconsistencies and stuff. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure which of the things you said on Twitter. I try to um, avoid Twitter, especially lately, you know? It's not a fun place. 
Because someone said he's very bad, bad at biology. biology. I didn't study it at school. I did physics, and I remember nothing about it. <laughs> I was bad at chemistry, though. <laughs> biology, he's bad at biology. Oh, even, yeah? Well, I, I didn't even study it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I can't be bad at it. I didn't even learn anything about it. Nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. <laughs> 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 That's seriously one of my favorite responses you've ever had to someone say it, like, you're not very good at biology. I didn't study it. <laughs> fuck you. I didn't study <laughs> biology, you so think get I'm bad at biology. You should hear I'm allowed to I not know physics. anything about it. <laughs> I know this is a dumb question, but is that true? Like, they didn't make you study biology at all in school? Um, I You don't have, have a degree to, I, in it. Like, it was one of the... You could choose to do, like, biology. Like, I dabbled. Yeah. We learned so about evolution and what amphibians were. biology we class. Um, you don't, so the way that it works is that you can essentially, like, once you reach, I, I think it was, like, year 11, uh, which is the second last year of high school, you can basically choose, like, whatever classes you want. You don't even need to do maths anymore. Um, you have to do I, English, I, though. I, what's that, sorry? You have to do English, though. I think you still have to do English, but then by year 12, you can do whatever you want. Um, and I didn't feel like doing biology. I did physics and chemistry. Hmm. Which is interesting, because I like physics, I loved biology, and I hated chemistry. So, I liked chemistry until I didn't anymore. <laughs> well, I, why I did I not cried. like chemistry, I liked biology, and then what was the third one? Physics. Physics. Physics, physics, physics are... Well, I, I, physics, I took physical I science. I don't think I took like, physics proper, but... I think the reason why I like physics is because it pertained to space in a lot of circumstances, and I always really like space. Ain't that neat? Because like yeah. the reason I like biology so much is I was fascinated by how everything works, like bodies. And I just yeah, I love, I love living that. things and I love critters and creatures. And yeah, I was, I was just like, whoa, they do that and they do that because of that and this does this. Oh and that. wow, and they like, move whoa. around and they eat stuff and they just just look at them. Moving. Chemistry is obviously the worst because just like, oh, look at this color and this color put it together. Oh, Ooh, molecules hey, and this molecule chemistry. is a covalent bond with <laughs> this molecule and then it. I I mean, let me guess, you like Breaking great. Bad too. Um, I yeah, I did like Breaking time. Bad, but no, well, I like chemistry because, I mean, when, you, when you're when <sighs> baking, that's a lot of chemistry, but I don't know, I hated biology because my teacher was a fucking cunt, so. Oh. Yeah, so that's, that killed it. Yeah. Man, but my memory's chemistry faded on this at this point, but the biology teacher, that probably, you know what, thinking about it, I really liked my biology teacher. I remember talking about this in EFAP before, but he was a legend. Um, super down to earth, super quick at explaining everything and stuff. Super fun guy. Fun guy, that's, that's relevant to biology. Because he's biology. Ah. Yeah. Um, but I think I remember, I, I, it's literally like fucking 150 episodes ago I would have mentioned this, so most pe people have forgotten now because I've nearly forgotten it, but it was right there and I grabbed it before the memory faded. I'm pretty sure we had an RE lesson and I was asked, you know, the, the, the class was asked, is there anything that um, stands in the way of, of, of like a, an obvious, the, the, the truth that the Christian God is real? And because I was a, a plucky young child who didn't realize what I was getting into, and the teacher is <laughs> it's this is literally the situation the teacher's looking to create a God is dead sort of moment where they're just like, Go on, children, try try me. And um <laughs> I put my hand up and I said evolution. And then uh, she said, Do you know do you know who came up with that? Like, huh? She's like, Who came up with that? Charles Darwin, yeah. Do you know who came up with that? Do you know do you know what Charles Darwin said about evolution? It was all false. It was all wrong. All of oh. it. And I was Did like, what? And she was like, yeah, before he died, he made sure to let everyone know that all that, nonsense, not real. And um, I remember going back to biology then being like, man, I had no idea that I, I told the teacher. He was like, what? <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, she said that all of it was like, so what did he say about it exactly? And he was just like, no, no, don't even, no, none of, not, no. <laughs> just like, he was... And um, you I implying never... someone a religious person would lie to spread their the spread their oh, religion? It was funny as fuck. Children, the, um, you think they would indoctrinate children to do that? They ended up having to talk with each other, and I remember thinking, like, I fucking would have loved to have heard that conversation. I never did though. <laughs> um, you know, I think I had I had the opposite experience in in high school because I went to a Catholic um, high school, but they were very liberal. So during the year eleven uh, religious education class, they were starting to talk about atheism. And they would stage these like mock debates of like one side would take the atheism side, one side would take the religion side. 
Um, and at this point, I had already gained the reputation as the atheist of the of the fucking year group. Um, but we were, um, but but this was not our class doing it. This was the other class. So we sit, sat on the other class, and the atheism side was getting destroyed. They were just no one had any arguments, and everyone was just getting fucking slain by by the religious side. And then they saw me walk in, and they were just like, "Mate, mate, we need you up there now, now!" So I just got, I was hoisted to the front of the class for this atheism religion debate in a completely different class than the one I was meant to be in. And then I just basically just started saying very basic things like, oh, well, religion started as like worshipping the elements and then it eventually turned into polytheism. And mono I just did some very basic shit. And then the, and I basically just went, well, you know, this, you know, it's an unfalsifiable hypothesis that, you know, I was saying stuff like that. And, uh, you know, there's no real way to, to prove it. And, uh, you know, there, there's, a, there's a huge history you can track uh, for religions and stuff like that. And the teachers start fucking freaking out because they very quickly realize that this entire class of Catholic students is quickly turning atheist. So they, <laughs> one of the teachers just rushes to the front of the class going, okay, students, so that's enough of that. Um, so, you know, um, what, what you feel inside, um, you know, the, your, the, the, if you have an experience with the Holy Spirit, that, that's that's cool. That that's um, that, that that's that's real, and uh, you know that's that's the experience you should listen to. And then they watched some fucking creationist documentary after that. But uh, that that was that Did was the my whole experience. Bus clap? I was gonna say this. Is, all of chat is making Where's funny. Where's good logic when you up. need them? I don't think this story is true. Everyone's making fun of you. This this, this fucked Nonsense. up chat. You're being very rude. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I believe the clown thing more than this. <laughs> well, I, I, I love don't know the clown story. This is the, I, I that was that that story is actually one hundred percent true. Um, that is. Uh, I will now. That is this. How many people clapped on a scale of one to all? Well, of them. well no one clapped. You <laughs> see, it's just once I got done, no, no one clapped. But what happened was, um, I got done with my thing, and then the other just person kind of on the other side, um, of, it was it was just like, well, I had a spiritual experience, and I know that's real and that was their that was their um counter to my to, to my um about i think I, I went on for like five ten minutes um going over the entire thing um and they all i had was well i had an experience that i know is real and then the teacher ra ran up and tried to salvage the class's fucking spirituality well thank goodness they did mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> now it's time for daubing on fringy Oh, man. Dobbing. Dobbing like Dobby? No. I don't believe you. <laughs> I remember thinking that uh, the kid that like almost always tells on them for shit to the <laughs> granny teacher, it was like, it always came across to me as like a young Mo. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. He looks like Mo. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the, he looks, he looks just like Mo. What Mo, was Mo doing doesn't feel was... like a tattletale, you know, he doesn't feel... I, you know, I gotta tell you, when I was in school, that was one of the things I found, like, the most annoying ever was when people were always dobbing. Well, they called it dobbing. I really don't like that word for some reason. But based on telling on each other. Yeah, so dobbing, they... So, um, like, uh, in primary school, I went to a Christian school, so... You know, in in a normal school, nobody really gives a shit if you say like, "Oh my god" or "What the hell," but uh, but they did. Uh, and so, anytime anybody ever said, I, I remember it distinctly. Like, if anybody ever said, "Oh my god," somebody around would always, and they would always do it in this way. <gasps> I'm dobbing on you. That was the most <laughs> annoying part of the And despite the fact true. that I was five years old, there was something about that that really pissed me off. It was like, shut up. You don't care, this doesn't matter. Oh you just try to cause trouble. You want to look good in front of the teacher. Why don't you just mind your own business and do your own <laughs> goddamn work, alright? How about that? Yeah. <laughs> it still bugs me. I mean, obviously, I don't. <laughs> well, clearly, I do care to this day. <laughs> you know, no, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm German suffering. engineering. I work in IT, let me alone. Germans yeah, are meant yeah. to be good at engineering things. Yeah. Snitches get stitches. Yeah, pretty much that. Dobbing means telling. Basically, going to the teacher and saying that you did something bad, so that you getting you in trouble with the teacher. Basically, that's that's what dobbing meant. Um, I don't know. Yeah, sounds like rape. 
<laughs> or else you're fucking gay. Well, I like that that was on theme too about Kara. Yeah, I've never related to anyone more than I did to Fringy just now. <laughs> we can all be stand united on daubers. Oh, you I just you Australians it, are all the same, and it's always the same tone. They're always like, "I'm dobbing on you." Yeah, and exa like, that, exactly, you exactly. You, exactly. You, you, you said it. Five year old exactly the way you said. That's what. That's what it is. <laughs> what, what, and the same it? enunciation. Twenty years later, they're know. still saying it exactly like that. I don't know why it's changed. called dobbing instead of telling. Like the fact that they would even use the word dobbing instead of telling for some reason just bugged me. Like, so does it trigger know. you when you watch Harry Potter and like Dobby's there? I haven't seen most of the Harry Potter films. Um, for that reason. He's the little Goblin. goblin one. Have you seen one with Dobby <sighs> in it? I, I couldn't even tell you. Like, I couldn't tell you He's anything about the Dobby. Well, Dobby is Harry's friend, the one with the orange hair. That's Dobby. They're not helping me. I have no idea. The it's slave. His little orange oh, ginger head slave. Dobby, you mean like the racist <laughs> Dobby? Yeah, I was going to make a Dobby joke so I can bang you up. Master Potter, please fuck me in the ass. I don't remember that scene. Happy Christmas. I think it was a deleted scene. <laughs> so you know what i think we've got a perfect video in, in terms of the title this is one of those ones i haven't actually oh. looked at at all so it could be really oh, bad goodness. and that's okay if it is because we can watch something else oh, but no. oh my god the name of it is why everyone has sent me this the over and over again it. i'm pretty sure you guys may have heard of it it's time because we, we're familiar with the two levels of content i think this is going to regard the <laughs> thumbnail Says the time of the Avengers has passed. Oh, oh he might, he might be thinking yourself. The... We're mm. going to the Grey Havens. Reference in here. And the the yeah. name of the video is The Boys, the show for thinking people. No! Oh, oh no! Oh, yeah. oh, oh no! Yeah. Thinking people, people like think. meme. You need to have a high sheep in that Rick Catholic Boy. school. <laughs> this is one of those. You like, need to have a low IQ to enjoy the voice. <laughs> this is this is definitely one of the situations where it's like, let me tell you, you've made a mistake <laughs> when you he's already. I haven't even seen the this better approach. But like I said, again, I have no idea what's going to be in here. Luckily mm. for us, I have seen season three, if it regards that in any way, and I most of everyone I... here is familiar with the boys in some way, shape, or form, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember I saw it. I've a seen long the first two seasons ago. Well, there you go. It was as, as if from a dream. I hope I can remember yeah. things about it. Mm. Well, I am very excited to see the show oh for goodness. thinking people. That's, oh, that's <laughs> what I need. Right oh, that's cool. This is a side think... thing that just happened. So a good friend of mine just told me that her boyfriend proposed to her. And she said oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, with, oh, with, yeah. With, without a moment's notice, I just wrote back, that's gay. That's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> That's how you know who your true friends are. They're willing yeah. to call it out when it happens, yeah. Did yeah. you tell her? Did, I will did she, be right back. Did she say no homo? Uh, mm. no, no. <laughs> oh, then, oh, well. I would have expected that, though, to be honest. So, kind of thing. Mm. But right. yeah, it's, I, I thought it was just a funny little, little side thing. Yeah, Black humor, ultraviolence, explicit scenes, and superheroes that cause nothing but disgust. All this boys. is about the boys. So that's for adults. That for thinking people. That's what <laughs> thinking people. Uh, like. Well, you know, he's just stated what the boys is. Yeah, broadly. maybe it's uh, true. Sure. I'm gonna it's think possible. so hard. <laughs> I'm so ready to think. <laughs> <laughs> this famous the series think. turned. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm thinking! <laughs> oh, I think my thing juice is leaking. Oh god. <laughs> I love, yeah, when, when, I remember when Thinkius went into that room, thing. and then he, he, he said, oh, it's thinking time, and then he just thunk. I think thunk. we're in the right mindset for the end of, of, of part three of the anniversary right now. <laughs> you eventually said the thing. <laughs> you yeah, yeah. This is like a I think that Stephen just confirms Hawking. what I was trying to say. 
All right. Our pictures of superheroes upside down and ridicules genre cliches from the opening credits and costumes up to the origin of the characters. Until it starts mm. to join in to the, I was gonna doing say, the thing that it was totally does the things. Yeah. Did, Until it unironically <laughs> starts to, yeah. To, that's, yeah. That's the kind of thing you catch in. Yeah. This this is, and it's one of those, like, um, aren't superheroes lame? And you go, wow, yeah, I like you. What are you? And he's like, superhero. Yeah. Mm. But I, yeah, I, but I know I'm lame. On, so that, so. That's pretty cool, though. That's cool how I, I'm, that's cool. Shooting style in every possible way. Okay. But behind the jokes about tempting fate and a bloody mess, there is also a huge number of important issues that absolutely every viewer cares about. This <laughs> wow. is the <laughs> huge number of important All of them. events that each viewer cares about. <laughs> Everyone. Um, yes, every viewer of the boys. <laughs> every grand viewer statement. of the boys. Absolutely. Many, that plays yeah. out. I mean, I believe issues him. Issues that they care about. Oh. Yeah, I'm excited to see what happens next. I'm ready to think. Movies channel, and today we are figuring out why The Boys can be considered one of the best TV series of our time. I'm, oh no! <laughs> our time, like, like seven. I wish it was. I would, yeah, I wish it was. Too. I really wish it was. Yeah. And before right. that, we suggest you click uh, on the subscription yeah. no. button. I'm right. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm I'll, I'll, I'll think about I'll it. Let you put that at the end of the video and convince me. Yeah, instead. remind me at the end, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, at the end. And yeah, I'll tell you why I won't do it. Uh, don't you guys <laughs> subscribe to literally every channel that says to? Apparently this is good for no. channels. Like, that's why everyone does yeah, it. Yeah, it, unfortunately it works. That's why they do it. <laughs> Which, guys, why does it work? Who is this working on? There is a because, selection well, of the populace who legit is This video like... is for thinking people. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, but this channel isn't. But the point is that if you have a video that gets 50,000, 100,000 views, whatever it is, if just 1% of those people don't really think about subscribing, like they just don't, maybe they just go by their recommendeds or, and, and they just don't really go by actual subscriptions that they have. You're like, oh, oh, he said, yeah, I guess that's something I could do. Yeah, like I just don't typically do that. I suppose I could click the button, you know? I mean, only one, if that's 1% of people, you know, then that's, you know, X amount of people overall, you know? It's like those scam emails. They send out a million, mm. and there's 16 grandmas that can get just swept up by that thing, so. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully one of them is rich. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That works. And the bell, because on this channel, you will get a summary of the most interesting information about your favorite movies and TV series. Wow. That's, that's Subs exactly the kind of thing that I need. That sounds really useful. I, should, <laughs> I was actually going to say to you guys, don't you hate sounds... subscribing to channels that give you the non-interesting information? I love yeah, all the signposts. those guys. <laughs> like Patrick I need to... Like oh. all of them. <laughs> I need to sign up to the, the un-Patreon, where they have to pay me every month. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we call justice. Yeah, yeah. again, like I'm kind of justice. casually announcing that, it's like I have all the interesting information. It's like, all right, <laughs> Not all bad. right. Wait, did my TV just wake up again? No. Oh no! Was it saying? Waking up. Awaken. That doesn't sound very good. Feed me. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's going back to sleep. That's fine. I don't know Feed what weird I'm saying that activates it. Souls. Your TV is voice activated? activated? Apparently. It scares me every once in a while. That's I don't cool. Know. What, 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 I don't even need a remote. Talking? A boogie boogie boogie. I don't think that's the <laughs> thing. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, yes, no, it, is. it takes that's an average. I would put my, my TV on. Ooh, go, 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 go. And then it goes. Just, it turns on. <laughs> I'll set the, the past code to that in voice. It'll be perfect. If I can visit you and your TV doesn't go on, uh, turn on when I go, ooh, go, 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 then I'm going to be very upset. I'm just like holding the controller and I press the power button when you do it. And I'm like, oh my god, look at that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and we start. All right, let's do it. The parody of that series really was released at the very right time. Judge for the yourself, very right time. the Marvel Cinematic Universe has peaked in the crossover movie Avengers Endgame. Mm. The CW okay. series have converged no. in their large... No, why would you go oh, 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 oh. Come on, this is, this is the real parody it's of superhero stuff. <laughs> this, is... <laughs> this is aged well. Look at yeah. how good the CW is doing. Yeah. <laughs> Our just crossover in the Crisis Earth. on Infinite oh, Earths, and Warner oh, Brothers God. finally started making superhero movies. Finally, I mean, what do you mean? Huh? They've been making superhero really? movies for decades. Is, is that like a tongue-in-cheek? Like, yeah, I think it's like a tongue-in-cheek thing, I would say, mm -hmm. yeah. 
You're giving this guy way too much The credit. genre has already managed to form a certain tradition, a set a of plots, tradition. images, and techniques. And at some point... You're going to tell me what they are? This is like an AI. It's like an AI-generated <laughs> reading. All them. I was, Star Lord right. is wearing red because he's the hero. <laughs> <laughs> Rags, I legit, when, you, when you said that, I legit was about to be like, isn't this just like the shorts where it's just like this creature? It's not a it human. Sounds, it sounds like someone who was sort of taught English, but never was around anyone who spoke English, so they don't quite know how it works, so it's off. Well, they give you them know? all the lines on a piece of paper and they can pronounce them perfectly, they, they have no idea what they mean. They've only yeah, this is how you produce new course. dialects. Mm. Necessary to rethink new... and reform superheroics. And so, uh, when many began to demand reform super heroic, this is all. This is such a bizarre video. I mean, yeah, it's gonna distract me. What are you saying? Did someone man? order the word salad? Confused. It's gonna reform super heroics. And something like new from the genre, so they appeared. Some golden cat swoop out of the sky, save the day. Pause for copyright. Yeah, I guess because because he used a naughty word. Is that subversive there? Um, yeah. Have you ever heard a superhero say, "Can't"? Oh, you said the word. Wow. Yeah. yeah you're a superhero. So. What yeah. if a superhero is violent? So. Ooh. <gasps> That's oh really God. cool. But if you know how the shit they get up to. Oh yeah, because they all they all do the drugs. They all murder people randomly. It's it's really oh, well put crazy. together. crazy. I think oh, it's cool. subversive because he's got a lower class accent. Mm. Oh yeah. The Boys is an adaptation of the comic book of the same name by Garth Enos and Derek <laughs> Robertson. Enos. <laughs> Enos. Leave him alone. Oh, like Enos. Enos. <laughs> well, I thought it was Enos, Mr. not Enos. 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 It, it well, is like, Enos, but he pronounced Enos. it as Anus. It really sounds like you said Darth Enos. Darth Enos. Darth Enos. Darth Enos. Darth Enos the Dark. The brown I hope side that, of the right, that Mr. Is a and Mrs. Enos ability. have like a kid so, and name him like Patrick. So P. Enos is going to be <laughs> so we've following got... him around for those whole life in school <laughs> and stuff. Like, who's P. Enos? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> who's Penis? It's a world where there is a powerful corporation, Vought, which owns superheroes and wants control over almost the whole world. The super it's almost, almost the whole, the whole world. world. Almost and the whole world. And they can leave. Almost the whole world. Yeah, they left out a few They don't really more. want Barbados. They're just like, nah, oh. we don't need that part. Have you we hit the best animation yet? Just don't do it. Are you guys thinking yet? I, all of the <laughs> thoughts are coming in. They're flowing. We do right. It's thinking. building up. Look, these, this apple cider is currently robbing me of that think ability, but I'll, I'll try. Superheroes are not. Do you want noble to drink almost all the cider? Almost. Yes. Damn. Almost the almost entire all. cider. Almost the whole cider. <laughs> yeah, I leave a little bit at the bottom just so that I can drink it as one drink later. Mm. Bot, which owns superheroes and wants control over almost the whole world. The superheroes are not noble saviors, but superstars corrupted by impunity. Who are corrupted by impunity? Uh. Okay, yeah, that works. Mm. No longer interested in fighting crime, but going to the evening show, filming, and ratings. The tone of the, bo yeah, and the filming, boys and is ratings. Genuinely, because I, I even, I would defend that season one is good and everything, but like one of the lamest things about season one is basically every hero is bad except Starlight, which is like really. Yeah, you need something yeah. to balance it out. If yeah, it feels way it feels too like cynical all be to me. Bad. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I go as far as saying it's just um, like they overextended. Like, oh, all right. Everyone's yeah, at least in the comic, it's yeah. funny. Do I mean, you guys it, like the evening show right with back. Jimmy Fallon? Yes. The thinking Jimmy Man Fallon? show. He's, he's my favorite evening man show. Meh. Evening man. I'm the evening man. Evening man, run. Different from the man usual voice. superhero <laughs> canons. There is no colorful Marvel Studio attraction that offers to escape from reality. What the fuck what are mean? these sentences? It's escapism, <laughs> what does he mean? Wait, they make movies in The Boys about all of the superheroes, so that's wrong. Well, he's saying the content itself isn't escapism like Marvel's is, I guess, but like, I'd, I'd argue it is. Just because it's a, like... Oh, it definitely is. Just, just, just because it's upbeat. criticizing or even commenting on just, just a, a genre, why would that mean it's not escapism?
strange thing to say. Filming and he says ratings. Cunt Mauler, the that's tone of the boys is radically oh. different from the usual superhero. Yeah, you're not gonna hear Groot saying cunt. I am cunt. Funny, and that's James not for lack of mistake. Try. Yeah. I'm I sure someone cunt. out there has made that video. <laughs> Cannons. There is no colorful Marvel Studio attraction that offers to escape from reality or the dark pretentiousness of the DC films. Oh. Yo! Has, has this guy never seen Shout Watchmen? Out Zack Snyder. Clearly, I'm he, thinking I, now. This guy's oh, become the best man. reviewer. He, he, he's speaking my language. <laughs> Not really, sort of, but like he's trying to speak wavelength. it. Yeah, this guy he's doesn't know what Watchmen is, which is also made by Zack Snyder. Oh shit, go off, Keg. <laughs> In the first cunt. scene, the creators generally mix black humor with ex generally, <laughs> General, generally mix black humor. Generally. generally. <laughs> scene, the creators generally mix black humor. <laughs> Come on, that's you funny. must learn the English language, sir, before you speak it. It's an essential. Never change, I say. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd rather him mm. I like it. I'd rather you just, oh, it's that, just, you know, just a delight that, to hear him do his best. You know, it, 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 is, a, it is a dialect of sorts. Genuinely. With explicit scenes of violence and sex. And in the second <laughs> one, they fill the narrative with almost shit. In the second one. He referred to season two as the second one. In the, in the second, <laughs> second one. boys. <laughs> in that to say Shakespeare in, in the boys yes. too. I heard shakes. <laughs> I heard it. Yeah, go ahead, oh yeah, I'll rewind it, don't worry. This is pretty priceless so far, think. not gonna lie. And the I second one. Oh, wait, the second one. <laughs> the second one. makes black humor. <laughs> so funny. With explicit scenes of violence and sex. And in the second one, they fill the narrative with almost Shakespearean collisions. Ah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Shakespearean oh, collisions. Shakespearean collisions. It's like a car. I mean, I admit no. it's like a car crash in the second. When Shakespeare <laughs> famously collided with another playwright. I, did, is is that where Hamlet and Romeo like made out? That would be a Shakespearean collision. This is a crossover episode. Didn't we cover yes. someone recently who decided to refer to stories about the cosmos as Shakespearean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're Shakespearean in scale or scope. <laughs> we... Mahler is not. He is. He went longer than Shakespeare. He is not Shakespearean in scale. No, I've scope. yeah, I've, I've gone out of that. You did not have Shakespearean collisions in your in your six hour video. Yeah, there was a bracket like a Venn diagram. I was shot out of it. I'm nowhere near the one that. I'm yeah, okay. one of them is Mahler's videos. The other is Shakespearean collisions, and yeah. there's just clearly space between those circles. You are not. So Twitter is a Shakespearean way. tragedy. Huh. So, I, just so I haven't, I haven't a regular seen... tragedy. <laughs> yeah, it's like 9-11. <laughs> so I haven't seen the second one. What is he referring to you when he's talking the about boys these? Too? <laughs> the boys <laughs> too. <laughs> these collisions. The boys like too. what? It's what does so he mean by that? It's it's, like what... it's hard to pin down. I, I assume he. I assume he means conflict. Oh, conflict yeah, and probably. collision are probably like colli similar. But so collision sounds. More smarter? More Shakespearean. No, collision just sounds wrong, and this guy's not a native speaker. Yeah, but maybe he did some synonym searching or something and was like, that sounds better to me. Oh. He called it the second one, Rags. Come on. The second one. No, don't <laughs> yeah. say he called it this. I, I'm thinking he's. Yeah, I, I don't think that he's a native speaker of the language. He goes back and forth from like kind of flowerly over the top language to the second one. And did generally. you say flowerly? <laughs> Did I say I will flower all over his I'm lead. turning into Dang. him, oh no. Yeah, we're allowed he's to not, say yeah. stupid things now because we've been up for a million years. He's a step mm. above and a refined version. He's like, like the step above the guy, the Indian guy in Temple of Doom, who's just like phonetically reading his lines. Did that guy ever refer to season two as the second one? I don't think so. You will watch the boys, the second one, <laughs> and you will bring back our children. Good times. Bangkok if Palace. studio blockbusters often tell about the origin and formation of superheroes, then the okay. showrunner of the project, Eric Kripke, finds his characters in moments of deep crisis. The he finds his characters whoa, whoa. in moments of deep crisis. Mm. Did you just say, like, most of the time we see, like, their origins, but in here we see them at the... I don't, I don't know, like, having a crisis. Is that the point? Their second was Tony Stark not in insane. deep crisis when he was in the cave? Is that not a deep crisis? 
no. like deep in a cave. I don't even know what to say because if you if you really so like to an extent you're correct that most of Marvel's uh, characters are introduced with an origin story or whatever. But yeah, that was back in like 2008 through to 2000. When was Doctor Strange? 2014. So the boys came out. I think the first season was that like 2018 or something like that. Um, so what I'm trying to argue here is that he's like, see, we're 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 in the we're in the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. With the heroes are established. Like, you mean how all the Marvel ones are too? At that point, <laughs> yeah. Don't all their fucking origin stories. What do you mean? Look, if you're gonna highlight the differences, highlight the differences, please. Finds his characters no. in moments of deep crisis. It's like, like if you took that out of just as 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 it is, like we find these characters in deep crisis, like. I feel like we could describe everybody in the MCU that way, with mm -hmm. what they go through, but you know, I don't know. The superheroes in the Crisis on Infinite Earth. Yeah, She-Hulk's not in a crisis. crisis. He's, he's had more crisis than anyone. So he's just annoying. The boys resemble rock stars. They drink and swear. It's funny he says this oh, as no. if that moment in Iron Man 2 doesn't happen, where he playing fucking, like, rock and metal music at different times while celebrating to a whole crowd in a stadium concert thing. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, Tony Stark... Didn't he fuck the reporter in Iron Man 1? He did, yeah. So, Tony Stark, the, the <laughs> primary hero that the whole thing was, like, built on is a rock star. And he's like, yes, but this is different because these guys are all rock stars. True. I see. If you were to ask me, who is the kind of person who drinks and swears, I would have been like, I don't know, a pirate? <laughs> <laughs> I want a pirate superhero. <laughs> Rock star. Tony Stark so can funny. be a pirate with he a bunch of scraps. The Iron Pirate. But I don't want to be a pirate. <laughs> Everything special about you came out of that bottle of rum. <laughs> <laughs> they drink and swear, lie, and are hypocritical. Hip wait, wait, rock stars are just known for being hypocritical? Yeah, famously. <laughs> they <drive. Getty> Lee? <laughs> well, they're famously hypocritical. That's yeah. what get uh, rock stars Mercury are on the phone. famously hypocritical. Wait, there's that saying in this, like, you're being such a fucking rock star right now. And you're like, what does that mean? You're like, hypocritical. <laughs> what is this? Hypocritical. Knows. When someone says you're a rock star, they're not complimenting you. They're saying that you're a fucking drinking, swearing hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> you're a pirate. No, living that rock star lifestyle, lifestyle. always just. <laughs> well, yeah, it's true. I I follow it's this. True. Up. Seven, the local Justice League can be compared to the pantheon of ancient Greek gods. Both are far from the ideals of virtue. Both are overwhelmed by simple. Okay, I'm getting lost. I need to go back. <laughs> Sorry. Heroes. Then the Please, showrunner of the project, the Eric Kripke, finds his characters in moments of deep crisis. Okay. The superheroes in The Boys resemble rock stars. They drink and swear, lie, and are hypocritical. The members. <laughs> oh, I missed the lie part. They lie. Rock stars drink, <laughs> swear, lie, and are hypocritical. Also, wait. Some. How don't this apply to the MCU heroes? MCU heroes, do you guys drink? It's like, yeah, a lot of them, especially yeah, yeah, Tony. And then Tony Stark. Yeah. Right? Do they lie? It's like, yeah, totally. Some of the stories Tony's, are based on that show. Yeah, some of them lie. Rogers, yeah. yeah. Like, hypocritical? It's like, uh, yeah, a lot of the challenges they go through are about trying to challenge yeah, on fundamental differences. Yeah, one that pointed out how hypocritical Doctor Strange was. Yeah. yeah. She's great. That was a great Don't, don't Steve, uh, Steve and Tony fucking switch places from where their position started in their initial films. Like, that's part of the thing in Civil War, right? Where one Civil goes from being really, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, past the drunk slurring, uh, you know, one starts is like very like, you yeah, know, I, I go by the government and like, I'm, I'm with them. And the other one's like, fuck the government. And then they're like, they swap places by Civil War. That's part of the conflict there. Isn't that like part of what they're talking about? I don't know. Ignore me. Oh. They drink and swear, lie, and are hypocritical. The members of the Seven, the local Justice League, can be compared to the Pantheon. The local Justice League. I mean... I'll I mean, if it, you're I like in the immediate area, and there are no. We, yeah, he, he doesn't gosh. want local. He probably wants the equivalent of. This guy is not of... local. No. Oh, this is 
pros. He lives in a far away land. He's got some. This is this is the best part of the video is the surprise English mechanics we're getting. Yes, it really <laughs> is. It's given me a new energy just when I need it. It's this man has lived on the international uh, space station his entire yes. life. Bro, I knew it. <laughs> I've been there too. He was there. <laughs> I knew it. I recognize it. Theon of ancient Greek gods. Both are far from the ideals of virtue. Both are overwhelmed by simple human passions, and both do not care about ordinary people fundamentally. Why, why did you have so much footage of Starlight when saying all of the things that don't match your character at all? Because, because it, they don't care. Does it, just do you remember she's a member of the Seven or no? The local no. Justice League? <clears throat> Yeah. The local Justice League, yeah. <laughs> the local Justice League, I believe, is what they're called. The go, seven. go, Justice Rangers! Oh, you really dress the part. It's your old uniform, but I'm saving you it for a new pause. one. Jesus. They, they, you can't be playing clips like that. This was how my video was getting striked down all the time. YouTube Boo. comes after us. They're scared of our power. They are. <gasps> Our Do you power think to YouTube's gonna go all the destroyed. way to India or Bangladesh, wherever this is being made, <laughs> and be like, "Yeah, you can't do that show." I'm like, nah, it's up right there. Bangal. Hey, Starlight, show us your tits. Yo yo. <laughs> <laughs> this seems a little bit clug, like. This is really about the boys, they, you know, they, they're making points, but they're not exactly very good at it. They're not much better than what we get in the usual stuff. Mm. But they're like, yeah, but we're subversive. It's like, no, you're more, you're more reacting to what's become common, and people are going to react to that eventually. At times, the parody of superheroes even turns into deconstruction. For example, in scenes where superheroes sitting at their pretentious negotiating table discuss not incident pretentious the table. <laughs> he has very strong opinion. He has very strong <laughs> opinions about this table. Their pretentious negotiating <laughs> table. Is, does he table? mean that it's like a, it's absurdly big or or Probably, tidy, yeah. or it's just like shaped in a certain way that's not pretentious necessary. negotiating <laughs> table? Pretentious negotiating table. They should just rent out a cup. It's amazing. Deconstruction. For example, in scenes where superheroes sitting at their pretentious negotiating table discuss not <laughs> incidents in the world, but the filming of their adventures, in which they themselves Yeah, they discuss it's this is what it, this is what I mean about like why everyone went nuts with the boys and they didn't really quite follow along. So like one of the first scenes we get when she joins the seven is they're all surrounding the table. And I think um, immediately uh, Translucent's talking about the sales of his like figurines or some movie he's in or whatever. And then mm -hmm. someone else is like, yeah, you, know, you gotta get the deal for blah blah blah. And then Homelander is like, guys, guys, can we please not talk about stuff like that in front of Starlight? What will she think of us? And I remember just thinking to myself, like, this isn't a great start. Because if that was a genuine concern Homelander had, and he's a fucking psychopathic like leader to the point of he wants uh, Starlight to never find out that they're all just money-grubbing assholes, like, Surely you would keep them in better line than that, and surely it wouldn't be that common, because it seems to be like what they just tend to talk about. And none of them seem to want to yeah. hide it from Starlight, so there's definitely been no conversations about that. And Homelander reveals he's a complete psychopath to Starlight in like one episode, so... The way I saw it was just kind of lazy. It was like, we want to get it across to you straight away that they value the money way more than anything else. It's like, and you did that in the most obvious way possible. By the way, I like season one. And I don't think there's anything wrong with the way that they did that. I just mean, I don't think we should be treating this as some kind of, like, incredible deconstruction when it's literally, what if superheroes wanted money? Oh my god! Like, okay. Right that. Elves yeah. are going to act. At these moments, the irony over the genre reaches its maximum. Okay. By the way... I love it. The irony over the genre reaches its maximum. Uh, mm, I'm so that is excited. A I, I mean, he's been wait. giving us some interesting info, I think, so far. Would you not agree? Yeah, he really has, yeah. Don't forget to write in the comments which scenes of the series <laughs> you like the most. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We were I sure to... will. God, this just yells. Algorithm, notice yeah, me. I'm going Please, to no read artistry every to comment, putting it in. and I will respond to one of you about your opinions, maybe. Come. We read everything and like the Yeah, you do. Everything. <sighs> <What's it? laughs> everything. One of many one of your many comments will receive will earn the response of myself. The most interesting ones. 
The series has become a vivid challenge to all fans of the genre. Got Superhumans it? are evil, corporations have won, and superheroes and supervillains are, in fact, the same people. And ordinary citizens mean nothing to them. The audience was delighted. What about the, what about Starlight? I don't. Why are you not in the scene? Why does this have to do with the corporation? Hey, actually, sorry, I'm retarded. What about Maeve? Oh yeah. What about Maeve? You've got like the <laughs> lowest tier reading ever of just they're all horrible, horrible people, and this is a world where all of them hate everyone. You're like, like hang that. on. Starlight isn't like that. Oh, I just said like Maeve the, the is whole... more victim than anything else. Popeye the sailor is all right. Yeah, there's pirates out there who are good. Rockstar. Like the gentleman pirate. Pretentious no. people. Well, they're better than rock stars, yeah. That's You're true. Right. Why is he showing this when he was talking about how they hate everyone? Because oh, one of no. the most <laughs> evil characteristics that a villain can have Drinking is milk. that he, is he licks milk. He has, like a, he has a fetish for He has a milk fetish. He's crazy milk drinkers. Oh. Get rid of it. He's just wishing he could get it straight from the tap. Boys offered a different approach to superheroics, but did they? <laughs> what? Uh, wait, what? <laughs> they offered a new <laughs> approach, or did they? <laughs> I don't know. I came to your video to find so, out. Yeah, I mean, I'm literally, <laughs> you're, you're steering this, man. I don't secrets, know. Jimmy. Okay, so I figured that this was like an operation where someone had written a script and handed it to this guy to read, and then like someone else that edited it like a watch mojo situation this guy's got four thousand subscribers this isn't this is a one-man operation he's oh, written a God. script that it sounds like he you know hasn't written i almost respect him a lot more that he he really did put all this to, he probably believes in the points he's making they're just really bad or weird <laughs> very strangely phrased all yeah these are in fact the same people and ordinary citizens mean nothing to them the audience was delighted that the boys offered nothing. a different approach to superheroics, but did yeah. they? <laughs> oh, oh uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, it's like, we're going yes. to the supermarket. And you're like, okay, or are we? Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> are we? <laughs> <Tell> me, like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Please drive the ship. <laughs> Remember what the latest Marvel films talked about? What? Spider-Man no. Far From Home talked about the power of deception and the ease of influencing public consciousness. Captain Marvel okay. was about immigration <laughs> and how. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Not so really. the, the scrolls. Uh, yeah, I, I suppose this is about <laughs> allegories oh, that to be wall, drawn. Guys. I'm not sure, but I, that took uh, me off guard. I didn't. Uh, all right. Let's. We, uh, okay. That's okay. Something okay. you can read into, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Captain you Marvel you, says, "Build that wall. Go back build to where you wall. came from." <laughs> <laughs> it was easy to deceive soldiers by sending them into battle. But if the cinematic it's universe is criticized for the mid introduction of their topics, of the then the boys one, okay. are praised yeah, for the depth here? in which they do exactly the same things. We just presented them differently. Pause. For example, there is the main what character of the series. Animals. This is an unremarkable ah. Huey, whose girl is accidentally okay, killed okay. by a superhero. Okay. Oh, the it just said page is, is unresponsive, so hang on. Oh. Uh. Uh. Is it having a stroke, a seizure, an oh. electronic seizure? Is it working for anybody else? Of assets? Breaking for yeah, me. it's still working for me. Um, it looks yeah. normal it, right now, it's just paused. Oops. Yeah, it's oh. on the hand of sorts. Alright, hopefully yeah. hopefully we're back. Alright, because I really want to know what else he has to say about these. Yes. Spider-Man is cringy. Captain Marvel was about immigration and how it was easy to deceive soldiers by sending them into battle. That's a great <laughs> statement. Uh... I don't even... <laughs> Do you remember it was sending her into battle that got her to reveal her actual, like, fucking identity that kind of backfired? But if the cinematic universe is criticized for the monotonous introduction of their topics, then the boys are praised for the depth in what they do exactly the same things. So, what like, the, the fuck boys are you talking about? Dude, this what was that sentence? Uh, what the fuck? This is great. I really do need to hear that if again. Like, what you right is that. Like Marvel stuff is shallow and the boys is deep. The boys. Oh, I got is that. Deep. The boring. English was fascinating. I know. It's just I know. yummy. So, mm -hmm. it's not, so it's not just because of the alcohol in my brain. It's legitimately just that nonsensical. Good. Good. I think. <laughs> I think it's fair to assume a lot of us are very tired slash drunk, and therefore we may be misinterpreting him. Or this was a very unwise video to listen to last. <laughs> <laughs> we will do it anyway. I can't think no, hard no, enough. We will do it yeah. anyway. Yeah, we're it's very clear this caps man is on. a foreign. Got our thinking caps on, we got this. For the monotonous introduction of their topics, 
then the boys are praised for the depth in what they do exactly the same things. They just presented yeah, that's them. A word <laughs> wow, just just differently. For example, okay, there is the main character of the too. series. Huey. This is an unremarkable Huey, whose girl yeah, is accident an unremarkable Huey. <laughs> <laughs> of all the, of all the, the we haven't compared him to people or human beings. Of Huey all the Lewis Hueys the that yeah. are out there, yeah, Huey Maybe Lewis in the news is a know. remarkable Huey. Unremarkable oh, Huey sure. is in the first one. This and the Huey, second one. <laughs> this Huey is very average, um, mediocre, really. As far as Hueys go, Huey, this one is Huey, pretty mid tier. Huey, Huey. Unremarkable Huey. <laughs> pretty unremarkable for a Huey. <laughs> I mean, like for, like for a for a gym, he's a, he's pretty good. Yeah. Other Yui's, oh, he dominates notch. all the Just Krags. One, yeah. yeah, pretty unremarkable. You guys love Huey, right? It's your favorite character, Huey Nut. Well, he's not. He's I know he's he's a mid tier Huey. I have no remarks about him. Huey's penis. Mm. All right. For the series. This is an unremarkable Huey, whose girl is accidentally killed by a superhero. Wanting revenge, the guy joins the Avengers squad led by Billy Butcher and- Hey, they're the local Justice League. They're the local the Avengers, Avengers squad. They're the local the Justice lo League. We already had the, the local, local uh, Thunderbolts. The, the, oh yeah, the, the Justice League, the local Justice League, not to be confused with the local, yeah, Avengers. And together, they begin a crusade against the Seven led by the domineering Homelander. The series reflects on how ordinary people suffer from superhero fights. This topic has already been raised in movie comics, in the same Captain America in Civil movie War. Comics, wait, never movie comics? Wait, in movie in comics? Movie <laughs> comics. <What? laughs> Comic movies is probably what he should have said. Yeah, but Probably. movie comics is way I'm funnier. Confused. I like the movie comics with their Did fight no one stories. Did proofread this shit for him? <laughs> No, and he didn't while reading it, apparently. I, I <laughs> I'm so confused. Is, like, English not his first language, and he, like, no. used Google That's Translate? I don't think this human man was his natural. first language. This man's absolutely a foreign. He, he's, he's doing his best, though. <laughs> he's from but the he planet Zygar. American Zygar. accent. Zygar. He's the last Golthraxian from Obglanov Prime. Mm. On the continent of Zyakolank. Seeking asylum here on the human world, Earth. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, the, dude, you know when he's like, they are on planet Mars. That's one of these sorts of vibes <laughs> yeah, where they, he's there. like, wait, what? <laughs> Why did you say that that way? Uh, Victim has become the main character of such stories. Huey's storyline is not only a story about growing up, but also a story of human resistance to a system that is easily projected on the real world. <laughs> human resistance <laughs> to a system that's projected on the real world. I guess he means to say that the, the system has a lot of power that is felt in the world and is controlling things and doing on stuff. On the real world, not the fake world. The real world, not like the virtual world of the metaverse. I, uh, sure. Yes. Real word. All right. Yarth. Yeah, definitely. What is reality? That's what he's saying. That's what, yeah, that's I, what, I that is what that's he's true. saying. That's what he's saying. That is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. A lot of money, Huey. Oh, yeah, that's what he's saying. We could really use it. Thank you, I Simon. I'm going to pause because it gleams. It's Huey that can. Dad, they killed her. Yeah. Be realistic. Only at first glance, The Boys is just a humorous, bloody story that parodies the cliches of a humor. I love humorous, bloody stories. <laughs> my kind of humorous stories are the bloody ones. I, I prefer those with pirates. There, yeah. Pirates and bloody pirates. humor. I love uh, it. Cliches of superhero cinema. Behind the outright mockery of the genre, important topics are hidden. Even when the mm, camera focuses on playing? how someone's head explodes, the series tries to give really important comments on the most acute problems of the modern world. Like, what? Your oh head. God. Oh, nice. <laughs> when someone's head explodes, they're still talking about small problems in the world. What? I like this the implication that brain. this is like hidden messages. If you look deep into the story, you can find them. Yeah. This <laughs> is what I mean. Like, really I don't think real. anybody, even the people who adore the boys, would call it subtle. Just not. It yeah. really isn't subtle enough. More like a sledgehammer to yeah. the brain, really. We are going to hold hearings on oh, and Compound B. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Go, go, 
post for copyright. Wait, wait. Flim flam, dingle dangle. So long. So long. Comic movies. Are so long. What up? Hey, everyone. Importance. Oh, <laughs> text oh, on importance. screen. And Today, uh, we'll be talking in. about the theme of importance. What is makes important important theme? Can you be sure that there's a theme as opposed to just the word importance showing up for a little bit? <laughs> no, I think it's it could just be random. Yeah. That's, that's, the first, be... that's the first text on screen I've seen so far. And we've, he's dropping we've... it like halfway no, through the video. No, he started off with one. Oh, he started it? with something of heroics. Well, heroic, I will say... Oh, heroic, uh, you're right. Heroics. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we've had a distinct lack of word on screen in this anniversary stream. Like, oh, like wow. I <laughs> I've missed well, them. Well, now we're making up for lost time. Do you remember him putting in man. We yeah. Are Captain America or whatever that quote? He didn't put that in on the screen when we covered the, the superhero one. We, we, what was it? We can do this all day. That we great. can do this yeah. all day. Oh, oh yeah. my Bang god. And we are group. Why must you remind me of that? I'm cruel. I, I drank it away. You brought it back. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> By the way, are you live, ER? He didn't uh, make Schrodinger's it. Schrodinger's ER. I think he died. Did he sleep? That's okay, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. He's allowed to sleep. He's earned it. He's allowed to. He didn't I might die in back. a few minutes. He sleeps with his eyes open. I picture him with a little cuddly ER doll or something. He's <laughs> <laughs> not about to. Well, that's okay. The main bad guy of the series is not even some sadistic supervillain, but the Vought Corporation, which makes toys, movies, and TV. I mean, it's, it's Homelander and then the head of Vault, <laughs> so what do you yeah. mean? It's like saying it's the corporation when as soon as someone who's not a dick is in control would make it better. I just... Uh, just uh, that opens up a huge conversation. So. <laughs> yeah, but more, they make toys. The cunts. Yeah, toys. TV shows and constantly monitors ratings. Vaught is a vivid caricature of modern film studios. Eric Kripke shows how vivid. managers and producers work Exposes the. I think the only name, the real person name he said is Kripke's name, and he said it twice. I mean, yeah, he hasn't said Mar Well, he said Enos, didn't he? Enos, yeah, he hasn't Enos. said it enough. Enos. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said Enos, yeah. Process of creating superhero films and demonstrates how the industry is connected with politics. Dude, I'm, uh, this is kind of what I mean. Like, it, it, like we're building a scene where we're going to make it so that it's really like all about superficial things and appealing to what people like. How should we how should we write and it's like oh we should make it so that she's got to put her boobs on on more like noticeable we got to do uh what, what else can there be it's like oh they gotta uh they gotta wear their hair in a certain way demographically with percentages and i'm just like this is all fine like how is this like the super stimulating subversive parody content it's like really just... this does not break yeah. new ground it seems it pretty normal very to me thoroughly on same ground what if they were like movie stars, but even more cynical and like tacky? And you're just like, yeah. Oh, so Booster Gold. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Kripke shows the danger lies not only in the fact that corporations begin to control virtually everything from alcoholic beverages to show business, but also in the fact that a large capital joins with the army and becomes a dangerous military force. All this leads to a fairly obvious conclusion. The Boys yeah. is a series about a crisis of trust in media oh, okay. and corporations. Okay. Mm. Oh. Oh. That's, that's, that's clever. Ugh, I just, uh, I thunk so hard there. All right. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. I am willing thunk. to give you a three-year exclusive contract with full PR support and... Gotta go. Careful. Speaking of long, mm -hmm. man. I'll just run these scenes. Nuts. There's lactation in that contract. Good. Um, rolling <laughs> in there, yeah. And I'm gonna give you nine and a half points of the merchandising. Superheroes being the main product, the infernal creature of this system. Infernal creature the of no. the system. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you gotta calm down, mate. You, uh, you That's a chill. good line, though. I like that. I'm it mean? That one. <laughs> They're all infernal, the infernal creatures. Creature of the infernal system. creatures from the Do not really house. save anyone. If we They do. They do. Totally do. See such episodes, then there are people with professional shooting equipment nearby. Basically, it's 
professional, professional shooting, shooting equipment. <laughs> gun, I, does he mean a gun? A professional, gun, a professional shooting, shooting equipment? equipment? <laughs> the gun, no, they're not talking gun. about cameras. They're talking about guns. That's even worse. Uh, professional shooting equipment. When you say it like that, I want to think like cameras. Oh shit! Was yeah. he talking about cameras? Right. He course, was. Yeah. yeah he's he's cameras. Cameras. Oh shit! So Maybe he equipment. does mean cameras. He no, definitely he does. does. He does. Yeah, we're getting all the good oh, freeze frames today. I'm I'm really happy with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy. Wow, look at that one. Yeah. Just having some fun. kind of public nice story that can be shown on TV. A public, a public, public, public nice, nice story. <laughs> what? A pretty public. That's a public nice story. A public nice story. A public oh, nice guy. story. Oh, what uh, even? What does that mean? What's he That's going great. for there? <laughs> it's public nice story. Is that, is that his way of saying propaganda? Like, yeah. <laughs> public nice story. Nice, public nice story. story. <laughs> so there are words oh. for these things in this video. He comes this from guy, a country where on. good news is propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> this guy owns a thesaurus for sure. <laughs> uh, you know, he's, he's got something. He's got, a, he's got an approach, and I like it. I'm a big fan. Is the main claim is that Vaught is constructing a fake television reality that isn't relevant to the present. I think he here. meant representative of reality, but he's in relative yeah. to the present. Relative to the present. <laughs> so, so there's the meme blender, and then there's the word here. blender. This is here. wonderful. This, I love it. Like, this is an alien trying to imitate video essays. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I think public nice right. story is one of my favorite things of all public time. Nice this like, nice. is so <laughs> they try, they just this look at them go oh. spit in their public oh. nice stories. <laughs> <laughs> it just washes oh, over you, you know, just... ...of this system, do not really save anyone. If we see such episodes, then there are people with professional shooting equipment nearby. <laughs> Basically... Fuck me, this sentence structure <laughs> I swear is... I thought he meant guns, and then I was like, oh wait, he might mean cameras. <laughs> <laughs> because I can totally <laughs> believe <laughs> him oh, yeah. looking are at a gun and be like, ah, oh, professional this shooting you equipment. you remember this? Like, well, just, shooters in position. Just re-upload the video at that point. Yeah. Lee, it's some kind of public <laughs> nice story that can be shown on TV. <laughs> that is, the main claim is that Vaught is constructing a fake television reality that isn't relevant to the present. <laughs> Pay attention to how the picture changes when we switch to recordings from TV cameras. Bright colors and a positive attitude appear, which are not present oh, in so the rest of the series. Positive attitude. <laughs> now. Positive attitude. <laughs> That's me in two hours. Oh, we, yeah, we're get, we are <laughs> two I'm hours negative ten minutes. Up here is they're getting close. Even the costumes are starting to look more decent. Don't you have some kind of feeling of what? fake irregularity of these? The fake irregularity. <laughs> oh, he's having que he's asking questions like, don't you have like don't you keep have up. the feeling of fake irregularity? Why do we choose this video for this uh, hour? It's perfect. <laughs> this is amazing. I think it's like a perfect mix of nonsense for right now. I, I, yeah, I, I can't keep up with these sentences. They're just so. Mm, I, I can't delicious. think hard enough. Darmers, I'm just so tired obviously, it make that's sense. what it is meant to be. The worst sin of the Vought Corporation is that it tries to create the illusion of sincerity. All the characters the in front of the sin? camera imitate. What about wow, the they're doing people. pretty well. <laughs> yeah, they're doing pretty well there. Bring up all the murders and the cor the, the corruption. No, it's the fact that they pretend to be nice. Murder is not all the horrors that they conduct. Like quieting and the those damn oh, toys. Well, do you remember the fact that they? <laughs> damn did, toys. Didn't they like kidnap and experiment on babies to create soups? Isn't that a whole thing? Yep, no, that's fine. fine. Mm -hmm. I yeah, that's like, cool. Babies. I feel like yeah, that's but the, they didn't. Yeah, the, yeah. At least they were being sincere about it. Ah, yeah. I was like, hey, we got your babies. <laughs> well, they put out some public nice stories, so people didn't believe all the time. <laughs> 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 real emotions. Oh no, my but when emotions looped. really come out, the local Wonder Woman, on the contrary, shouts to get the cameras Wonder out. Woman. Because Wonder nothing, Woman. even a little that. bit of the real thing, should be transmitted into traditional media. Okay. In addition, we. are I mean, like, he said it in a real gobbled kind of way, but it's just like, yeah, that is what happens. She's, she's like, on camera being like, look at me, I'm awesome, and then the cameras go off, and she walks off, and she's having an argument 
the girlfriend and things are unhappy and then camera guy's like i'm looking at you and she's like you stop that stop recording me so i mean like so it stops being there's a public nothing, nice story there's nothing to misunderstand yeah. about all of that it's like i i see she's i don't know i can't keep up with this at all i haven't even seen the second one <laughs> Oh, we, I've seen yeah, the seen third the one. <laughs> public nice story. The real thing should be transmitted into traditional media. In addition, we are shown many other problems relevant to modern society. For example, the theme of sexual violence, which becomes the starting point for the evolution of several heroes, is a reflection of the processes associated with the Me Too movement. Oh okay. <laughs> okay oh, then. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. That's pretty clever. <laughs> if I ever really thought, I have to do pause and then. Oh my goodness gracious! He's going to talk and then they're going to be like, "You're know, stealing our cool. television, the second <laughs> television series. You're stealing." Now, why is rubbing my hair? There's professional shooting equipment everywhere right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a public nice story. <laughs> <laughs> You're falling for someone else. Anthony Starr has expression. I just, I don't think I can handle it. Is that so? You and me, we're different. Better. The criticism of traditional masculinity, which is closely related to the evolution of superheroes, plays an important role in the uh, series. All right. Um, <laughs> that's a that's a statement to unpack there. I always hate how he holds his phone whenever we see him do it. Caleb and <laughs> you're hitting me. Nobody holds a phone like that. Like, what if he <laughs> actually holds phones like that, though? He's Are you going to, like, hunt him down? Face. I need to kill him if he does that in real life, yeah. Oh, no. No, in, like, okay, a nice way, in Minecraft. Oh, okay. Say. The kids say okay, this just, kill just him so we're clear. Him. Show him how to do it in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. The inconsistency of the conventional male image is interpreted by two figures. There are Homelander and Butcher. Even if the, the second one... male images? No, I guess. No, he's well, unremarkable. He's unremarkable, no. Huey. Please, Huey. Huey. Oh, <laughs> you forbid oh, him oh. by his name. Unremarkable, <laughs> unremarkable Huey. Huey. I have nothing to say about him. <laughs> you might his even say like there's nothing to remind. Dash B. He's just really unremarkable. He's just stands here. And seems to be a defender of justice. His methods differ little from the villainous ones. The problem of sexual minorities in the context of the entertainment industry. Sexual, sexual minorities. minorities. Gays? Sexual Does minorities. he mean gay people? <laughs> sexual minorities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my well, god. You see, he, oh, uh, in his home country, oh he's not god. allowed to say the word gay. I just, you can say gay! It's, it's outlawed out out in his country. He has to say sexual minorities. It makes me think that in what he's trying to say are minorities that get sexual, <laughs> which sexual must mean minorities. gays. Like, <laughs> Like horny like Mexicans. Yeah, you're, always always Mexicans. you're allowed to say the words associated. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, oh, you're allowed crisis. to say it. I won't it report doesn't... you. Not remain without as, attention. Crippy Whittley shows how large companies exploit the social agenda and make money on other people's problems. The All boys right. criticizes the hypocrisy of big studios, and this is how they, for example, Parody Marvel and DC's attempts to plead, but then they did it. They parody it, yeah, and, and then they did they it unironically, yeah. though. Yeah, this scene right here, they did it in the show. It was. Oh, do you remember those times where everyone was loving Stormfront as well? Was the one that said the women get it done thing was retarded, and it was like, hey, this is cool. They are just like me. I also agree that Avengers woman scene was cringe, and then yeah. the boys were literally like. <laughs> well, no, it was right. Women do get it done, and Stormfront's a Nazi. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, it shit. Out, it turns out, it's it's weird that they made the person who was right a Nazi. That's kind of strange. Remember, right? She's the one that's critical of the writing. That? She's the one that points out inconsistencies uh, in the script. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I remember. Now. Very strange. Oh, no. This is what a very Nazi strange. would do. Uh, like, Nazis nice. were Maybe very, they're saying very, Nazis are right. Yeah, I don't know. Writing focused. Hmm. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> well, I said Hello, okay. maybe okay. Nazis are right, and then he it woke came him back up. to life. <laughs> did, you go to the, did you go to the Betty Bye? He is a Oh, uh, my puppy needed attention, and he right. might need more attention, so I might have to leave.
at All this right. very moment. That is absolutely fine. Thanks for hanging out with us for a million years. We're we got another no hour and a half, a little bit over that, something like that. We're getting there. We're almost there. Yeah. I'm All sorry. right. Well, I'm sure you can make it. You good luck. Yeah. Have good luck with that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Catch you around, Shadowman. Bye. Bye. See you all you later. Boy, boy. Boy. I'm boy. gonna leave too. I'm about to pass out, man. That's all good. We're we're reaching the fumes part of the dream. Mm -hmm. How much longer yeah. do you have left? Well, oh, good luck to you guys. <clears throat> Congrats on the two hundred, and I guess I'll see you at three hundred. Oh, yeah. hell yeah! Who knows? Thank you for it, tagging it, out. It, it, it seems to be a, a hundred episode trend, so I'll see you at three hundred. Yeah. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. She does come on normal episodes too. Does she remember? No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Obviously, I, her memories. Are I'm. Broke. I was on a hundred in this one, and that's it. I was. Yeah, you fucking. I've. I used to try invite you on all kinds of episodes. You're just. Yeah. You're, oh, you're oh, big shot busy. YouTuber. Oh. Busy talking about House of the Thrones or whatever. <laughs> House of Thrones. The Game of Dragon show. Yeah. But anyway, let us continue this adventure. He's a feminist audience. <laughs> Is he actually going to show them say girls get it done and try to argue that that's this show saying girls get it done is cringe? How do, how do you... How does... How? Oh. You know what? I, I love the defense of this. We, this. This is just digging up old wounds again. But everyone was like, this one works because it makes sense that everyone's here. Maeve fucking like, teleports sure to that? get here. Yeah. And Stormfront just doesn't use her flight. Just getting beaten up because... It's it's just like Wanda. When Wanda gets punched and kicked over and over again in Multiverse Matters, like, what are you doing? And then she finally remembers, oh yeah, I have telekinesis. It's like, yeah, there you go. Oh, nice. <laughs> Might just help you. Do you remember Stormfront, like, took the, uh, Kimiko's brother, who's like a telekinetic, she just, like, broke his hands, and then... did she, like, rip off his face or his head or something? This show is such an asshole. Someone posted this in relation to ER leaving. I don't know why they would do that, but, you know... I give it them, you know... Hmm. There is also the topic of drug addiction, the underside of the sports industry, and the crisis of the church, which is radicalized and be- Dude, come on. The church episode was was like, religion sucks and it's hyper-hypocritical. Next. Like, oh. Next. All right. Lol. Lol, every atheist argument from 2008. Here yeah, that speech that Starlight gives is like, ugh. All right, yeah. Becoming an individual brand. Coming. The same Starlight gets a reprimand from the authorities because of the critical, unpleasant questions that she asks on the stage of a Christian event. What's immoral is the guy who shoved his dick. Uh, yeah. In my uh, mouth. I just don't... These are all, like, just, you know, they're pretty basic approaches. I don't see why Marvel had, can't be considered to do just as well with the themes they cover, at least in the good ones. You know, like the second one or the third one. Have you considered second Dick? Marvel. Yeah, the second Marvel. In my face. Or any of the movie comics. Oh, in, in face, not mouth. But face is on my <laughs> Shit. No one has any answers on how to live properly. Nobody's perfect. There's the old what? biblical no wisdom. Perfect. Thou shalt not make unto the thee any graven perfect. image. The whole series shows us that TV stars with an ideal image whom you want to listen to that? I feel like I just had a bunch of bullshit leaped into my brain and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, he, I, I mostly followed it. It's not exactly... I just, I, look, some of this stuff that he says isn't wrong. Okay, He's just a very strange he's just man. He's describing what happens, sort of, generally. Yeah, he's not, yeah, he's not explaining why yeah, it was well I, executed. He's explaining what they did. Um, and some of it's yeah, hyper no, obvious, like I, I said, yeah. so I don't really take issue. It's just like, yeah, that's, that's one of the things they're trying to say. They're definitely trying to say, like, be careful who your heroes are, sort of shit. Well, there's a better way of saying that. Into <laughs> and whom you want to look up to are actually scoundrels. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be that bad. I guess I told you, Starlight, is, her whole arc in season one is, she's, like, offered the path of becoming a cynical asshole, and she chooses not to. And then in season two, they destroyed her. Yay. Hmm. Gonna kill a guy And even randomly. some priests are among them. 
It's a fantastic. <laughs> yeah. We got fire. And even if they are not really scoundrels like Queen Maeve, oh. then people are Wait, no Queen less Maeve confused and doubtful. What? Is Queen Maeve a scoundrel? Am I well, you just said even if they're not one like Queen Maeve, which, by the way, oh, okay. he contradicts what he said earlier. And she's complicated because uh, I think she gets off a little too scot free in the boys as a show. She's been getting away for years uh, with like allowing all this bullshit to happen. And then if you remember mm -hmm. the uh, the airplane scene where Homeland is like, "Are you gonna die with them or are you gonna come with me?" And then she just like leaves. And, and you know, you you could be like, "There's there's more." What I'm trying to suggest is that. Heinous shit happens under her watch, and she doesn't do shit about it, because it's convenient for her not to. <clears throat> scoundrels. And even some priests are among them. And even if they are not really scoundrels <laughs> like Queen Maeve, then people are no less confused and doubtful. What That's did you so say really with your I words? Don't, I don't know. I guess she's not making a difference. She's not clearing up this, this naughtiness that they're doing. But, like, people don't know about it. Oh, yeah, I think right. that's the point that he's trying to make is that even oh. if like she's not coming clean about it all or telling people I see dun, 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 As you can dun. see the boys are not against the genre, but against the very structure of society the so Oh What? Apparently the boys are what? being critical we live of in a society, society as a whole. I guess we really are the boys now. Yeah Yeah, we Probably are the boys, sort of the boys. Society we point. live in right now Okay, we've talked about the bad guys. And who are the good guys then? Is there a weapon against bad television? Yes, what? there is. Called EFAP. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> a weapon against is there a weapon against bad television? Yeah, it's called EFAP. Or a gun. <laughs> I don't know. That's true. <laughs> as soon as something in the series gets into you phone cameras, it immediately equipment. becomes a problem. This is the real thing, which is what? dangerous for the corporation. Even a superhero can be threatened with Twitter. But even here, <laughs> <laughs> okay. we cancelled Superman. Did you see Superman? <laughs> what he said about it? like, oh no! <laughs> the, reminds me of the Injustice now. comic where, um, like Batman goes through all this effort to to sabotage this fucking broadcast where Superman's going to reveal his identity, and then Superman just goes on Twitter and says Bruce Wayne is Batman, <laughs> and he can't stop it. Wow. It's not so simple, because with the help of social networks, you can also manipulate public opinion. In the second season, we are shown how you can just destroy a person's reputation with memes. With shitty memes. <laughs> with the worst, oh my God. Cringe, memes. The crappiest boomer memes you could imagine. Uh, very painful. In a few hours, with the help of a couple of memes. You spent $273 million on that Saving America bullshit, and I am running circles around you with five guys on laptops churning out memes. Fucking awful memes. Oh, it was uh, so painful. What a Nazi. To this. Never underestimate the power Nazi of a memes. shit meme. Yeah, but when they're self aware shit, that's different. Yeah. This those boomer tier shit memes you never see. This once again shows why the boys is an actual yeah. series in our time. Because an it, actual yeah. series in our time? <laughs> boys, <laughs> wait, 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 exist. what? It Legend. certainly is one of the most shows ever made. <laughs> yeah, he just did the thing. It's like this is one of the most <laughs> films of all time. Why is the World Trade Center on my screen? No, I, meme, stop it. Well, wait, it depends. Let <laughs> yourself. Let's get a fuller context. What's he saying? This once again shows why The Boys is an actual series in our time, because it also <laughs> denies inexpressive <laughs> television, as today's shift of content and Instagram stories and some kind of uncensored Wait, life do. What? 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 Today's <laughs> shift of <laughs> what? <laughs> Can we slow old the... <laughs> What the All fuck right. was let's said? Let's just give then. it a slow old find. A yeah. slow old. Let's go. Couple of memes. You spend two hundred and seventy <laughs> oh, with five. This once again shows where the boys is an actual yep. series in our time. 
<laughs> because it also denies time. It is in Iron vibes. Yeah. It's an in our time. Do you think he, so much better? Do you think he doubted whether it was real? <laughs> this actually was a show. Wait, this show actually exists. <laughs> this is one of the most series of our time. <laughs> one of the most actual, actual series. Of show time. now. Actual series like, in our time. Like baby. listening to it is a. Uh, Fascinating, honestly. You. Yeah. With five guys on. Tell about the babes. Shows <laughs> for the boys. Five guys on. No, whatever. We'll start here. Turning out. Everything memes. is funny now. This once again shows for the boys is an actual series in our time. <laughs> because it also <laughs> denies inexpressive television, as today's shift of. Denies inexpressive, inexpressive television. television. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, God, what does content Instagram stories and some kind of uncensored life do? What the boy? What? <laughs> what was that visual? <laughs> you can't just you finish speaking and then it just shows a trade jump uh, <laughs> and some kind of. Uncensored life do. <laughs> <laughs> uncensored life. Most do. bizarre choice of visual in the <laughs> gap <laughs> there. Uncensored <laughs> jump. Uh, I love it. Boys actively uses the aesthetics of modern corrupt media. Yeah. Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> and Facebook memes, broadcasts on social networks. Television broadcasts, reports, even recordings box? made on the phone are full fledged narrative tools that make the boys yeah, closer to our real reality. That's, that's, and not that's normal. That's that's not deep. That's that's pretty standard that people do that. Oh no, they're using yeah. the things that are in the life that is real of world. You see, metal. Metal no. doesn't understand that this is an actual piece of media of our time. That's true. Are yeah. you sure about that, Rags? Can you be certain of that? I have not did the thunkings yeah. to move. Is he still it just denies talking about an expressive one, or is, television? Is the first one an actual series in our time as well? Or just the second one? It was just the second one. Oh, oh yeah. definitely, yes. Uh, yes, certainly. <laughs> definitely. Oh, man. Another way. As a meme connoisseur, As if I and I were going to eat MREs and piss in a ditch with the rest of the yeah, just pause and piss. Yeah, hi, we're filming right now, excuse me. Also, you might recognize Army Boy as hotel clerk number Hello? two from- Man, he's playing a lot of this clip. Dangerous. Yeah. Your video, so you don't want people to not be able to hear your message. That's true. The excuse Devil's okay. Breath, right. episode of Criminal Minds Beyond Borders. Well, hello. Still going. Yeah. Be careful, I'm just saying. Let me for and less of my video, just, you know. There we go. Oh. Oh, wow. Wait, so what have we done in totals of topics? Importance and visuals? I think my brain's melting. Was there other ones? I don't remember. Uh, those are the only other chapter breaks, yeah. What's that? Oh. Yeah, then. The color palette of the series consists of deliberately dim shades, we which contrast with this. the colorful Marvel films or the matte gloom but of DC. It's pretty funny. Marvel films are criticized, yeah, for having subdued color palettes. They're subdued. They are criticized by lesser video essayists. Yeah. This man. This is this is an actual <laughs> video of our time. Yes. Have you heard of Zack Snyder's <laughs> Justice League? Justice is black and white. The is two main color black? schemes are blue green yeah. and yellowish blue. Yellowish blue. <laughs> yellowish. Yellowish. No way. No, no way. Justice is gray. Uh, bluish green and yellowish blue. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This sounds like a more effective, quicker way to say yellowish. It's yellowish. Dude, <laughs> yellowish. What are we doing? I don't know. Our videos, where we are when this loudly, but not shouting. In his videos, inventing new colors. When that's was the last time crazy. you invented a color for a video? <laughs> say, that's pretty fucking wild. <laughs> 1973. Took a little off from this man. 
Such a dirty picture is a conscious move away from the superhero gloss. The viewer understands from the very first seconds that he finds himself in a gloomy and comfortless world. A handheld camera also... I mean, no. What about a comforting gloomy and world? comfortless world? Just no. I don't agree with that at all. It also brings yeah. viewers closer to the heroes. It creates the effect of presence in the scene and... Creates the effect of presence in the scene. <sighs> Once again, emphasizes the reduced, realistic aesthetics of the show. Reduced, the action aesthetic. of the boys is intentionally realistic, and big action scenes can be counted on your fingers. Realistic? Uh, so wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Can be counted Real action on your scenes fingers. can be counted on your fingers, so there's no more than ten. I guess, and why, why would you show this when he's <laughs> the penis man <laughs> no, grabbing the man. What's up? They're intentionally oh, realistic the... as the extendo penis strangles Emma. <laughs> Why did you do that? But those that are present and not striking in the extent, but shocking in their absurdity. <laughs> Jesus, what was this? What? I did... Too many words. <laughs> it's too hard to follow. And ingenuity. In the series, heads just burst. Characters get a chase involving a whale, and Butcher uses a baby with superpowers as a weapon. There are also scenes using slow-mo. It's a kind of parody. Realism right now? I have no this idea. Is not... We're just running around all kinds of parody. There's a whale. This is not realism. There's a whale. There's a whale. There's a whale. There's a fight involving a whale. Of Zack Snyder's favorite time. technique. In addition, composer oh. Christopher Reynolds constantly makes fun of Hollywood soundtracks, exposing the superficial pomposity of musical images and blockbusters. What the All fuck these are you saying? What uh, the fuck pomposity. are you saying? Can you give me an example? Oh God. No. Yeah, I thought he was going to play an example there. Techniques are needed to more clearly show the reality in which the characters live. On the one hand, we see a vivid media image of superheroes. On the other, there is a repulsive reality. This is most evident in the scenes with the shooting of a documentary film, when fiction and reality collide in following frames and even the aspect ratio changes. Among all the important ideas raised okay. in the series, perhaps the most valuable one is that the main characters can be ordinary people who just take matters into their own hands. They are not perfect, often make mistakes, and have a dark past. Why does he... So there isn't anyone else. That, that's... Yeah, that's... They are all... Narratively speaking, they are all ordinary people who are given powers. Mm -hmm. Or rather, uh, there's no. I guess uh, what else is there? I mean, they are just who are given things, and then they, they are just because that's you know, the boys. Just like it's just people that are given powers; they all have issues. I like, but I mean, the Marvel universe is that too. They're all people with issues. Starlight, today's protagonist, refuses the messianic task that Thanks. he has tried Thanks. to assign. He wants Wait, to stay real. Messianic huh? task? Uh. Messianic task. Interesting phrasing. And ordinary. Perhaps the most difficult thing in modern realities is to remain a human despite everything. But okay. it would be. <laughs> remain a human? Okay. Remain a human despite <laughs> everything. That's been really hard to do during this stream. I'll give him that. <laughs> remain yeah, human. Day, day, day by day. Despite every guys man, still human? Please remain human. Uh, Everything's happening, man. I'm surprised I'm still a human, dude. Okay. I need uh, to go... I've been turning into a slug myself. I need to go for what should hopefully be my final pee before the end of our streaming. So you guys just okay. talk about being human or Alright. Hello. Well, I, I do I, like human music. I don't music. know what it's like to be human, actually. Human music is cool. I've heard a lot of human music. Yeah. Some of it's good, but human some of music. it's bad. I now like just to get out the music. Rick and Morty joke. Now Earth music. Boop, 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 boop. I like this Earth music. I like it. Yeah. I like it. The Me, fuck are you doing? I haven't name. even left yet. Stop. I'm making Earth music. I'm spaz it out. Yeah. To annoy spaz. people. Fuck. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go pee. This video seems like the uh, epitome of word salad. Yeah. Lots of purple prose, convoluted sentences that completely obfuscate the point. Yeah, if we do... if we do try to ignore all that and focus on what the point is, the point seems to be that like, oh, the boys is more realistic because it's dark. That's good. Yeah. All you've highlighted you've highlighted there the the points that are being made in this video are far shallower than uh what hmm. you might think, given how they're said. 
It's like the worst of both worlds. A simple yeah. idea conveyed mm. co- in a convoluted fashion. Love yeah. it. Like the boys. Uh, I think a little bit. Yeah, I guess you could say that because the boys doesn't have anything profound to say. No, at all. Like it really doesn't. It's it's like this is the the surface level satire of superhero stories. Like one of the things, one of the things I don't like about it, and especially the way he's talking about it here, is that like, oh, this is realism. Like the the Marvel stuff, that's all like fake optimistic. It comes across as juvenile. Yeah, (laughs) yellowish blue. Oh boy! (laughs) Surely, okay. If you're gonna if you're gonna criticize like the mainstream Marvel stuff for like not addressing some of the darker sides of what these stories would probably entail. Like surely the boys isn't optimistic enough to be realistic. It's too, it's very cynical. It's very like, I don't know. Zach. I think, um, I think the boys, I would consider the boys to be a pretty immature show in a lot of ways. Like whenever there's these explosions of gore, the always come. Yeah. Across to I like, like I just don't, I really don't like it. It's just, it just comes across as juvenile. Like, oh, look at all the gore. And I'm like, eh. It's well, like, like, it's like hey, look, this is violence. You're trying too hard. Look at what we can show. Yeah. Is like, eh. Well, okay. Yeah, fine. That you think that. But let me sell you on this, Rags. In The Boys, the third one, it opens with a man jumping inside a penis and exploding it. <laughs> can you say that again? No. I think they're trying to do the Thanos. <laughs> they did, yes, they were thing. doing the Thanos thing. Yeah. Oh, so oh, so no. funny. Funny, 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 so funny, funny, funny. And yes, much more realistic and deep. Penis mm. explosion, yeah! Wrong Jeez. to say that The Boys completely cancels out the rest of the superheroics. This <laughs> series is part of a large, plastic genre that is still developing and still has a huge number of fans around the world. If you click on this icon, you are finding out everything oh, about it. the history of the development the of film comics. Everything? <laughs> what? what? Damn. Why do you keep what? saying film comics? Why does what? he keep saying film And now, by the way, I'm fascinated. What else has this man made? No. Uh, die what was that ending? Thing. Oh what was my that God. ending okay, to his video? I guess that's video. over. Oh I'm, my God. I'm scared of what he has to say about Die Hard, to tell you the truth. He hasn't got that many videos. We got... How Matrix became iconic. Uh, the main, the main secret of the movie, Fight Club. Right. <laughs> main what secret. Be the main secret of the it's movie. It's gonna be like seventeen minutes of him saying uh, they're actually the same person. <laughs> um. Why there's wide. Why the Truman Show is wonderful. The filming of Harry Potter was difficult. <laughs> All right, that seems so like honest uh, and just yes. <laughs> Movie scenes that inspired memes, mind blowing theories, how horror became the main genre of our time. Wait, what? Oh, oh wow. no! I didn't get it that. It really was on. a series in our time. You didn't understand Back to the Future. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know me. Wait a minute. Adult animation teaches. Sorry. Adult animation teaches to be adult. Oh my god. That is the name of the video. That's Jay. He learned how it's... to do sentence in title. It... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, he's got Rick and Morty and Simpsons in there. I gotta see this. No. How long is it? <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. Violence and meta irony. Vulgar jokes and talk I, about I politics. I gotta go. <laughs> Oh, fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> fucking <adult>. hell. <laughs> Talk about politics. <laughs> fucking uh, hell. Why must you reward me so? <laughs> Five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Violence and meta irony, vulgar jokes and talk about politics. <laughs> You'll hardly imagine this when you hear the word cartoon. We used to associate right. animation primarily with something childish, simple and kind. Does he know what else happens no, in that movie? For the this is a fucking terrifying forest scene. No. The old, I don't know. This the, you just you go check out and what these the these movies were based on those tales as well. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's not like we can all cite like mentally scarring animations from our childhoods and stuff. 
That was why The Simpsons, South Park, and other satirical cartoons had long caused discontent. The audience took them as kids' content, which for some reason was filled with completely unacceptable things. Why are you showing this what? show when talking about stuff? Oh, Dude, that's such a terrible I, example. I was like, Fringy has to be muted. He would have fucking exploded after what the, the statement was just made. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I just stepped out for like one second. What, Fringy, what, listen what, to this. Oh, yeah. Listen to okay, this. Okay, so let's roll this back a little bit. That was why The Simpsons, South Park, and other satirical cartoons had long caused discontent. The audience took them as kids' content, which for some reason was filled with completely unacceptable things. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. 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 That was the perfect what? fucking noise. <laughs> exactly. <What>? Definitely. <laughs> I agree. For sure, hundred percent. Yeah, well, Easily. to be fair, they talk about politic, and they are—they have doubt. nice messages. <laughs> but... Talk about politic. But uh, now we are experiencing the heyday of oh, here we cartoons for an adult audience of eighteen plus, in which animation is only a tool for creating a story. Today, on the what? Yes, yeah, so it was film. Live action. That... What the fuck? Yeah, what just what happened? Are you saying? Did you see the? Uh... What are you saying? Why? An adult audience of 18 Why? plus, in which animation is only a tool for creating a story. Today, on the ob what is happening there? Do you see today, that? With the uh, yeah, the editing where he says today, it's the as music long fades as he says down, today. fades back in. Yeah. After, like what a weird choice. This is borderline Help me. experimental. Yeah, like this is abstract <laughs> video essayist. This is, this, this, yeah. this is the 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 algorithm has just vomited itself into another self into another <laughs> self, and this is what we're at now. It's like, <laughs> please, I'm too drunk for this. <laughs> but now we are experiencing the heyday of cartoons for an adult audience of 18 plus, in That's which so animation is only a tool for creating a story. Today on the About Movies this channel, we will talk. Always been a tool for <laughs> is this, what does he mean? It's only used nah. for that now. What is that? Nah, I, don't don't kids. Don't, I don't understand anything he's saying. Know. About I why adult I, think I prefer the '90s and 2000s era of animation. If I'm being like completely honest, like I don't, I don't, just, I don't agree with that. We're at this zenith. I don't know. <laughs> was that even what he Especially was? Especially when you're showing say? BoJack Horseman. <laughs> Look, to me, it sounded like he was saying animation used to be used for all kinds of crazy nonsense, but nowadays it's only used for storytelling. It's like, what are you <laughs> it was always talking used for about? Storytelling. Whatever it was, it was always used. used for, it's pretty much still used for. What do you mean? It's a medium. Like, why are we pretend? What are you watching? <laughs> Creating a story. Today, on the About Movies channel, we will talk about why adult rated cartoons have become so popular. Do we really have enough movies and TV shows with adult ratings? And what about what? Disney cartoons? What? Is what? their time running out? What, what, what is what? fucking <laughs> happening? What's, what is what are these happening? topics like? What? <laughs> I love how he said them like they follow along from each other. Right? Like, yeah. as you can what? tell from what my intro, this? these will be the topics. You're like, what? Yeah. What topic is this? Number, topic number two. Do we have enough stuff for adults? Are we just done with that? Hell. Well, Three, Disney, is your time up? <laughs> Before we answer these questions, subscribe we suggest that you click on the subscription, subscription button. button. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Listen, yeah. if, right you, on time. if you make me laugh many times <laughs> in your pronunciation, I might consider subscribing. And the bell, and you won't definitely miss the most interesting you video essay. Still describe <laughs> himself right, as the most me. interesting person. You got me. I'm hooked. I'm subscribing. Days about cinema. Jesus. Subscribe. Cinema. <laughs> and we you start. You can't do this to me. Fist steps. Here we go. Early animation back, might so, seem wow, too yeah. simple, but the subjects of early silent films were quite uncomplicated in principle. Moreover, animation wasn't taken Wait, as a sorry. separate. Sorry, wow. does it that seem too make simple? Sense? It seems simple, but they were quite, quite uncomplicated. Yeah, that doesn't. It's quite simple, but it is simple. Yeah, that's what he said. Like... It may have come across as simple, but it is. <laughs> like what? <laughs> that is true, uh... but it is. <laughs> Why does he speak this way? It's amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna say, this, is one of, this, this is one of my favorite explode. fights. This is like a new total. This is <laughs> like, great. Wait, this is wait, it gets even better. Rough. I want to mate this man. 
Hold on. I don't have a live total. discussion with him. Hold on. It gets better. So I, I typed in about movies, and there are two channels called about movies. One huh. that only started making videos eight months ago, and one that stopped making videos nine months ago. It's the same channel. It's the same no. guy. <laughs> Oh, no dude, way! He forgot his password. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He forgot his password. <laughs> what is Wait. fucking happening? What are the sizes? We've reached what the like a. Wonderful... What are the sizes of the channels? Uh, uh, I, I the first one. The first one has uh, one thousand subscribers. The one we're looking at now has almost five. Okay. Almost uh, five well, whole subscribers. Wow. That's, that's 6, 5, 000. 000. Five thousand. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's different. I probably you would count have just them said on your fingers. It was... <laughs> yeah. How did you find this? <laughs> Someone in chat said you've all been awake too long. You speak in normal. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Don't gaslight no. me like that. Oh, for, for fleeting. My, your manipulation will not penetrate me. Oh, why not? <laughs> Because I won't let it. Early clear. animation might seem too simple, but the subjects oh. of early silent films were quite uncomplicated in principle. Yeah, oh, there you go, yeah. Exactly. What do you mean, but? Why do you they say but? They might seem simple, but they're simple. I said, it might seem <laughs> simple, but they're uncomplicated. Wait, several people in chat actually think he's speaking... Really? What? We're... Have we actually no. lost our... Um, are no, we no, in no, a no, collective no. delusion they're in this chat? You. Are gaslighting you gaslighting him. us, or is this is this fucking call this a I'll shared just be happy delusion? To, happy to ignore, happy to ignore chat for the time being as we progress. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I'm, I'm in a normal sure. state right now. I he's no, talking you're not, absolute Metal. nonsense. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're it's in this call. Yeah, but I slept and didn't drink. So no, I'm you just... didn't. You this, didn't. This sleep. A, you thought you slept, video. but you didn't. I think uh -huh. a gas leak started when Chad Logic left. <laughs> he farted. Really not wake me up because he farted on his way out. <laughs> That's what did it. Nasty. <laughs> All right, you know, chat. We'll we'll give this video a full chance to see what kind of English we get. Uh, Moreover, um, animation I, wasn't I, taken as a separate I form of cinema. For the filmmakers of the time, it was more of a field for experimentation. Right. Animation has long been almost the only way to create special effects, and has worked long more as an addition. The only. <laughs> <laughs> Animation has long been almost the only way to create special effects. That's not what special effects means. Like a squib is a special effect. Well, exactly. Mm. Exactly. Well, you can use animation. Almost on... there. Uh, I don't, well, I don't... How, how specific do we want to be here when we talk about what special effects are? Because you're right. Squibs, prosthetics, these are special effects. Yeah. Visual effects animation. and special effects are actually two different departments. But yes, no. they 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 are at this point, or at least there seems to be uh, a role in distinguishing them. Because they're not quite the same at all, really. Well, uh, that's your opinion, man. That's true. Um, Have you considered that sperm exists? In no. play. In addition to the regular <laughs> movie, sperm short videos outside. in the early 20th century were more like hand-drawn silent films. Like Emil Cole's Phantasmic. Wait, they're actually like hand drawn, hand -drawn yes. silent films? Wouldn't they just be hand drawn silent films? Well, yeah, they're not like that. The animation was for a long time exclusively hand drawn. And silent? Like cell shape. <laughs> Probably. Silent. Yeah. Uh, you of 19. Described what it was. 1908. It was a contender for the first animation in history. In the it was a contender a for the contender first for animation the first... in history. What? <laughs> I'm dying. All right, oh. I guess dying. the first five, the first five, you guys are contenders. Uh, I guess he's. Uh, I guess is he trying to say that it's, it's, it's not he, known what was the yeah, first he, animation? Yeah, the only thing. way it could light up is if he's saying, "I have no idea what the first animation is." This was a contender, <laughs> but I don't believe a level this level of complexity would be the first animation in history. Well, no, because the first animation probably would have been five or ten. Wasn't the um ah oh, damn? I, I'm sure it's that, that dinosaur sure thing. That I know is the added, right? It's the dinosaur thing, right? Where he, where like that guy used to go around America with the dinosaur animation, and he would like play with it, and because he sunk well, it to like a live action performance or something. It depends on what we're going to consider animation, because like in uh, like before then, there were those boxes that you'd put your eye up to, and like. A fucking wheel would spin around with images projected onto the end Brew, of it, and yeah. it'd be like a moving image. Oh yeah, like they had those in Japan, right? Sure. 
<laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm leaving. I just I just peered over to the <laughs> left. I can't do this anymore. By the way, it's oh. past my bedtime. I have to watch the dragon show in seven. It's hours. only three. I always I also have 15. to do that. I don't get to sleep at, like at all. Yeah, well. Oh boy. Whose fault is that? Jesus. <laughs> Well, I will talk to, to Jesus. Is this Jesus fellow uh, harassing you more? Like, I will talk to him. I'm and then everyone will clap. <laughs> I'm yeah, dobbing on you, Jesus. It's been real. All right, we'll catch you, uh, see you. See you later. Catch yeah. you later. Bye. Bye. Catch you, dude. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I was thinking about the whole like, yeah, he's, he's actually spoken normal this whole time. You guys are just crazy. And I peered over to the left and like, I created yellowish blue. <laughs> right. Good. I didn't just hear that. It wasn't just a, normal. a group 20s. hallucination. <laughs> Cartoons Mass became quite yeah. popular and were focused mainly on adults. And if modern viewers, for the most part, have never seen the very first cartoons, then this lady is probably well known for almost everyone. The heroine of the Talk Cartoons animated series Betty Boop appeared in the 30s due to the increased interest of the adult audience in animation. All right, that was pretty straightforward. He's, you nailed that. Yeah. I yeah. That. Good job. Yeah, I'm proud of you, man. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that was kind of me. That Hollywood sex symbol was more popular than many real actresses. It was obvious that her audience wasn't children. Moreover, even Disney initially allowed itself to add cigarettes, booze, and even adult jokes to cartoons. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> what cunts. And this is despite the fact that it was that studio which misled us that we, cartoons we have, were only we for children. Jumped, we have they jumped pretty us. far in the timeline what of just like animated. He said they misled us. Wait, what? Yeah, the cartoons well, misled man. us. Hang on. What, what, it wasn't just Disney, really Disney worth, children. To add cigarettes. It's worth oh, he, noting here. We've, we have skipped a large portion of That doesn't matter, of okay? We're, we're following uh, his crazy yeah, ride. He's go. going to the places. <laughs> He's choo-chooing. Well, because we started in, like, wheel. 1908, and we've already jumped to the late 30s, early 40s. So we've jumped he, right past uh, Golden Age he, era. But he's, to be fair, he's skipping according to the point he's making, which is that animation originally seemed to be for adults, and then all crazy things were happening, everyone's having fun. Disney come in... And they practically tricked us into thinking that animation was for kids, not for any um, other demos. I mean, if you think that Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is for kids rather than everybody, sure. But I would say that that's a film that is for everybody, not kids exclusively. Yeah. In fact, I think you could say that about Family pretty much films. all of the earlier Disney theatrical animated films, that they were very much appealing to everybody. But as far as, like, watch. whether they can make little dark jokes that are only for the adults, I feel like the Hayes Code probably played a big role in tamping down on some of the darker right, things like that. Right, at that like point, that. we need to talk about all films, not just animation. Yeah. Yes. Booze and even adult jokes to cartoons. And this is despite the fact that it was that studio which misled us that cartoons were only for children. Well, so no, how is, that how is them misleading if they release oh, things? It wasn't Disney's fault that that was what people started to think. What I'm saying, like, how can how can it be a mislead like, when they're just releasing stories that are animated? Disney misled people into believing that animation is for kids. It's like, I man, laying all the blame at Disney's feet. <laughs> like, also, I, feel like, I can't I can't think of many Disney animated films that aren't aimed at um, families and like all ages. Like, well, especially when we think about films from this time. Like from the forties, fifties, I guess up to up to the sixties as well. Like the formulas that are more clearly established for what animated films are, like if you look at sort of the output of Disney Animation Studios now, like that didn't really arise until I mean, you could say maybe the Renaissance, maybe. Maybe a little bit earlier than that. Even then I'm not sure if you could really say that. That seems like more of a very recent thing. Isn't um, the running joke with like Disney animation as well that like you show it to your kids because like oh fun thing and then like Bambi's mom gets shot in the face and you get the scary <laughs> face in Snow White and it's usually yeah. pretty traumatic for kids. And a lot why of the time. I'm not even sure that I would say like even in the Renaissance you think about like Clayton's death and that it's like damn that's not very kid friendly. Yeah. Or yeah. Um, I mean damn Ursula gets like run through with the sharp like jagged end of a boat. Um, like th these, there's also like the whole spooky village forest. that gets destroyed in Mulan. Mufasa. Spooky forest, forest in Snow White. White okay, really spooky. We need to acknowledge yeah, the spooky, spooky forest. 
Yeah, and I mean, we've got the footage right on screen right here. So, yeah, Snow White. Thanks why, to Disney Cartoons. Why would cartoons. you right. show this right. as footage? Right. I said it first. I, I, I said it first. I, I was one. I think we said it at around the same time. Animation has become associated with singing birds, magic, and happy endings. I, 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 why do you <laughs> think that specifically children, like that's, why do you think that that's just for kids? Birds that sing and happy endings. <laughs> because, because it's gay, I, Brie, and nobody likes that <laughs> shit. Everyone knows, everyone knows all children are gay, right? So they like that. <laughs> In general, like with something that isn't gay. suitable for adults in any way. Wait, play. what? Well, so Wait, that's, whoa, that's, you, that's no. the you proposition. That's yeah. not a. Uh, that's not like I would, something that uh, I wouldn't even have expected true. this guy to make that kind of a jump. I, I that yeah, me off. The endings in general, with something that isn't suitable for adults in any way. There is Wait, even what, the concept what? of Disneyfication. Are you serious? Disneyfication. Oh, uh, I think we've why? had someone who did this before. If you remember, Wise Wise Crack. Yeah, they said that like yep. Disney ruined things by taking scary and spooky and lesson-driven yeah, stories and made them all cuddly. Basically, yeah. you adapted it and you changed the original intent of the story, which you're allowed to do. Sorry. By which violence is minimized in film, and the viewer seems to look at the world through the prism of illusions. So why is that just for kids? What? It just sounds like you could argue it's a wish fulfillment, escapism, immersion, adaptation, alternate universe, alt history. If you wanted to, go I am Legend of... did this, did they not? I don't know why. It's like we, it's like he's saying it's a fantasy because these were more violent at first, and so it must be for kids. No, but I mean, like, like they're not they're minimizing violence because everything at the time had to minimize violence. The Hayes Code made it so that you couldn't show certain things like people getting shot and like blood coming out so if you ever watch like 1940s noir movies like they get shot you don't see any blood they just fall down you know because that's what they had to do at the time it's yeah there was one rating for a long time the result is an idealized comfortable world that is easy to sell to more people well this is the wise crack video easier to sell again. to kids not to more people that's your point isn't yeah, it exactly. yeah the however have we to will do the buying not dwell on the work of Walt Disney, since we have described it in detail in our biographical video. And it revealed oh, oh, a lot of shocking of moments that. that usually prefer to be silent when talking about the maestro. Okay. What did you just say with, with your talking words? about the maestro? He's, he's found some shocking moments in Disney's history. To find out the whole truth about Walt Disney, click on the pop-up card or go to the description. Oh, gosh. Sexist. Sexist. dreamer. Oh, my goodness. He did a sexisms. And yeah. find the link. Believe me, you won't regret this. But even okay. Disney cartoons okay. were watched by everyone. Yes, they yeah, were exactly. difficult. exactly. So doesn't that kind of <laughs> like betray your entire point? I was going to say, that's the second time he's done that. It's like you're supposed to be focusing on how it's all for kids, man. Remember, you're going off road. The world is spinning. It's I'm like spinning. 10 seconds ago when you sent that. People to call adults rather fabulous, but thanks to the quality of performance, they were watched with pleasure by both children and their parents. With, well, there yeah, you go. with pleasure. Wait, so, but pleasure. doesn't that go against him? I guess maybe he'll it does. expand on it with the competitors. Okay. Maybe that's where it'll expand. However, oh, it would be wrong to say that Disney completely took over the world of animation like of those it. times, and it had no competitors. In 1935, the golden age of the world-famous Looney Tunes animated series oh, began. That fake duck. Sarcastic Bugs Bunny, oh, no. Crazy Daffy Duck, Funny Porky Pig. Well, depending on uh, who's directing. Uh, uh, yeah, that was uh, dependent. With their adult humor and- Sometimes Daffy Duck was crazy, but my favorite version of Daffy Duck was when he was like, he, greedy and selfish. Like that was my favorite version oh, of Daffy Duck. And you that know, was there's more a much Chuck Jones cartoons. Yeah, there's a much better series of videos that goes over the histories of um, Looney Tunes and Warner Brothers animation. I forget what it's called, but it it is on YouTube as well. It's going to be much better than this because it's over like multiple like hour long parts. It goes into extensive detail about what all the character, all the, what all the creators were doing, how the characters came to be, like how Bugs Bunny got his name, like the popularity of Daffy Duck, and all that. Um, it's not going to be this compressed, nonsensical 40-minute fucking thing.
Well, this is this is going to be real awkward if he's talking about Looney Tunes because Looney Tunes would uh that was back in the era when you would have theatrical like animated shorts play before films, a lot of which were films yeah. reviewed by adults. Like Looney Tunes was again an all encompassing, broadly appealing um cartoon. It wasn't for kids; it was well, for mean, everybody. I'm almost certain that by the time we get to like the latter third of this, he's going to argue that Simpsons and Rick and Morty reintroduced the idea of cartoons being able to be for adults or something, which yeah. is going to fucking baffle me. Looney Tunes was meant to be for adults. It's just that it happened to be coincidentally child-friendly enough to show during child-friendly hours on TV when they were recirculating them when TV first <clears> started. <throat> and that's Crazy how reputation. Actions made a good competition for Disney's singing flowers. The main achievement of Tex Avery, the I, creator of this animated bit, series. You know what? I don't, I don't like that. Just like, oh yeah, Disney singing flowers. You know, Disney also did like th animated shorts as well with like Daffy, uh, not Daffy Duck, Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse, like Steamboat Willie. That was a. It's like the most short, famous like, one, I thought. Yeah. And well, I feel that, like yeah, Fantasia is actually pretty yeah. similar to early Looney Tunes cartoons where it's well, like very musical. Fantasia, um, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. I mean, that's like that's incredible, um, yeah, yeah. and that's that's not like what you would class, I guess, as like, oh, well, this is like kids' content. That would be a weird way to categorize the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Yeah, it's considered like, hmm, like, the departure from the cute yeah. and pastoral Disney stories and characters. Cartoons Again, were liked by both children like, for their oh, dynamism God. and adult dynamism. dynamism. <laughs> Alright, I'll allow it. Holds <laughs> for irony, innovation, and an admixture of madness. The plots were sometimes an crude and almost madness? cruel. Yes. And went up against saying? public taste. But these cartoons could not allow too much, since they were created in the era of the Hayes Code. It was a. There you go. <laughs> ah, here we it's go. It's almost like you yeah. can't call it Disneyfication if it was. Ugh, whatever. Code of ethics that was in effect in Hollywood from the 30s to the 60s. It clearly described what was forbidden to show in the cinema. There were prolonged kissing, nudity, and much more. Therefore, such cartoons as talk cartoons ceased to exist, and the rest of the representatives of American animation had to adapt to the rules just like the cinema. You'll ask, how did Looney Tunes even survive? Hi, Hitler. Perhaps it was due to the fact that the drawn Hitler. characters, unlike the heroes of the movies, could allow some liberties. At all times and in all countries, an animated character could do something that was forbidden to be shown in the cinema for reasons of morality or censorship. After all, cartoons, as many believe, are something frivolous, created for children and for fun. Well, wait, sorry. Is this the is kind of like a later attitude, though. Though. The reason you can make it more adult is because it was made for children? <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, exactly. No, no, what no, it wasn't, is, though. It was, it was made for fucking hell. Well, so you've you've laid out that there was a Hayes Code, which put a lot of limitations on like mature subject matter. The thing that eventually became perceived as children's content got away with more mature subject matter because of what it was innately. Like this is not in favor of the position that you're arguing for. It's the opposite, if anything, that they should have been perceived as more adult friendly because they could get away with more zany, crude stuff. Would Duck Hitler be Dickler? Yes. Good. Seems, I, I, I don't know, that's offensive. Ooh. Good. Also, I just realized we've got about 55 minutes left. Oh, yes. I think we can do can it. it be, is it true? Maybe. Is it false? Madness. Is it flames? Is it the tism? I don't know. Maybe it's Maybelline. Groovin <laughs> Surge. <laughs> Which Maybe she's born with it. Maybelline, like a hair, hair wash, was it? I think yeah. it's just like a shampoo thing. Makeup. Maybelline, right. New York, right? Remember L'Oreal? Oh. I do. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that's still around. That's, that's yeah, like, like, uh, I, Well, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know when I last saw L'Oreal. Back in my day, we had L'Oreal and Maybelline. Yeah. Revlon, even. And then, what about, the days. what about Jane? What about who's Jane? What, why did you let no. Jane die? Walt. Meanwhile, Avery didn't stop there. 
In the 40s, he was able to surpass himself, working in the animation department of Metro Golden Meyer. Surpass the himself. animator was significantly ahead of South Park in the ability to raise acute social issues um, in yeah, cartoons. Yeah. Uh, oh, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yes. Yeah. What? <laughs> Such a weird comparison. He, he was, was ahead, ahead of Trey Parker. He was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't even born. Arguably, he had a head start. <laughs> like, yeah. Little bit, tiny bit, little tiny bit. His short film, Blitzwolf of 1942, became a real anti-German propaganda. 1942, be like, hey man, Matt Stone, Trey Parker, you know, in the corner and you might just catch up to this guy. Yeah, Trey <laughs> Parker, yeah. where were you when the Nazis attacked? Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, we got one. We literally we're closing up in one hour, and, and we have one last oh, hi, guest arrive. Oh, hi, What's up? Is he streaming Orbs. as well, or is he? Streaming Some weird went on. Oh, he, he's he's been known to stream on occasion. That's true. Maybe his microphone's. Hi, what's up? Sorry, my microphone was turned off. What's up? How are we doing, guys? Oh, uh, doing good. We're, we're doing the, well. Outage. I mean, we're on like I'm hour a little 20, tired. Four yeah, or five. Tired. Yeah. Even, we are sleepless. Oh. What happened to you? Are you okay? You said something exploded. We just Wait, what? everybody in my life just wants to just crazy. My, you know, just water. My here? life just a lot of crazy shit. My one of my wife's boyfriends just lost their mind, and you know how it goes. You know, oh, you know what like, yeah. right? And he destroyed We've your all kitchen. Been there. Yeah, you just missed the boys' discussion. Now we're talking about animation. This man's making. He said some amazing things. We got to... We're actually losing our minds right now. It's a little bit. He's not speaking English, but he thinks he is. Yeah, this what guy the, is um... like he. Go ahead. Huh? What, do you, what even? Are, what is? What is the current point he's on? Um, he's trying to argue. I don't. That they know. started to slip sort of adult messaging into it, uh, animation during the 1940s, well before South Park. That was the last thing that he yeah. said. It seems if if we're to think about this video being structured, I guess like um like an essay, I mean, it's called a video essay, the the claim seems to be we have entered into a golden age of, like, adult animation. Like, we've reached a point where it's thriving after escaping the shackles of the perceptions of, you know, it being kids' content, um, the immature, you know, stupid or, like, not worthwhile. And pretty much every argument that's been made so far is either, oh, well, you know, cartoons were actually for everybody, or, you know what, actually, because of the Hayes Code, cartoons were actually able to implement more mature subject matter than, like, live-action material. So, like, everything he said is either nothing or actually contradicts his point. I don't right. understand the point of this video. So far, it might crystallize well, at some so point. Far, true. Yeah. You know what? I doubt it. Wait, what was the, um... What was the final feeling on the boys? Just curious, without reopening that whole thing. Oh, was it, that video was he, his. He, the whole video is Marvel is really shallow, while the boys is super smart and for intelligent people because it has things to say about society and deconstructing superheroes a genre. When it had some very, very nice choice to, quotes. Yeah, the, that 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 was a very nice thing to say about that video, Marlon. The boys is the show. <laughs> yeah, that was his. <laughs> that was his point. He just uses English in a very oh, unique yeah. way. Yeah, I wonder. Where, I legit wonder like where he's from. Because he's clearly oh, a good like, nice Mars. Is that it? Um, but yeah, the, we, we. What was the feeling here? Do you guys feel like the boys was an intelligent? What, yeah, what was the verdict here? Uh, season one was a lot of fun, but I wouldn't call it subtle like or intelligent one. with how it approached its commentary. Yeah. It was pretty on the nose. It's, pretty it's kind of like the shallow beginnings of satire of uh, superhero stories. And then it's season like, two. This is a start, but. Season two yeah. was a mess, and season three was pretty meh. Pretty meh. You like season one more than season three? Fuck yeah, season one's good. Yeah. Wow, a lot of wrong fight, opinions fight, there, fight, but okay. Fight, fight. Gotcha. Hey, hey, man, one, I think. Explain yourself. Oh my god. No. We won't get to ah, hear the silence. funny man ever again. Violence running away. <laughs> 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 oh wait. Oh, I don't want to. Well, yeah. If you want to, I season yeah, one. Sure, of, season one of any fantastic show, I think, has the huge advantage that it gets to lay out its whole world, which is always fun. And if it's a fun world, um, it's going to um, it's it's going to be fun to have like a season one. But I feel like in terms of like character development and everything, it's like eh, it just kind of like introduced us to the world, and I thought that was cool. Um, season two was a nightmare train wreck clusterfuck of boring, horrible shit where you had Frenchie and Kokimo or whatever the fuck was like the Sam and Gilly of the fucking boys, just like the worst thing 
None of the characters did any. I don't know. I hated it. And then I thought season three actually like ramped shit up to where we were getting like a compelling story. We were seeing real character development, especially among people like Butcher. Um, we got rid of the cringe Nazi shit, which was good. I don't know. I feel like season three. I feel like season three was on par with season one. What do you think of the ending? Um, a clusterfuck nightmare. I don't know. Yeah, what I was, was gonna going say they there. fucked it all up. Because uh, even yeah. even uh, I, a person who was very cynical about season two and didn't even want to watch season three, I, when I was watching Same. season three, I was like, okay, at least they've got something to work mm -hmm. with here. I'm liking Soldier Boy enough that I could. And then that last episode, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't. Know. They kind of went full Game of Thrones, subverting your expectations of anything making sense there. Um, Nobody dies yeah, either. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't defend. Well. Oh, wait, did Soldier Boy just get locked up again? Yeah, he got locked up. Maeve yeah. survived for no reason at all. Like, everyone's... Well, no, there was a reason for her to surviving, and it's because she was a lesbian. <laughs> True. Uh, um, yeah, and then we got uh, Butcher is alive still, but he's definitely going to die soon, TM. He's like, all right, fine. In the next season, you'll find a cure or something. Yeah, you know what the cure is going to be, right? No, what is it? Come. Um, I feel like the cure is going to be... Thematically, it seems appropriate. It feels like the cure is going to be the only way to undo the damage is to become a soup. You have to become a superhero oh, like to get real. rid of it. Yeah, and then it's like you've, in order to destroy what you've hated most, you become the thing you've hated, right? It kind of like works. Um, That'd be something, sure. Thematically, uh, but. So I haven't seen season three, but is it really thoroughly explored why the boys who seem pretty opposed to just superheroes principally would be willing to use Compound V to get superpowers? Well, I mean, that's kind of the whole that that like that's always a thing in 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 life or thematically, right? Like, do you like arguably like Batman is this, right? Um, do you remember when Joker was like, "You're gonna have to break your one rule," and it's like, "Well, do you want to mm -hmm. become the thing you're trying to destroy to destroy the thing oh, you need to destroy?" Sure. Yeah, so I'm I think like the superhero stuff is like it's like that. Yeah, it's like well, they want to destroy superheroes, and it seems like maybe the only way they can do it is with Compound V. So they start doing it, and then they're able to compete with them more. But now they're going to become the thing. Well, it's kind of worse than that because they. Because Huey does it as well, but they try and Huey's reasoning make it is awful. That, Butchers they is make okay. it that he's insecure and it's all about toxic masculinity. And it's like, no, he just doesn't want to be the weak one of the group. He wants to defend Which, his friends. Yeah, wait, that's, uh, oh, that would have been way wait, more solid. Well, I was gonna say it. Yeah. Wait, were you gonna say it? Were you gonna well, say the right thing or the wrong thing, Muller? Go. Okay, I'll go. So the what 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 <laughs> CJ's just described, I think, would have been way better. But what they ended up doing, and they even lampshade how much they fucked this up. Huey admits, like, I fucking don't like being weaker than my girlfriend, which is like, okay, that's something a man could struggle with, but you can't do it with Huey. We've already established well before, for many years at this point, that he doesn't care about that, and he never did. And then they acknowledge that, they're like, didn't you not care about it? And he just goes, yeah, but I do now. Like, oh. That's so, if I'm gonna give the writers credit, I might be reading too much into things. Um, but it, it seems like Huey has like an angel on his shoulder, which is like Starlight, and then he's got like a devil on his shoulder, which is like Butcher, and he's kind of pulled between these two worlds. I think for Starlight, he wants to be like, um, we'll say the non-toxic man, where it's like, oh, like I can be supportive of my girlfriend in this way, and I'm kind of a smart guy, and I can be clever and do this and blah, blah, blah. But then when he's like in Butcher's world, Butcher is like, I'm a manly man, and I get shit done. I literally beat the shit out of a soup to death because I compounded V it up, and I'm like a monster. And I think that you see this like fully realized in the scene where I think Starlight is begging him, like, please come with me, Huey. Like, don't go with Butcher. And then he ends up going with Butcher and Soldier Boy. And I was like, well, this is the route that I'm choosing, the toxic masculinity route, essentially, right? Right. Which, yeah, I think they said that's their goal with this season was to mm -hmm. explore. I can one thing I can empathize with you though, um, and this was a. <laughs> Let's see if I can open up this can of worms. This is a big criticism I had of Breaking Bad, okay? All right, go for it. I love, I love character arcs that develop. I don't like it when character arcs develop and undevelop and develop and undevelop and develop and undevelop. Hmm. So one of the big criticisms I had of Breaking Bad was that, like, I felt like I like to see the dissolution of, like, Jesse and Walt's relationship, but I felt like it went back and forth so much. I'm like, okay, either, like, they hate each other and Walt's gone too far or not, and the back and forth was driving me crazy a little bit. Um, eventually the, it got on track, but yeah, go ahead. Is the problem that you have with that that it's rehashing, or that you think it's unrealistic that this relationship would just keep continuing? No, I never care about... It's not realism. We're, we're, we're watching film and TV and all that shit. I don't oh, care about no, realism. What, what it's I mean the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the rehashing and the redevelopment thing. I just don't like to retread. It happened a lot in... Uh, I'm sorry to bring up so much information, but it happened in Harry Potter too, where it feels like Harry Potter develops into this amazingly mature young man at the end of every book and then at the beginning of the next book he's like a kid again like doing dumb shit i feel like this was fully realized in the uh, seventh book 
where like at the beginning of the seventh book, they felt like the kids from the first book. Ron was like, we haven't found Horcruxes fast enough. I'm getting so bored. And like Harry and Ron are like, oh, well, we got to keep looking. But I was like, damn, you guys have like seen some crazy shit at this point. Like, shouldn't you guys be matured by now? But yeah, I don't know that like going back and forth. It was always that element like they were almost fucking eaten by a huge spider in the first one in the forest because mm -hmm. that's just something that could happen. That's a second <laughs> one. How <laughs> fucking dare you? There's yeah. also I imagine the Potter's. PTA of Hogwarts is just like, yeah, Jesus Christ. It's a hard job. But, um, yeah, so out of interest then, because I would have my first defense for the the Walt and Jesse stuff would probably be that it's like an elastic band and it snaps in season five, like the extension of yeah, fully for sure, yeah. Um, but like I can understand what you mean. Yeah, just to sort of clarify, was it you, you felt like it wasn't moving forward? It just kept repeating the same motions. Yeah, sometimes I feel like things start repeating over and over again, and it drives me crazy. Have you ever seen House, the TV show House? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, That's is another it good Lopez? example. I feel like that, well, no, 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 no. There were like th I feel like there were three or four times where House like got clean off drugs, and it's like, oh, here's another arc where House gets clean, and then there's like a case that he can't solve, and he's running into a problem, and then he relapses. Oh boy, it's happening again and again and again. Like at some point, I'm like, damn, I don't need to watch the same fucking arc repeat itself. It seems like. like you got through more house than I did. When I rewatched it after about four or five episodes, I was like, oh shit. Like he figures it out every episode. Like it's the same structure okay. all the time. Mm. Well, I don't have a lot of rules here when I'm on this show. Okay. But we do not shit talk house. <laughs> no, I like house. Wait, house time. is your what god? Like, guy. Hey, house is <laughs> sacred. He's Mona. house. He's house. Oh, I like the He's character, but little surely dad. it's the formula, right? It's like the luck. same thing every single episode. For three seasons, I think, and then they finally switch it up? Or is it four? Like, uh, the formula, you know the one. Everyone makes fun of it. Every, like, the first solution is never right. And then... Yeah, of course, and then they do some, well, I have to do a heart transplant to see if it's this disease, and Cuddy's like, no, don't do it! And he's like, oh, well, I, sh I fucked his heart with my dick, and now I have to, he's gonna die. And like, oh, he did it! <laughs> and then, like, he gets a new fucking heart, and it's like, oh my god, it wasn't the heart at all, what happens? And then the patient is being, like, taken away because he's some, like, Ugandan criminal of war, and then yeah. House is, like, on the plane, and he, like, sees a bug fly into the windshield, and he's like, oh my god, the bug smashed into the windshield, just like that guy's brain must have smashed against when he played soccer when he's in fourth grade, and then he solves the whole case, and everybody's like yeah it's always like yeah, yeah, like, just like, put yeah, a grenade like, in their brain and it's like that sounds like a bad idea and it will work out eventually yeah <laughs> he's house okay he's house. he's house he's house okay, i like house chill. i was, I was okay with house it did what do you think of its ending dumb stupid <laughs> yeah <laughs> sometimes this is so cringe and i don't mean to be like a cringe debbie downer but i feel like some natural character arcs kind of have to end in death or some better feeling of completion mm. like did anybody else kind of cringe like a motherfucker when at the end of interstellar like the guy was still alive and floating through space and then flew like doesn't it seem kind of weird yeah Wait, are you talking about the uh, coop when he's uh yeah I cringe for other reasons yeah but then the fifth dimensional beings pluck him and send him back to his elderly daughter or whatever it's great yeah why can't they send him back like 30 years earlier if they're so fucking powerful at least yeah. Jesus. because they're cunts <laughs> they just want to fuck with him. <laughs> also wait hold on i just had a realization is there a time continuity problem how is the how is murph still young if his daughter was old okay do we need to talk about interstellar someday like <laughs> yeah seriously. do it if i can do it whole conversation that movie is one of the worst things None of it makes sense. Uh, <laughs> Interstellar is amazing, okay? You just have to take your glasses off before you look at it, okay? Just don't look too closely at it. And it's a take your brain out before film. you look at it. It's a fantastic you punch film. your eyes a couple of times. Yeah, listen, it's, it's, no, it's not Pennant, okay? Oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, have you seen Pennant, that? I haven't you, actually seen it yet. Every single person does not recommend it. That one. You absolutely should watch Tenet. It will... Mind fuck you. Not in a good way either. It just is no thoughts, just vibes. Yeah, so it is so Destiny, incoherent. It is the, the most dialogue <laughs> in uh, well, yeah, when you realize that every single piece of dialogue is actually Nolan writing something for you as the viewer to understand, and the characters never actually interact with each other in any <laughs> way ever at like yeah, oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Is this like peak Nolan? Because like that's one of his problems. His characters are always so no. uh Tenet is peak Nolan. You will never find a more Nolan film than yeah. Tenet. I don't think he could make a more Nolan film than Tenet. Like, I just, it's just couldn't hear the dialogue. I literally couldn't oh, hear yeah. the soundtrack. Um, Doesn't matter. You're not missing anything. anything. Was Which is horrible. weird, because he had problems with that, with uh, Bane, remember? In Dark Knight Rises. Didn't they have to, like, redub him? Well, the first, yeah, yeah the, the first the audio track preview, was yeah. literally inaudible. <laughs> I still think my favorite line in all of... My favorite line in all of Tenet was when 
the main character, um, the black dude was talking to the white dude. Um, fuck, I know him as <laughs> Twilight and Robert Pattinson and uh, yeah. something yeah, Washington, I right? Yeah, Pattinson, something Washington. Yeah. yeah, is when uh, when he's like, "Wow, like you know all about time travel and all this. It seems like really complicated shit. Quantum physics, is time travel." And Robert Pattinson's character replies. Yeah, I have a master's in physics. And I'm like, God, it's a movie. Why would you only give him a master's? And he knows about time travel? What are you talking about? Like, shouldn't this dude be like an ultra PA? Like, I don't know. It's just so funny. That movie is so fucking just hilariously contrived. Oh, my God. What do you I, think I of remember Dunkirk? when I was watching it in the theater, um, like the movie actually froze, like the projector froze, and it was oh, like really? that for five minutes. And I think I just said out loud at about minute three, it was just like, wow, Nolan is a fucking genius. He's moving his <laughs> <into suspense." laughs> That happened with me with Attack of the Clones in the theater. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. It happened during the, Did the, that improve the, the weird experience? droid assembly line. The weird droid assembly line thing. I don't know. Good I was time. so young then. I was a dumb idiot anyway. So I don't even know if it made it better or not. No. Mm. I, wait, real quick. I just need to vibe check. Does every because I see this brought up. I looked at Rotten Tomatoes. I couldn't believe it. Does everyone here agree? Hook was an amazing movie, right? Uh, I, Ron I, I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. I think I. Great. I, I, I being so long good. since I've seen it. I just don't remember. It got it such shitty yeah. ratings. I can't believe it. Oh. <laughs> I had the same. Yeah. Experience same thing with Batman and Robin. But I don't, I don't get it. It's weird. 80s, 90s businessman dad needs to learn to care about his family. Yeah, so I'm wholesome. Doing so much business. Such a nice movie. I rewatched it recently. It was still yeah. a nice movie. Fuck, fuck the, fuck the haters. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Bob Hoskins, <laughs> me, and Dustin Hoffman, Hook. That was that's great. Perfect casting. I'm not even kidding. I really like it. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in ages, though. I should watch it again. That's great. It is. You found my marbles. You put your marbles away, meme. You stop that. No. Put them away. The marbles stay out. We're live. You can't just put your marbles out. Yes, I, but I only will put for my another... marbles where I want. I will put no. my marble stack right here on no. the table. No, it's, oh, it's nasty. Hard to we only 30, have to do 35 this minutes. Hour. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my marbles wow, yeah. stay out for 35 we'll keep, minutes. We'll keep cycling <laughs> oh, like no. media takes. Have you got any controversial Batman takes about that? <laughs> Me? Yeah, why not? Yeah, <laughs> yeah nothing well, helps me get to sleep more than controversy. What's your favorite Batman movie? <laughs> I, I'm i going to give the boring, obvious answer, because I'm going to say if my favorite one is know. the best one, which is The Dark Knight, of course. It's the best one. I mean, what am I What am I supposed to say, okay? It's The Empire Strikes Back of Batman movies, You didn't okay? like well, the Batman? That, it's the, the best Batman. one. Now that mm. the Batman is out, that's not as clear cut for some people. Yeah. Okay. No, there's no shot that anybody could say that that is their favorite one. That movie is so fucking long, and it feels long. Okay. Damn, long bad. Bad. And therefore, long. and therefore, yeah. My favorite movie is probably Fellowship of the Ring. That's long. It's pretty long. That's but it doesn't thing. feel long. Wait, hold on. You can watch Hang the. On. In my opinion, you <laughs> so can you talk watch about the pacing cut. then. Yeah, I'm talking about the pacing. Like those movies don't feel long. Those movies feel those are finely linked movies. Oh, <laughs> pacing. Word, finally, finally linked. linked. <laughs> finally linked. My favorite is finally actually phantasm. Is that long? Is it well paced? Phantasm. <laughs> well, it, it's um I think it's like ninety minutes or a little bit longer, maybe. How like finely linked one. is it? Would you say? It it, it is it is perfectly lengthed. That's a lie. Perfectly. You know, oh, I guess maybe beyond no. that, why is the Dark Knight your favorite Batman movie? Yeah. What is it that you think is so great about it? Is it the uh, themes? I just think it's so, without knowing anything about Batman, because there's going to be some Marvel comic loser. That oh, we, we don't care about the, We don't care about <laughs> comic. Uh, don't, okay. don't worry, we'll allow I just, it. I think that of all the criminals that like Batman has gone against like in the shows, I think that that Joker is like the perfect foil to Batman. And I like the fact that Batman loses in the end. I think that's an interesting play on everything that happened. It was a smart character. Thematically, it was a really good foil to Batman. And um, like the, the pacing of the movie, the action scenes and everything is like super cool too. Like I just think it's like the really good movie. Out of curiosity. Not perfect, but really good. Yeah. What do you think about the system of surveillance that he manages to concoct? And Lucia says, on principle, I'm fucking firing myself. I can't be a part of this. This is like a disgusting uh, technology that I could never support. And he says, don't worry, we're going to use it once, and then we won't use it again. What do you think about that? Um, it, it feels kind of like the boys, like the soup thing, to where that, that plot point is a little bit contrived, but I think it, it all kind of goes to show, like, how far does Batman have to go to beat somebody like the Joker? I don't think uh, they kind of really address that in the movie. It feels like the movie is fine with the idea that, like, yeah, we're only using it once for good. It's fine. 
Do you do you really um, feel like they really go into it? Because he just says like, "I'll destroy it once we use it." I swear, and then he does, and they the scene is like Lucius is smiling, and it's like, "Yeah, we did it." I think that they could have handled it more with more screen time, but like you could argue that like that's supposed to show the potential of Batman to go too far, but Lucius is happy because in the end he was able to walk up to the edge and then walk back from it rather than maintain something like that permanently. So Lucius is happy that like Batman hasn't been completely corrupted by the he Joker. He's not walking maybe. up to the edge, he used it. He's already walked off the edge. Well, he did he use it, it, but it was yeah. one time to stop a really bad dude, you know? We well, so that's, that's on Nagasaki, great. okay? Listen, I, sometimes people... No, 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 I know. That's the thing. Like I actually these. agree to the point where I'd be like, mm -hmm. Batman, you think that this is never going to happen again? Like... Mm -hmm. Don't you think that if you're making an exception for the crazy guy who's going to blow up two big ships, you might want to save it for, you know, when fucking whoever else turns up. Or 9-11 part so, two. Here's something that I would <laughs> oh, want to well. see. Here's something I would want to see that with. Are we, all, are we all here familiar with, like, Roroni Kenshin? No. He's the one with a sword that's oh, damn got the blunt edge on it. Or is yeah, that stuff? Is okay, that, we is all know... Yu -Yu yeah, Hakusho? it's... No, not Yu Yu We all know Batman, right? Here's uh -huh. an issue that I have. There's a lot of media where there are good guys that will never kill bad guys. Uh -huh. And, you know, it's on principle. They're not going to kill the bad guy because that's just not what they're supposed to do. But the thing that's annoying is that it seems like very rarely does anybody have to deal with the consequences of being a pacifist in a way. I don't yeah. want to say that as a pacifist, mm. but like, um, like, like this, I yeah. want to see... Yeah, I want to yeah, see, like, yeah. okay, well, you let this saying. dude live. I, arguably, you see it in, in, a, in a Spider Man, where he lets the one criminal walk away every time and then he kills Uncle right. Ben. Maybe that's like the only thing he's going to happen. But it always feels like there's an easy out for characters who are like, I'm not going to kill you. But then, like, oh, you could, yeah, even for Spider Man. Oh, well, the bad guy kills himself anyway, right? The Green Goblin does it. And Toby the McGuire writer sort of sets them it. up to make it a lot Have easier. You, uh, well, to um, be that yeah, yeah, exactly. The yeah, octopus give... dude, Dr. Octo, pulls the nuclear reactor into the water and he kills himself. Like, all the bad guys always mysteriously permanently vanish at the end, even when the Good guys like i'm gonna be a pacifist well no it also goes um, for you remember it's by man one for the raimi films the green goblin's like you got to choose a bus of children or you, you, your love and he releases them both and then spider-man grabs both of them so it's like oh yeah what's the point okay. there yeah <laughs> no i know what you mean we, we've that's had... like a fake choice but that it was really given in the dark knight in a really clever way i think um, you oh you're talking about seen... the the choice but yeah like he tells them the locations of the two but he switches them yeah, that's a really yeah. Yeah, that I, was I, I agree with that. I like that. And one dies, which is what should happen. Well, not dies, but gets permanently fucked. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. No, Rachel one does die. die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was handled really, really well. Yeah. Well, have, have you seen, seen Daredevil? Have I seen what? Have you seen Daredevil, the Netflix show? Oh, Daredevil, no. We're going no I way home. Would... Uh, no, I haven't. I don't watch a lot of TV shows. I don't have time. Well, I'm trying to work over here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We well, people people die in both of those, so hey, you might like them. Yeah. Do people actually die, or are the writers running about idea running out of ideas, and like the third season they kill? Well, like, sorry, it's kind well of the Punisher's in it, so in, yeah. yeah, like in Dead of what is directly like addressed as a point of contention between those two characters that the philosophy of Daredevil is yeah cool like you fight the bad guys and everybody calls you a hero, but then the criminals just go back on the street. So my solution is permanent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I they have a big conversation about it. It's one of people's it. cited, like favorite things about favorite. all of Marvel's content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. And I'm sure we'll see it in the forthcoming Daredevil show on Disney+. Plus. Oh, sure oh my great. god. Can't I'm wait. I'm sure that wasn't a monkey's paw. You keeping oh, up to Lord. date with all Marvel content, Destiny? You better be. Am <laughs> <laughs> I missing something? Gotta have your finger on the pulse of culture. Mm -hmm. What do you think of a six-hour critique of a single film? <laughs> Listen, some shows do that. I think that's great. I think that's awesome when people do that. Wow. Yeah. You're very nice. progressive. I am. Yeah. I try to be. <laughs> Cuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jesus. Tell them how you really feel about six hour reviews. Don't hold back. Yeah, but, didn't, but we're talking to someone who did like an eight hour long manifesto. So, you know. Like, oh, that's true. That is true. You're in good, you're in good company. Yeah. People. That was yeah. like three in one. That's not fair. Is it? Well, I mean, if you split it up into three parts, sure, but mm. you know, take it as one whole. How long did that take to write you? Was that like a month? Um, truly, it was probably two or three weeks. It would just spread out over a couple months because I suck at maintaining projects once I start them. I take longer than that. I don't know, you get focused when you get uh. Well, I'm in mean, autism mode. Yeah, I'll just sit on my <laughs> computer and I'll do like that. I did a big Bob Seven manifesto. That was a big one. I did that. In I remember night. it was. Fucking yep. rage. 
Yeah. It's the ADHD thing where you got to hyper focus on it. Otherwise, you just lose the the motivation. I think the way I describe it is it's it's not the doing that's the hard part. It's the starting that generally (laughs) fucks me. Gotcha, gotcha. Destiny, what do you what do you think about the Last Jedi? I hear you had a conversation. Oh God! With oh Lord! <laughs> no. I got doing, so many emails. He's doing so and, well. And against. He was doing so Listen, well. Listen, that's the thing where I told Mel, I was like, "Listen, Mel, one of these days we're gonna sit down for nine hours and we're gonna <laughs> rewatch every fucking trilogy. No, not nine hours. Probably like twenty hours or some shit. We're gonna watch them all, and then I'm gonna come back here and you're gonna casually bring it up, and I'll be like, "Oh, let's talk about that," and I'm gonna ambush the Dude, fuck out of you. It won't be possible. Jedi you knowledge. can't. You think I don't rewatch those semi? It's like my whole job. You can ambush us on Star Wars. Are you Wars. the? It's really familiar to us. Yeah. Did we go over the? You guys all like the prequels more than the sequels? Yeah, easily. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. I like like you're just so wrong. It's just unbelievable. It's like well, you're telling me you're to like. I like the prequels more than the sequels. Sure. Yeah. It's just that the prequels are also objectively better than. The <laughs> I was gonna say they're just <laughs> fucking <laughs> better. <laughs> what an unbelievable <laughs> opinion. But you guys are all like 18, up. 19, I think, so it makes sense, you know. I am 27, <laughs> sir. Uh, uh, 27 I'm actually 14. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I'm 63. Oh, wait, random question. Mahler, do you post on Reddit? Not really, but I have a Reddit account. Oh, okay, never mind. I see a guy posting in a subreddit I'm familiar with called MahlerX sometimes. I didn't know if that was you, so. All right. That sounds like the porn version of <laughs> <laughs> Mahler X. No, that's not no. me. It- on a porn is, account. Is he also known as the long man? Oh mm. no. No, Mola oh, X just sounds like your version of Sonic X, so I'm sure that's yeah. not a very good no, show at all. But... No, it's the anime <laughs> spin-off, Mola X Mola. Okay. Mola X Mola. Hmm. Question. Do it. I don't know if you guys found this or not. How do you guys feel about the new Marvel? Which is oh. A24. 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 Oh, right. The new Marvel. Wait, what? So you're talking about the Every movie? film gets ultra hyped. Everybody loves the studio. Everything comes out. People are sucking it off. Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? What are your feelings on it? We fucking hate. Phase four has been garbage. Yeah, phase fucking four. Garbage. Wait, we, I thought wait, we were talking about Rags. Rags. No, he's not. A twenty four. The studio. A twenty four is the movie studio, movie studio yeah. right? Yeah. As yeah. as oh, time yeah. goes on, like the percentage um, of hits of what they release gets less and less, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. I think- the last movie I saw from them was The Green Knight, and I really didn't like it. No, the last movie you saw from them was Everything Ever All yeah. One. Oh, yeah, that's right. I adored that. That shit's fire. Wait, Desi, um, what's your opinion on yeah. The Green Knight? I remember you had a controversial one, right? I walked out of the movie theater hating it. I almost got a I don't blame you. Because it was so confusing. And then I went on Reddit, and I read this huge comment about Arthurian legends, and then I went back and I reformed my whole opinion on the movie. I thought it was a really, really well done movie. Uh-huh. I just had no fucking background. And A24 is very much like a, you either understand it or you don't, and fuck you, we're not going to explain it. <laughs> like, they're, like, for some of their more esoteric movies, they're very much like that. Uh, but having that understanding, um, if you watch The Green Knight and you don't understand anything about Arthurian legends, it seems like a dude goes on a really weird adventure with a lot of random fucking shit that makes no fucking sense, and then the movie ends, and you're like, I don't know what the fuck just um, happened. Yeah, well, but, sorry, shouldn't it be, was, but wait, wait, wait. Uh, shouldn't it be good if you haven't read a bunch of Arthurian legends? Like, yeah, I've like, read like the Once and Future King. Sure. Well, so I, 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 things can be good or bad depending on your reason. Some people argue you shouldn't need the background. Some people show you should. But having the background, like for Arthurian legends, like when you go on certain journeys, there are like different tests that you have to go through in order to prove your might or your worth or whatever. Oh, and so like most had, era stories? Well, yeah. kind of. But Arthurian legends, I think, are done in a more particular type of way. And when you go back and you watch The Green Knight with that understanding, every single little um, trial that he goes through is testing one of the five Arthurian virtues or some shit. And when I could understand all of the different trials with that, it was like friendship with the um, fox thing. It was like greed or something. I don't remember with the woman and the thing. When I could go back and understand that, I was like, oh, all of these little mini trials make sense. And I could see how he failed or succeeded what? on some of these. And the then question, I understood yeah. more. Yeah. You said that you watched it and you weren't familiar with the Arthurian, because I wasn't either. Mm-hmm. When you got to the end of the film, did you like and appreciate the last 10 minutes before you had gone back and rewatched or like learn more about Arthurian legend? I mean, it looked nice. Is that Well, I guess what I'm saying is that for me, in the last 10, 15 minutes is when I liked it a lot and I just mm-hmm. wasn't feeling everything leading up to that point. Like the last 10, 15 minutes felt like a... A story it's almost like they snuck in a movie into the end and they didn't need really <laughs> well, anything that came before it almost. Well, so the reason why I'm asking is because I, it sounds like the first time around you just found the whole thing like kind of just 
worthless until yeah, i didn't understand what the ending. point of anything was yeah well even the ending though like even when we got the whole story of him living his life like past the decision he made and then everything yeah but falls this apart is understanding the, the understanding the arthurian shit fleshed that out so much more for me because sure. seeing the ending was just like oh i guess if he's like a shitty person then this is what his life is going to be like i guess but knowing how the arthurian shit looked then i could look at the ending and go oh this is why he needed to go through the trials and tribulations is because the life that is going to follow him is going to be a life led without following the arthurian virtues and all of the bad stuff that was happening in that future vision was if you fail to be virtuous in these manners if you can't resist temptation if you're not loyal to your friends if you can't resist um, you know, urges for greed or whatever. These are the types of specific things that will fall upon you and, and, and befall you, I guess, for your life or whatever. And so, yeah, having that context made me appreciate it anymore. The ending was like kind of cool regardless, I guess. But like after suffering through the whole movie without understanding anything, it wasn't enough to salvage it for me until I got more context after the movie. So how do you feel about that, though, that you think in this case with this film, you kind of had to get this external information in order to uh, make sense of the film? I generally don't like it, but I mean, like, you know, things are what they are. Sometimes you need external shit, sometimes you don't. Like, if I'm watching, it just depends on the type of movie I'm watching. If I'm watching an A24, if I'm watching a Marvel film, I better understand everything right in the fucking movie. And if you're not explaining to me, fuck you. But if I'm watching something <laughs> a little bit more artsy, then, um, then I can understand that there's probably going to be stuff going on that I don't understand that I'm going to need some background context for. And so for, like, an RT A24 film, I figure that's kind of, like, required. I need some kind of background, it, which is okay. With okay. the way that you framed the question, it sounded like you have spicy opinions on A24. Do you or do you not? Um, I generally what like other stuff, but I just. Opinion is Did you that. see yeah, I, the movie Men? I have not. Hmm. I just see a lot out. of stuff getting a lot of stuff <laughs> will get brought up in like the movie subreddit, and people sometimes will get mad. Where there's almost like a reverse circle jerk against A24 films. They're like, we get it, you like them, like who cares, like blah blah blah. Like A24 is super overrated now. Like they do all this and that or whatever. So I was just curious. If that's you're just, inevitable, that's right? just hipsters mm -hmm. lamenting when things go mainstream. Yeah, well, sure. I wonder if that's hipsters or if that's the, I guess, what you would consider artsy, like, film Twitter going up against kind of artsy film Twitter, the kind of people who, like, praise, I mean, what a lot of video essays do, right? Like, they kind of fit into that niche where they still want to talk about, like, the big bombastic blockbuster films that are part of, you know, with, mm -hmm. like, the cinematography that they like. Mm -hmm. And maybe they don't like that the conversation is now diverting towards, I guess, what you would call, like, art films, really. Like sure. very uh, much going for something more abstract, um, yeah, maybe, yeah. and unconventional, you know, in terms of storytelling presentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true, true. Um, yeah, what else are you guys talking about? Oh, yeah, we got another twenty minutes. Oh my goodness! Have you been up me. for like twenty hours or some shit or twenty five? They have. I'm just <laughs> drunk. Point, yeah. Jesus. We do it once a year. It's wonderful for all kinds of things. You, you missed a whole bunch of wonderful video coverage. I swear you would have loved it. Okay. How do you feel about ex like difficulty settings in video games? That was one of the uh, earlier topics <laughs> that we went through. Oh man, like, that goes all, right back, to going all the way back to square one. Uh, yeah. In the olden times. Damn. Um, I like both ideas. Um, difficulty settings can be fine in video games if you want to make video games for like a wide audience of people. I think that's super cool and super fine. Um, but I also really like the idea of games with no difficulty settings. Um, it's almost like uh, being a minority in the world. When two black people in America see each other, they're like, bruh, like, <laughs> we have a shared experience that transcends anything we can communicate. Like, we both know shit about each other, even without knowing anything about each other, because we have like a shared experience. And I think that games with no difficulty settings are similar. You talk to a dude, it's like, yeah. did you beat Dark Souls? I beat Dark Souls. Like, brother, yes. We like, we, we, know, we instantly know all the struggles. We really it's not like a question of like, did you do some, okay, sure. Some people roll in full havels with like max fucking weight or whatever. But like, regardless, like there's like mm -hmm. that shared experience of like, we both beat the game on like the same fucking difficulty. That's like a cool experience. So yeah, I, I can like see the pros and cons of both, you know? <laughs> have you played yeah, a I game love this shit, by the way. I just want to point this out. If I had made your joke just now, your whole chat would have been like, whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god. That's why I and can't, because <laughs> phonetically it doesn't work. And then my chat right now is like, whoa, what the fuck? What the, what the hell is this? Wow, someone should clip <laughs> that. Jesus. It's like, shut the fuck <laughs> up. It's a joke. Both chats, both getting all antsy. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll survive. Collectives, calm down. I thought if we you were can't handle it, then this is your opportunity to bail from us and never return. Well, I was going to say, how are they watching us while <laughs> this having is this the, reaction? Yeah, <laughs> this is the one that turns the tide for you, and I don't know, you're an interesting person. <laughs>
But anyway, yeah. Why? What did you guys? Did you guys talk about this? What did you guys stand on it? Some people feel very strongly about difficulty settings. Um. Well, we we we'll get into the depth of the point of being like. So I think it sounds like intuitive and agreeable to be like an additional easy mode should be fine. Stop complaining. But we were like, okay, so what possible harm could be drawn from something like that? It's like the extended times to create that mode have taken away from anything else that may have been developed and. Perhaps Boring. the game is balanced in a particular way so that it adds. You can always do. You can do. You can add easy difficulty settings by just like tweaking some stats. That's not hard. You know, that's HP modifiers, damage easy, modifiers. Though. You have an easy mode. Well, so that's you the thing, that. right? Like maybe you could, but if you take Elden Ring, it's like which you're familiar mm -hmm. with, right? The uh, mm -hmm. Spirit Ashes were clearly added to help players who are shit at the game. Like, yeah. Hardcore, like, it's, it's the same as summons in any Dark Souls, yeah. Yes. Um, at the same time, though, like, Ashes aren't telegraphed very well as being something that's, like, an overtly OP shit thing that can, like, stomp the game on your first go around. So you've got this angle of the game's getting unbalanced without your real knowledge of understanding of, like, what the fuck's going on in terms of. What's the difference between, like, upgrading your sword, adding uh, particular sword crafts or things, which seems a lot more embedded into trying to figure mm -hmm. out a build to attack the enemy versus. Spirit Ashes, which most veteran players, or at least ones that like respect the going through Dark Souls without looking up things online, they probably like don't don't use them. You don't want to use them. In the same way they say don't use summons. Like um, the more mechanics they add to try and make it easier for um, say mainstream audiences, it can dilute the uh, more difficult players' experience. Well, I mean, like they already had summons in all the Dark Souls games, right? They did, uh, but I, was, I guess that's that's where it comes to like the how where you draw the line of like. You can opt out of using them. So then I guess you can opt out of using everything. True. So, but I think the summons are as, like the spirit of Dark Souls to me seems to be you're locked in one on one combat with another big dude. Dude, they design it absolutely that way. They, I don't think they really yeah. account that well mm -hmm. for additional. That's why it feels like it's a much more definitive line being crossed. Meanwhile, spirit ashes yeah. are introduced like in almost the story as being like this thing you're supposed to use. And when you use the first like initial ones, they're not that great. But eventually, you'll unlock ones that yeah. just stomp the bosses for you, and you're like, "Oh shit! I should I probably shouldn't have been using these." Actually. Yeah, you should. I mean, it's Dark Souls. You wanna it should be one on one combat. If you wanna upgrade your sword or do shit like that, um, you can do that. You know what? Because like, um... I'm assuming you value that, right? Like, because you were saying about it earlier, like defeating everything yourself rather than summoning. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm saying thematically, that just kind of feels like what's supposed to happen. And uh, like, yeah, the but combat took right now. Yeah. From like a player point of view, I assume you find that more satisfying as well. Do you know that like YMS went through like all the games, but he summoned for everything, and had everyone <laughs> kill everything for him? It's like <laughs> it's oh, horrible to watch. I'm autistic. I beat all those games with like one HP because I just like the challenge of it. But I'll spend like a week. Well, I was gonna go. say like I thought I was bad with that, but when I when I was seeing you how far you go, I was like, all right. Because... Yeah, I think Molina took me like fucking 500 deaths or 600 deaths or some stupid shit. It was a lot of fucking. Which one's your favorite, yeah. by the way? The, my favorite fight? No, well, favorite from software game. Um, I really like Sekiro, and I liked Elden Ring, and I really like Dark Souls 3. I don't know which one I would choose, fuck. I liked all of those a lot. But they're all like fairly different, but still Souls games, yeah. Just thankfully you didn't say Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Dark Souls yeah. 2 was a fine game. People no. rag on oh, that no. so fucking hard. It was Whoa. okay. <laughs> Alright, no. chill the no, fuck I out. Fight, fight, oh fight, my god. Fight. <laughs> Hey, man, if you think it's a good game where you're filled with bugs, have wonky-ass hitboxes, and none of the fucking AI knows what to do when you walk in a certain direction, I, I, I mean, if, if that's if that's what you think the mid-game is, you know, fair enough. I don't know. I'd have to go back and play it again, but, like, that, I beat all three Dark Souls, and then I remember going through reviews. I don't remember anything exceptionally wonky or stupid. The only thing that I would be hardcore critical of Dark Souls 2 for, which I think I remember, was... It doesn't count as a sophisticated or well thought out boss fight if you're just making like two or three of the same fucking enemy to fight. And they do I feel that like that a happened lot. a couple times. I think Elden so Ring had that problem a little bit too, though. It did do that a couple times. Oh, Elden Ring too. Yeah. It's so yeah. annoying. The game is not built for multi enemy combat. Also, no. the game is not built to hit things in the fucking air. Stop ever fucking putting air enemies in that fucking <laughs> game. That's so true. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you got a it's jumping attack birds. now. I think that, um. <laughs> Jesus. Getting our memes. Yeah, it is so. true. Our meme connoisseurs are, are in the kitchen. Um, up neat. What about Bloodborne? Um, oh, Bloodborne! How could I forget? Bloodborne is really cool, too. I love that game. Very, yeah. uh... Hey, you can't say the four of them are great. Pick one. You gotta pick one. Oh, man, I dude. Know, I mean... It's gonna come... It's <laughs> honest to God, it's gonna come down to aesthetic. It's gonna be like... Do I like the... It's gonna be the anime of Sekiro, or is it gonna be like the... Noir fucking um, gothic setting of Bloodborne. 
Which one would I choose? I'd probably lean towards Bloodborne. Slightly, though. Oh, you betrayed the weebs. <laughs> oh my god. It's always <laughs> a good move. It's <laughs> always a good move. Top 10 anime betrayals. I think Solid. Bloodborne is a really fucking popular pick, which is crazy as well because of the fact that fucking 30 FPS cap that it rarely ever even manages to get to anyway. My, my favorite thing for Bloodborne was when the game first came out before they updated it, you had to wait like fucking 45 seconds between every death for it to reload entire area. Oh, oh my yeah. god. That was the big cringe. Yeah, I didn't play it, it when adds, it first. It adds anymore. attention to the game. You don't want to die even more now. Yeah. That is kind of yeah, true. true. Still can't believe that game hasn't been ported to PC. It's crazy. It. it really is. People keep saying like this spaghetti added, uh, spaghetti coding has got to be the reason because all red tape. It can't like they can't think of anything of other reason. Like <laughs> there's money on the table ready to be taken. Yeah. God of War, Spider Man. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like the reason there was never a Metal Gear Solid 4 on Xbox 360 or PC, because there was apparently like a lot of um, funky code going on with that engine. People aren't ready for Metal Gear Solid 4. Humanity <laughs> isn't ready for it, okay? Nobody God, sure. do you... Oh, can I just say the best time of my life? There were the two best times of my life, okay? okay? Alright. Number at... one was when... Number one was when Daisy first came out, and it was like the newest, freshest thing. I people remember that shit. Yeah, people were talking on mics. Oh, yeah. They didn't know what was going on. You'd make enemies and friends. That and game was horse shit when it came. It out. was, but it, <laughs> it was, was so much fun. Everywhere. It everywhere. was like absolutely awful. I have. It's my most played game on Steam. <laughs> you'd open a door and randomly your legs would be broken, just... and you're like screaming <laughs> for a friend, "Help me!" He'd come give you a between, blood transfusion, and you'd die because it was the wrong horrific. Blood. Like everything was bad about it. Like it didn't look good. <laughs> it was the... insanely buggy. It ran like garbage. Yeah. The bugs were insane. And yet, somehow, we, we, we were able to just, like, squeeze blood out of a stone yeah. and get the, some strange experience that resembled engagement. The constant back and forth between, like, zombies are worthless and do nothing versus zombies are facing Yeah, with the updates, absolutely. You and shit, and, like, but there was that moment, and then there was the second moment that was the happiest moment of my life. And that was the day before Metal Gear Solid V came out, and we had those epic trailers the nuclear song that everybody was guessing what that game was going to be it was so cool, so much fun, and then just... You know, I like Metal Gear Solid Five. No. Do you like oh, it from a that... gameplay standpoint, though? Mechanically? From a gameplay standpoint, it was the best Metal Gear Solid. The gameplay was amazing. It's actually... The gameplay being so good is what makes that game even more sad, because that engine is no. never going to get good use now, except for the weird gotcha fucking games. I enjoyed got. playing Metal Gear Solid Five, but it's the only one I've played. I don't know what the fuck's yeah. going on. <laughs> tell you about it. I don't know, like, there's this guy, and he's on fire, and he's flying, and there's this oh, yeah. chick, and, and she flies, too, and she's wearing a gas mask, and then, Ooh. and then, it's like, all right, that's Skull weird. Fight. It's like this is so, yeah there's a guy wow. with a skull and a cowboy hat and i'm just like can i can i go play the game it's actually really fun can i go play the game well, it's especially that, crazy I, because uh... like metal gear solid 3 felt really dated in terms of like i feel like i'm playing some shit in like um in, in, in like the time period that's appropriate they're using like radios and shit they've got like the the shagohad at the end is like a tank like it makes sense but dude, Metal Gear Solid Metal Gear 5, Five, it stretches that thing was like the fuck out of fucking yeah. Metal Gear. That shit was in Sal Salantha Hamptor It was like a flying fucking mecha from like Zone of the Enders. Like, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> yeah, there's it was some unbelievable. Oh, and then like, speaking like, English, I'm a foreign. I mean, the the mechanical prosthetic thing was like already he's like okay, oh, yeah. all right, yeah. okay. The it's you know? special. Yeah. Sure. They had like more advanced technology than like Metal Gear Solid Four, and I'm like, what the fuck is happening here? It was also the perfect opportunity to tie in so many people in the metal gear solid story but instead they bring in skull face and then they delete him from all the history like why would you do that because that game was it ran out of time i feel like yeah because i been... i feel like i got to the end of that game and it just sort of like stopped like i could still play it but it's almost like i got soft locked at the end where you can still play but you can't progress and i don't know what happened i don't remember if i didn't do something right but i was, I was doing like doing story missions and then it just stopped giving me story missions to do and I, it, what, did it just end or was there an end? You know, it doesn't matter what the ending was because I don't know what the fuck is happening. It wasn't <laughs> the saddest ending. part was, was um, do you guys, do you guys remember when for Kendrick Lamar, people thought there was going to be like, um, I think it was a damn part two was coming out. There, does anybody follow any of this shit? 
No. No. no never mind. Okay. More. I've heard they, that basically, name. a whole bunch of people on the hip hop heads like uh, subreddit had like convinced themselves that there was like a secret part two Kendrick Lamar album, a full album that was about to drop, and everybody was like mind fucked others, and it, uh, it never happened. It wasn't a thing, but it happened with Metal Gear Solid Five too, where everybody was like, "Oh my god!" Like Hideo is about to release like the secret part two of the game, and people were digging through Easter eggs and figuring out like all of the shit. Like, oh my god! Like I think on this date he's gonna release the true ending thing, and like it was all fake. <laughs> And gets fired. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. <laughs> Didn't oh, a similar man. thing happen with Mass Effect Three, where everyone was so pissed off with the ending that they were convinced yeah. that they were ramping up to something even bigger? And Do that. Yeah, they're gonna um, yeah. they're gonna update it. They're gonna change, and they never did. And so it's been it's been shit ever since. That happened with the Sherlock show. Uh, H. Bomber guy goes over in his video. The the episodes were so awful. The fans were convinced that they were doing it on purpose, and they were gonna release a final episode to basically <laughs> recontextualize everything and make it all make sense. <laughs> oh, there was people gosh. like following clues and trying to figure out all the decipher codes and stuff. Hey Mahler, oh, when man. do you think we're getting the real ending for Midnight Mass? Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Ouch. <laughs> Never. Kind of reminds me in uh, Breaking Bad when the subreddit at some point was like, fuck, there was a good meme image posted, but they'd be like, oh my god, did you see the way the napkin was positioned yeah. in that yeah, yeah, scene yeah, yeah. where it was showing? That? Yeah. It'd be like, the, the tomato sauce is just freaking on this side, it's red, and that represents rage, and that's Walt. And he's like, what the? Uh, <laughs> Vince Gilligan would be like, Hi. Yeah. yeah. Well done, Vince. Well done. Totally. Go watch all episodes again. Maybe you find more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you see, the way Skylar is positioned in the reflection of the microwave, I can only assume she is a beef burrito. It, I can't believe I found this. This is the picture that I remember. Yeah. That's green it. napkin between <laughs> Skylar and Walt. Money equals green. Money is standing between them. The wall is exposed <laughs> brick, representing how the characters' relationships are now being laid bare. Like, yeah, like all this stupid <laughs> shit. This is like. like so dumb. <laughs> Because I, I remember, I was, fucking, I was, I was totally in the uh, forums for Breaking Bad when it was coming to, to its end and everyone was obsessing and over every last deal to figure out the ending. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Do you remember? My favorite subreddit of all Reddit Represents history. how much I want to suck your titties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> My favorite subreddit towards the end of all things that existed was the fucking Free Folk subreddit when you realized oh, yeah. that Game of Thrones was truly shit and it was oh. just time to meme your way into the end of times and god damn that free folk subreddit helped me maintain yeah, because my sanity the game of thrones mainline <laughs> subreddit they were like not accepting the the sort of dour atmosphere they were trying to maintain like happy feels but free folk just went nuts <laughs> they were like nah Fuck, on an open field ned it was just god damn dude that whole subreddit was fire for a while we probably shouldn't have you guys watched... game of thrones cause... yeah, we <laughs> yeah. Like we'll, be here, watched... we'll be here for another 24 hours Jeez. Have you guys been watching uh, that yeah. House of the Dragon show? Oh, there's another episode I gotta see in like oh, six yeah. hours, right? I know about Boar Clippy Farty. That's about my yeah, knowledge the, of it. First episode was fine. What do you think? Oh, I haven't watched it. The first episode was okay. Yeah, that okay. seems to be the general sentiment for the most part. Like, it's, it's, I think everyone's kind of battered wife right now. And they're like, and the <laughs> husband comes <laughs> home and he's like, like I'm... I'm sure I'm done drinking. <laughs> like, I don't know if I want to go back to you, man. <laughs> you reminded me of why I binge watched uh, anime in the past or shouldn't have passed because I want to know that it's not going to get completely. Yeah, but remember right. the good times. <laughs> I don't want to get Dextered or Game of Thrones or some shit. Well, lost. You know? mm. Oh, God. Dexter fucked me twice. <laughs> Yeah, fucked yeah, it me fucked twice. everyone twice. <laughs> Wait, is the new season really bad? I didn't yeah, watch yeah, yeah. it. It's awful. Though. It's so bad. Correct it me if I'm wrong. Fucking dog shit. Oh, the new oh, season, oh, like, does, doesn't it, like, it has promise and then it completely fucks itself again? Isn't that what oh, they do? It, it, it has the illusion of promise at the beginning, but then you go back after watching the ending and you realize that the writing was actually really shit throughout, but there is the seed of something great in there. Like, if they had just given us certain payoffs. It might have been forgivable, but no, they like fucking fucking Dexter gets caught because they forgot what fucking drug he actually used in the main series. He gets caught because he uses ketamine. No, he never used fucking ketamine. He used fucking M24, whatever the fuck. It, it's not the same drug yet. This is crucial. Ugh. I'm not going to go off on a Dexter rant. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to just <laughs> be I like Dexter's stay lab. in my happy place where I pretend that he had the Breaking Bad ending. I'm going to pretend. I'm gonna be in my happy spot. Breaking Bad ended on a high note. Even if I, even if there were a little bit of bumps along the way, I give him, I give him that at least. I, yeah, I'd say that. Did you, did you watch Better Call Saul? 
Oh, uh, fuck no. I have a hard autistic feeling about like watching a show that's supposed to be a prequel where everybody is younger. That just like fucks my head a little bit. They, um, I mean, the big, obviously, the big huge payoffs of that show are all post Breaking Bad. So, mm -hmm. you know, that you could tell when watching it that they were like, we know you're here for this. You had to wait six seasons, you little bitches, but now you get mm -hmm. to find out like, what happened okay, after Breaking Bad. Is that show over? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah just I'm actually starting it right now. I'm on season one. I mean, do you think it's I, worth watching it on the wave for some of the has? Or but I've heard it is. It's um, I, well, if you like Breaking Bad and you want to know more about Saul's history, you get every it's everything on the tin. You get exactly what you're looking for. Um, and you get to find out what happens to Saul ultimately post Breaking Bad, which is some fun. In fact, you know what? What do you think of El Camino? That might help me understand. If I didn't you... watch that either. <laughs> <laughs> when there's like a really good thing, I don't know. I just sometimes I don't want to dive into side media. Have, you don't watch any anime, do you? Right? You know, one knows what I Steins agree. Gate is, or I know what it is. I don't watch it. No. Okay, yeah, I really, really like Steins Gate. So I didn't watch the OVA episode zero. Didn't watch the movie. Didn't watch the second season. Like, you know what? This is like a perfect anime to me. I don't want to fuck it up. Okay, <laughs> so I just don't watch it. But um, yeah, I don't know. Was it was El Camino good? I thought it was fine. Um, the thing is, the thing about El Camino is basically they like. In all the ways you would expect, Jesse manages to acquire money and options, and then he escapes to a new life. And it's like, yep, I figured that all happened, really. Mm -hmm. It's a perfectly fine epilogue. It's f yeah, it's it's just. But really I like fine. his ending in the show. I wouldn't want to see. I actually, kind of agree with you. Him. Yeah, uh, I really like the last Jesse sort of shot we yep. get. It's, I mean, he does a good job in it, and it's like, like I said, everything plays out kind of the way you would expect in terms of him getting resources and getting out. You know that he fucked it all up, right? If Jesse would have just been fucking chill, Walt had everything under control, but he had to fuck it up and turn him into his <laughs> brother and everything. We had this a sounds... good thing with Frigg, you son of a bitch. <laughs> this sounds like a public nice story on Walt's behalf. Child killing oh, oh, yeah. Jesse fucked oh. it all up. If he would have just been chill, everything would have been fine, but he fucked it all up. Fuck Jesse. Dude, Jesse fucks fuck it him. up like over and over again throughout the show. Yeah, he does. <laughs> his life is a fuck up. I gotta Walt say, was doing him a favor when he let that druggy girl die too. Oh she my was not god! Good for him. Oh she was goodness. not good for him. Hmm. She wasn't good for him. Walt was doing him a favor. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you do not condone. The, the, I got <laughs> Destiny is an advocate of tough love. Mm. <laughs> I, I can see that. Um, actually, what got me back into like rewatching Breaking Bad is I just started watching clips of it on YouTube, and what I quickly discovered is that Breaking Bad clips on YouTube have the best comments on YouTube. <laughs> so <laughs> there's the fucking scene where um, Walt and Hank and Marie and Skylar they're all in the restaurant confronting each other about what's mm -hmm. going on, and he's handing over the confession tape. Um, and Marie just goes, oh, why don't you kill yourself, Walt? Why, why don't, oh, why don't yeah, just... that fucking thing. Why did you say that? <laughs> why don't you just kill yourself? And then the, the comment under it is just like, I'm not sure what Walt did, but that's very rude of that lady to tell someone to kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's inappropriate. <laughs> By the way, we are, we, 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 we made it. Rags, springy. We got did we do it? That's, I, was, right. I was eyeing that clock. We did it, Reddit. Right that clock. Absolutely, we did it. And unironically, go I've got to get back up to watch House of the Dragon with Gary and then review it with him live in about five hours. So I'm going to have to go oh to sleep for right. as long as I can. Wait, can oh I ask God. you one yeah, quick question? Man. Do it. One final media question. Two. I'm curious. I watched oh. somebody that I watched The Wire. I love this. I, I'm, I'm one of those guys. It's like, you got to watch The Wire. It's my favorite show of all time. I haven't seen The Sopranos. Is it worth it? I haven't seen The Wire or The Sopranos. Uh, you'll probably <laughs> you'll probably like it, but not as much as The Wire. That's how I felt about it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, hey, well, listen. Good job, to you guys. Sorry I couldn't come yesterday. Just there. Well, no, I really there's... appreciate you popping in now as well. Yeah, you you, you realize nice you injected a battery in. into us temporarily. This so I appreciate. Yeah. It. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. You carried us through to the fun. to the final one day. I'll finishing. change your mind on Interstellar, okay? It's gonna happen. How many, yeah, how many, year, uh, how many years has this show gone on for? How many seasons four. or whatever the fuck? Four years. Four. The big four. What? What's What's four? The four-year anniversary? Is it is Diamond? Diamond is four, right? Is it? I don't know. Platinum. Quadrillon. Gold. Something Something good, right? Probably. Reckon. It's not like zinc. Oh, we got the zinc anniversary. <laughs> the no, nobody wants to celebrate zinc. No. Lead. Oh, some tasty corium. Have you not watched the PSA on zinc from The Simpsons? No, you I need haven't. Zinc in your life. Where Otherwise, would we I think without zinc? I think zinc helps I like, you fucking. 
Oh, it was, was M99 nice. that Dexter used. They they fucking fucked it up. Okay, M99. He used M99 and they fucking got him because he used ketamine in the show because he was working for a vet, but he never used M9 he never used ketamine in the main show cuz it's he, we he didn't work for a vet in the main show. I'm I'm, I'm stopping now. I'm stopping. You said you were stopping before, and then you did it again. <laughs> I did. You, yeah, yeah. Someone, yeah. Uh, so then someone <laughs> pointed it out. That, so, yeah. You lied to us oh, twice, like Dexter. Like a story. Yeah, you lied just like that, so you fuck. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's fucking poetic. It's fucking poetic. Rhymes. You lied just like a rock star does. Oh, shit. Yes, yeah, yeah, I did. A rock star. <laughs> Who drinks, swears, lies, and is a hypocrite. Dude, that we... According to the video. I'm gonna need to <laughs> re-inspect that channel. That was something else. He's, that was, that is that a wild he's a wizard with the English language. Don't forget right. the channel Time he forgot his password for. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna our do our cannon. outro now. And, uh, wait, we'll fuck, what, what should we say? Because this is the end of the day. Thanks everybody for watching. We can give people <laughs> a very tired thank you for Yeah, we super appreciate it. Uh, anniversary. Like I said, we'll, we'll collect up all the messages, super chats, we're gonna read them all on the, I imagine, Absolutely. the next stream. Um, yep. uh, fucking thank you to all the memers for making those incredible videos and all the the just the, the fan stuff i'm keeping this company this whole time hopefully you had fun hopefully you enjoyed it i'll get these up gradually uh i guess it could be like one tomorrow then the every other day i think for the full 24 hours um i'll be on moolah oh and of course links are still in description for me and fringy's uh plushies grab them while they're hot 10 percent off if you grab them both at the same time Mm -hmm. Been great. Is there anything uh, any of you folks want to say before I'm just gonna start up that outro? No, go ahead. It's been fun. No, go ahead. As always. Yeah. All righty, folks. Thank you so much. Yeah. We shall see you for the next uh, thing that we do, whatever yeah. it may be. See you in a year. Okay. But goodbye. goodbye. Well, see bye. You that, chat. I'm Long tired. Things. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, welcome. 
I'm a knight of EFAP or objectivity. My wisdom echoes through the ages. Hello, hello, hi, hello. Before we begin this, I want to say thank you. I feel like this family is like my lightning rod. Boom. Thank to Hassan, all aboard the Nuggy Express. Mom isn't there to cook the chicken for me. What am I supposed to do? Die? Pay them? Pay the closure? I'm confused by what you were saying. Such a fucking angus, dude. Just shut the down, oh man. I'm literally gonna do exactly what I've been doing, which is whatever the fuck I want to do, bitch. I stand with God. I stand with Tom. I fucking hate Tom. I stand with Jim. I stand with the Bogey Fab Topic Brood. I'm a woman. Here I am. I'm a woman. Here I am. I'm a woman. Look at women. Chris. Quit playing for me. Oh, shoot, man. Take the knife. Take it out your hand. Come on, oh, baby. What'd you bring? Oh, shoot, man. Me, me, hide, me, hide, cheat. Me, me, send me, me, hide. Me, me, hide, me, hide, cheat. Me, send me, me, hide. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Luke Skywalker. Oh, wow. <laughs> can help people at the end of the road for the right person except who you are a hearty goodbye from every frame of pause of the yeah, entire yeah, yeah, hearty goodbye bye to everybody it was amazing bye bye bye, bye. Yes. goodbye good night <laughs>